correct action to like kick the door open behind it. Okay. It, so it's like it opens. Yeah. Cool. Reassuring. All right, then she will use her uh, act, uh, attack and then bonus action attack to fire a couple crossbow bolts at the zombies. Um, Are you shooting the one closest to you? Yeah, she will shoot at, uh, yeah, this one right here. Okay. Uh, Sunny, well, no, it's not Sunny's turn. Sorry, excuse me. Did you roll uh, for Sunny, so or is he after, just after you? He's, no, he's gonna go, sorry, I, yeah, I rolled a 16 for Sunny, but I, I didn't click his token. So. I also don't see a roll of 16 oh. anywhere. It's, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, yeah. It's a... Uh, they look weird for some reason. Um, so anyway, hopefully he can, whatever. We'll deal with Sunny later. Uh, so Mina is gonna take her first shot with hand crossbow. And she has advantage because she is uh, currently above them in initiative and on the first round. That's her yep. overnight near things. Uh, so 26 to hit. That is and definitely a hit. I hope so. Nine damage with favored enemy. Okay. And then quick, quick reload and bonus attack and advantage again. Wait. Okay. Did Harmony yeah, advantage? Yeah, and in a seven order? damage with favored enemy. Uh, and then uh, move like action this. to. Step back here. Whoops, sorry, at a weird angle. Use the chat. Is that? Am I inside the church now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then she will like close the door on her side, but keep the door. It's a double door, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, uh, she'll keep the you know the other one open so that Sunny can quickly slip in, but she slams the other one shut and, and kind of prepares to brace it there. Uh, and that's me. Okay. All right. Uh, the vampire is lunging at Ash as uh, as earlier described. After creepily saying. Thank you. Yep. Um, and Ash, you are already in a in a bit of a pickle here as uh, it successfully grabs grabs both of you uh, both on you. Uh, you take a total of thirteen as it both claws and bites you. Um, just kind of leaping leaping at you as soon as you brought it back up. Uh, and then Harmony, it's your turn. Great. Okay. So, uh, just to double check my. Vision. Okay, so I assume. Okay, I can see Ash. I'm gonna move to just be able to see. So that's five feet to be able to see. Yeah. Oh, what a pleasant token. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is fine. Okay, so uh, Harmony is going to. Uh, I mean, obviously things are breaking down, but uh, you know, priorities being what priorities are. Harmony, Harmony's gonna grasp her flute and uh, kind of stare down the uh, vampire kid and is going to first. Uh, cast, <laughs> Uns or not cast, use Unsettling Words, which uh, I can post in the chat here. Uh, okay. It is my class-specific use of Bardic Inspiration. So I roll 1d6, and he subtracts the number from the next saving throw he makes. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to roll 1d6. Big money, no whammy. Okay, three. That's average. Okay, so he takes a minus three to saving throw, and wouldn't you know it, that, that's a bonus action. As my regular action, I'm going to cast Suggestion. And what I'm going to say is, uh, some, it's a couple of sentences. I'll post the description in the chat. Um, it's basically something along, um, he's, she's going to say, like, Listen, kid, it's not dinner time yet. Why don't you go back in the cellar, and we'll come get you when things are a little less hectic out here. Okay. And uh, here I'll just post. Uh, oh, I did post it. All right. I just wanted to make sure. But it's a DC 14 uh, wisdom save. Okay. Wiz. Where? Oh, come on. It's wisdom. Yep, wisdom okay. I just wanted to make sure I couldn't. Uh, it didn't see it immediately in the description. And it had a minus three penalty? Yes, it was a minus three penalty. Oh, right on the line there. Sorry. Well, you know. Uh, it, it seems to consider your words as it chews on uh, on Ash, but does not let go. Uh, okay. Well, that's a shame. I don't see it. I'm, I'm, wi I'm whispering enemy rolls because I've got way too many tokens. I gotcha. On that, I and gotcha. you guys will lose the chat if I roll everything in chat. Okay. Uh, then Harmony is going to. Uh, <coughs> shit. Um. Harmony's going to move over uh, to... Have we opened... Sorry, I'm, my vision's a little 
uh, wonky. Are, where are the other doors? Uh, the doors are in the... Uh, uh, so every room is two by three, okay. and the doors are in the top, quote-unquote, corner of their section. So you're standing in front of one. They're both they're both okay. opposite. Uh, I'll use my object interaction to open this door. Okay. And uh, move inside. I can't really see... Doesn't look like much in here, is there? There is not much in here. Uh, this room appears to hold a number of kind of vestments and clerical accoutrements. Great. Any holy water in there? That'd be really nice. You could certainly search it for some. Okay. Well, at the <laughs> mo- I don't think that'll... I think I've used bonus action. You, yeah, yeah, not this okay. turn, but if you All want right. to... Well, Harmony's going to kind of put her back to the vestments and kind of, like, steal herself for the battle to come. Okay. Sorry, guys. I do it. All right. Uh, Ismark uh, up front. Nobody's really looking at him, but you, you hear him kind of shout. Uh, it's similar to how he did in the square uh, when you first encountered him. And try to help out. At least he's not useless. This is true. He is not, not in fact, useless. Um, in fact, he's quite quite helpful, at least at this particular moment. Uh, and you can you hear the sound you hear the sound of a sword being drawn and some some meaty thwacks of a blade. Where uh, did he something. run? Uh, he has run over to the right side of the church. Okay. And with that, it is Sunny's turn. Go get him, Sunny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sunny is going to, excuse me, uh, slip back through the door uh, into the church. And, I mean, he'll move in and as best as, like, a wolf can. And Sunny's also not, like, some kind of anthropomorphic wolf, so he doesn't, like, reach up and, like, shut the door. But he'll run in and then, like, like kicks out a back leg and the door slams shut. Uh, he's not, like holding the door or anything, obviously. Okay. Um, but he'll, he'll kind of close it behind him there in a wolf-like way, if, if that's kind of doable. Uh, and then, I don't know, actually, let's see. What are we... So oh, I'm kind of standing, sorry. In... Is this a square that Sunny's in? Yeah, it must yeah. be. Yeah, it's the door to the room that Hermie's in. Gotcha, I see, I see. Yeah, the hallway is not perfectly lined up with the grid. Sure. Uh, Sunny will just kind of post up there behind... Uh, Mina, because it's not do- holding doorways is not a, a you know one of his top three skills. So, uh, in fact, Sonny is gonna. I'm sorry to, to kind of keep going here, uh, but Sonny's gonna trot back like 20 feet this way, and he doesn't see any zombies in here yet. But he's kind of just looking to see if anything's causing trouble back here. Let's there see. are zombies outside of all of the windows of the church. Where would be the closest zombies to Sunny? Right here, right here, right here. Do they look like they're like breaking through the windows? Yeah. Or like yep, making them to do so? Yep. Okay, well then Sunny will move. He still has. Let's run over there. Uh, hey, look. Which, some zombies. which window is blocked by my yeah. pile of. The bottom right window. Bottom right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Father Donovic. Uh, Hearing sort of a, a squabble in the back room, uh, runs around the altar and kind of scurries down to, to see what's going on. Uh, and seeing seeing uh, his, his presumed son jumping on ashes, like, oh, no, no, d- don't do that. <laughs> and that is all he is doing. It's super effective. Super <laughs> yes. effective. Uh, Arena is going to run across the church over this way uh, and attack one of the zombies in yonder window. Okay. Uh, and that's a little bit of damage there. And oh. next up is Ash. All right, so am I actually being grappled up by any way? Or is he just nope, fighting? nope, just kind of jumping on you golemly and uh, clawing and biting at you. Okay, and there's... Yeah, there's room for me to take a step back, isn't there? There is. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, just hit him with uh, my spear real fast here. Okay. Um... Hold on. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, that's bonus action. That's what I thought. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to cast... Uh, where's my freaking spear? Spear, one-handed. There we go. That is a hit. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry, that is not a hit. My apologies, I was thinking zombie AC. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ash flails somewhat ineffectually at the close range with the spear. Womp womp. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna take a step back here. He uh, will claw you for yep. stepping away from him. Oof. Yep. 
Uh, you take 12 uh, as he just rips at your your armor as you step back. What's that? Fucker. Okay, and then I'm going to cast a spiritual weapon here. Right, spell list. Level 2 spell. Where are you? There we go. Why did that not go into chat? I see the block of you trying to put it in chat. Um, also, what, what spell are you trying to cast? A uh, spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon requires an action, doesn't it? Or is it a no, bonus it's a bonus action. action. Oh, okay. well, that's yeah, that, that was what I was checking. Okay. Um, I, mean, so I, I know the effects of spiritual weapon, so... Let me give you a turn. Am I going to make an attack on this turn, or is it next turn? That's you can make an attack on this turn. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to put it in the square right in front of me, so I'm just going to draw a little shape for me that I can move around for that. I'm just going to give you something here. Oh, okay, cool. Not quite a hammer, but you know, it's it's. I'm not gonna say even say it's similar, but it's a thing. <laughs> it's close enough. Maybe if it'll drop on. Oh. This is a, a very large token for uh, for a hammer, but I mean, we won't lose it. Okay, uh, and the hammer should be right in front of you. Yep. Okay, uh, and if you want to go ahead and make an attack with that, go ahead. Yeah, I do. Um, let's see here. Let's see, 1D plus spellcasting and ability modifier. Let's see. This is not appearing for me. I just need to figure out. Is it just my attack for it? Uh, it's a it's a magic attack for you, so it's based on your wisdom modifier. Yeah, I think it's one d twenty plus proficiency plus wisdom. So uh, when I just use my spell attack bonus. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm uh, going to just do force control d twenty plus six. Uh, that does not hit, because does not. it's the exact same roll I did. Fuck. Brutal. Okay. Uh, anything else from Ash? Uh, that's me for this turn. Okay. Uh, Winley. All right. Uh, Winley is going to have to dash, unfortunately, to get to the roof. So Winley does that. What do you want me to roll to climb the church, or is it just climbable? Uh, athletics. Great. We love and it would that. So you're taking the dash action to get up there? Yeah, I have to. I don't have enough movement. Come on, not a one. How about a 13? That is uh, sufficient to climb up onto the roof. Okay, cool. So the issue is if I go inside the church, I no. can't see outside the church. So where do you want me to put my... Can, like, can I get some outside of the church vision? I, I will... Well, I was going to say, I mean, if you're on the roof of the church, barring barring what you can see in that direction, you're still going to have to like look over the edges of the church to see things. So I'm, it's okay if you want to kind of like... Po like peek over right. for, for, to get vision for things that are further out there. Or well, the yeah, but the issue is if I put myself where I would be yeah. on top of the church, yeah. I can then only see what's inside yeah. of the church. Yes, I, I, and my point is if, if and when you're looking over the edges, you can do a little peek <coughs> movement. Uh, I'm going to say you are. You have a flag for the roof. So can I, yeah, I'm just saying like, I can't see anything. And my point is, go where you want to go on the roof, and if you're looking over, and you're like, let's say at the edge of the roof, you can move your token okay. over an inch to see over the edge. Sure. I have no way of, of giving you vision okay. past the okay. walls. Okay, okay. All right, um, well, I can see zombies over here because they're well within my vision. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll use a bonus action to go into my archer form, okay. which gives me an attack. So I'm going to attack that zombie on the back here. Ooh, bummer! Seven. Just bl blast a big chunk of the, the yeah. earth out as you as you stretch your archery powers for a moment and, and warm up <laughs> yeah. for the battle to come. Awesome, love it. Okay. <coughs> Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Uh, so I have a pile of zombies to to handle here. So pardon me for a moment as I as I uh, drag them around. You are not excused. Damn. <laughs> I resign as DM. Yeah. This is a failing. Yeah, high we the DM. Hey, we won! <laughs> <laughs> you you got to take those victories where you can. Suck it, Strahd. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, Mina, you're going to hear the zombies outside bashing on the door pretty aggressively, sure. as, as one might expect to. Okay, I fixed spiritual weapon. Hey, it's another broken. That way I won't have to waste a bunch of time next time. Sorry about that. That's all right. We're, we're all, all stretching our battle legs here. Um, all right, and then some of these zombies are going to try to climb through yonder windows. Come at us. As a note for any of my spellcasting friends out there, if you have a spell that you click on your character sheet and it's not doing what it's supposed to do, just remove it and re-add it to your character sheet. That seemed to work for that. Okay, and then some of them are going to bash on yonder doors. Okay. Uh, the door uh, next to you, Mina, is definitely not, not sounding very good, but it does hold for the moment. Uh, and nobody was actually directly attacked by any of them. Uh, and with that, it is Dockrin's turn. Okay. Well, since the suggestion thing didn't really work, we're going to go back to plan B of throat punch a child. Hey. I do want to emphasize you were as borderline as borderline got there. Sorry. No, for, for Who's talking to me? Oh, okay. I might try it again. Um, so that's the... <laughs> Say, okay. Okay, guys, we're doing great. Sorry, I'll just double check one quick thing here. Is the... uh, Winley, you can tell that the holes in the roof are. are there, there's enough holes in this roof that you can pretty much see through just about anywhere. Um, there's not not any not any particular spot where there's a big issue there. That said, the, the roof is probably difficult terrain if you're trying to move full speed. Okay, well, that... That is a hit, by the way. <clears throat> on the child? Oh, not on the child. Damn, I keep, I, I keep looking at the zombie, <laughs> zombie stats. My bad. All right. Um, and then I am in the... Uh, I'll, I'll use my bonus action to give me, uh, I believe it's four, six hit points, because uh, Artificer level times two. So yeah. I have... Uh, I have six. This is the, the shield thing? Yeah, okay. defensive field. Nice. But, uh, yeah, not I would guess that's it. Okay. Uh, Mina, you're up. Okay. Um, so, uh, they're bashing on this door in front of Mina, and she's kind of, like, trying to hold it shut. She's not particularly strong, so she's feeling very hashtag blessed that they didn't just, like, shove their way in uh but but yeah she's she's you know holding trying to hold steady as much as she can are they creating holes in the door that she can like see snarling zombies through it's more like the hinges are starting to get pulled out by the pressure of them smashing up against the door uh they're not like actually clawing their way through it gotcha so i cannot see any of them not at this moment all right that's unfortunate but also understandable uh, well, given the nature of kind of what's going on here, uh, let me just pull up, uh, hold on. Just meaning, uh, how things are getting a little bit wacky. Um, can she, uh, kind of turn and brace using, like, her shoulder or her back, uh, and ca still cast a spell, uh, even though it has, like, somatic components? I would say probably make a, make a concentration check. Okay, it's not a concentration spell, to be clear. I, well, I, so I would say you're, you're trying to accomplish kind of the, the strength check of holding the door and at the same time trying to yeah, cast I, a spell. Yeah, I, oh. I getcha. Yep. I getcha. Um, so that's a, what, con save? Yep. All right. So I'm going to... Uh, so is this going to expend the spell slot, whether either way? Or is she going to know... No, I, I would say if, if she succeeds, it would, but otherwise she's just struggling to get it off. Okay. Uh, well, I, so, okay, well... I'm, I'm sure either way it's going to take up her action here. So she's trying to cast Long Strider. Uh, she, like, is trying to concentrate and get a couple little things out of her, you know, component pouch and do her little somatic component. So we'll see if I can uh, constitution save, normal roll, yes. Nope. <laughs> uh, she can't figure it out. So she's going to prioritize, you know, holding the door shut, obviously. So that's, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a, a strength check as well. Okay. Strength save or strength check? Check. That be athletics or nope, just a strength check. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Um, with that, the uh, any, anything else from me? 
Well, if the door starts to cave, obviously she'll move, but if that's, like, the end of her turn, then I guess there's nothing else I can do, yeah. Okay. Uh, the vampire continues to claw at uh, claw and, and uh, strike, but this time seeing uh, that Dokrin is, is the one within reach, uh, is going at Dokrin. And fails to land any blows on Dokrin. Good luck for Dokrin. Uh, with that, Harmony. Uh, okay, yeah, Harmony can still see him from where she is, so, uh, she's going to, uh, try it again. Uh, second verse, same as the first, gonna roll on seven. How long words. does the disable, uh, does the, uh, the bardic feature last? Oh, that's just, it's on its next save, so I'll, okay. have, to, I'll have to use it again. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to right now. Docker needs to survive getting mauled. Excellent. It takes minus five to this saving throw. Nice. And it is, I'm going to use, uh, I think Did this the cloak is... of protection have to help? Yeah. Sweet. It doesn't hurt. No, it definitely doesn't hurt. Well, sure. Uh, I'm just saying if you rolled exactly an 18, then it helped. Yeah. Yeah. Specifically. No, it did worse than that. Ah. Yeah. Well, this is my... How many, attacks is, how many attacks is he getting, by the way? I'm sorry? How many attacks is he getting? Two. Two. All right, this is my only other second level slot today, so fingers crossed. Minus five to the save, and she's going to say, listen to your father, kid. Go hide until things are calmed down a bit. Right. Uh, he actually seems to kind of slack in a little bit, and, and it's kind of in the, in the midst of, of slashing, clawing, and biting at Docker, and seems to kind of pause. Okay. Uh, all right, yeah, and it's not till his turn. Uh, but Harmony will say, uh, as part of like the rest of her turn, I guess, uh, nobody touch him. I think that'll break the spell. Um, uh, so, she is going to move... Let's see, that's her action. It's a bonus action, so all she can do is move. Uh, can I move out into the hallway here? And we... There are two doors up here and up, like, here and here that we haven't uh, opened? Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move across the way to here and open this door just to see... I'm just checking out the rooms to see what's in there with my okay. object interaction. This appears to be the office. Okay. And they're all kind of the same size rooms, right? Yeah, they're all two two by three rooms. Okay. Harmony you've, would, you've seen. Yeah, Harmony will move into here. Contemplate hiding behind the desk, but uh, will not do so. Yet. Okay. But that's going to be her turn. All right. Uh, you hear Ismark shouting uh, in the chapel, They're coming through the windows! Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, and with that, uh, you, you continue to hear kind of me meaty thwunks. Uh, he's uh, he's doing work, it looks like. <laughs> yep. We also need to keep Harmony from rolling con concentration checks, because if okay. that slips, we're in yep. trouble. <laughs> okay. Well, she's hiding. And uh, with that, uh, then it is Sunny's turn. All right. Uh, yeah, Sunny's not looking to get mopped here, so Sunny is and, and spinning, I'm sure. I can't see them, but I'm sure he can see. Are there zombies coming in over here? Uh, yeah, there, there's zombies but, coming in through pretty much all the yeah. windows. Well, Sonny's gonna, Sonny's gonna pass on that, and he will, uh, kind of, uh, trot back over here to this end of the hallway, uh, and kind of stand there, prepared to hold that end of the hall if needed, and, uh, barking and snarling at the zombies as they break through the windows and that's it. Okay. Uh, Donovic, uh, is kind of watching anxiously, uh, through the, through the doorway as his son kind of lays off of Dokrin, uh, and, and just sort of whispers, please, please don't hurt him. Uh, and is still not being particularly helpful at the moment. Uh, Arena, Sunny can see this, uh, or might be able to see this. Uh, Arena is attempting to hold the windows on the left side. And... Okay. Uh, unfortunately fails to, to be helpful in this particular round, and with that, it is Ash's turn. She's... Alright, uh, with the, uh, uh, vampire being, uh, controlled here, I'm going to come out into the hall. <clears throat> And I'm gonna survey. Oh, I'm on Donovan, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna survey here, see what I can see. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna come back this way. Okay, zombies. <clears throat> Do I have to take another step out. No. Okay. Yeah, lots of zombies. Okay. Um, as a free action, I'm gonna. I'm gonna suggest to our two compatriots over there holding windows that uh, they come. Uh, back to the hallway to help us hold the hallway. Um, and then I'm going to cast um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. 
Sacred Flame, uh, just on this zombie to my left here, this guy here. Okay. And... Um, by the way, sorry, not to cut in and, and like, obviously this wouldn't be retracted. Uh, I can say, like, he's shouting it now, but Mina is probably, like, like shouting slash screaming, like, I'm not going to be able to hold this thing or something. So, again, I don't, need, I don't want anyone to do anything differently, but Mina, like, realizes slowly that this door is not going to hold. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, you, that does hit, uh, and so it does. It does kind of get engulfed in a, in a bright flash of holy light. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my, the last five feet of my movement here to take a step back. So I'm more in the hallway here. Okay. Oh, if I can be in a square, that'd be great. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to use a bonus action to move the hammer. And I can move it 20 feet. So let's see here. I'm going to move it right in here next to Jake here. Okay. Yay. All right. And with that, uh, anything else? Uh, that is me. Okay. And Winley. Um, all right. Winley is going to cast Moonbeam. Huzzah. <clears throat> On which one or where? Um, I'm going to cast it right here. Okay. And it's a wisdom save. Interesting. Yeah. So let's. So that's what it's, what's double, yeah, let me double check. Um, uh, constitution. Okay. I don't know how to uh, let's see fails. how I change that. Um, okay, so it takes that shitty nine radiant. That was not a very good roll, but that's okay. Um, and then. good, so you probably took double. And then as a bonus action, I will shoot a starry arrow at the same one. Okay. 16. That is a hit. It takes 11 additional radiant damage. All right. Uh, it's looking pretty pretty jacked up uh, between a combination of starlight and moonlight. Um, Anything else from Winley? No, that was it. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the zombies continue their, their assault. And do some some climbing here first. Oof, they're shitty climbers at the moment. <laughs> Take it and run. That green circle is my moonbeam, just FYI. Nice. Okay. It was a dust this time. Okay. And they continue to try to bash their way through the door. Unfortunately, they are able to shove the door open uh, next to you, Mina. Okay. Uh, and then, do, uh, for, for you, Winley, real quick, does anything happen to the zombies if they're walking through the moonbeam? Uh, anytime they enter the fire, they have to make that constitution okay. save or take 2d10 radiant damage. Okay, so one's going to take, take that save. Is it, or start their turn in it? Uh, yeah, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So the one yep. that I cast it on needs to make right. another save. Yep. And any that moved through it need to make a save. And I'll roll the damage if they fail. Well, it takes half if they fail, so I'll roll the damage anyway. Uh, so the one that it was on passes and the one walking through it from behind uh, fails. So the one that it was on takes six... Okay, and it just crumbles to pieces as it tries to escape okay. the beam. and the one that failed will take ten. Okay. All right. Sorry, I was uh, late on that. <laughs> it's all right. Um, okay, and then a couple are attacking. Okay, as Mark takes a, takes a hit as one of them comes in behind him. Uh, and otherwise, <clears throat> that is it for them. Dokrin. All right. Um, so you said the zombie ch vampire child was kind of zonked out at this point. Uh, yeah, it seems to kind of have gone a bit slack faced oh. on you. And Harmony called out, "Don't touch Don't it! Touch I it. might break yeah. the spell." Okay. Um, in that case, I'll. So if I walk away here, will that that doesn't trigger anything? Nothing happens. Sweet. So I'm going to. Oh God, that's that's certainly a thing, isn't it? <laughs> um, can I occupy the same space as the spiritual weapon? Refresh yes. my memory. Okay. Um, so in that case. Object. Yeah, on the way by, he'll dark and shut the damn door and make sure it's locked. And then uh, just get over here and we'll attempt to hold the 
line. And two of Stockard saying to that. The, uh, priest. To, the priest. Like, cause fuck, I might as well make, try to get him to be useful somehow. Um, and then I will smack the zombie in front of Mina with ye oldie booming blade into a... I said into a thunder gauntlet. There we go. <laughs> uh, where, uh, unfortunately, that, that, if that seven is your roll, oh, no, that's the that's the, that's the damage they'll yep. uh, that they'll take if he moves five feet. Gotcha. Uh, willingly, and then there we go. That is it. God, I hope that hits. <laughs> yeah, big time hit. Big time hit. Okay. Uh, so twelve to him. Uh, def definitely seems like a pretty staggering blow mm -hmm. uh, to this zombie. Uh, and anything else from Dockrin? Uh, no. Okay. Mina, the door has uh, has crumbled beside you. Yeah, face to face with uh, some of my favorites here. Um, all right. Uh, well, Mina's gonna shout to Sunny to stay put, uh, and then she will, you know, whip back around and unload two crossbow bolts into this one in front of her. And by that I mean. Actually, first, okay, so shouts at Sunny, and then uh, actually this turn she's going to use her bonus action to uh, bust out a Hunter's Mark. Sorry, let me just drop that in the chat. Okay. The Ranger Classic. Mm -hmm. You gotta love it. Um, so that's her bonus action, uh, and yeah, she's just going to put it right on. This is the one that she shot twice before, correct? Correct. Okay, so that's that guy's got her Hunter's Mark. Uh, and then she will unload one crossbow bolt into his face, hopefully. Uh, no advantage on this, sadly, but... Definitely hit. Definitely hit. Fuck yeah, so he's gonna take... Uh, Colin, like, texted me these ways to set up these, like, bonus damage things, but I'm just lazy, so I'm, gonna re I'm just gonna roll the <laughs> Hunter's Mark die six in a second. Uh, okay. so that's 12 with favored enemy. Not, uh, you don't even need to roll the extra. As this thing kind of shoves oh. its way through the doors, me and it just, you know, wheels around, puts the crossbow under its chin, and puts a bolt straight through the top of its skull. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Uh, well, although kind of a waste, so... I guess I have it. I have the Hunter's Mark for next turn. Um, cool. And then... So that was bonus, shouting, shooting. Yeah, she's going to stay there. Okay. Uh, so that's me. All right. Uh, the vampire seems to obey the command and clam clambers back down the ladder into the cellar. And with that, it is Harmony's turn. Great. Good boy. Uh, Harmony will... Uh, step out of the office that she... Oh, I should track my movement. 5.3. Oh, wow. What did I do? Hang on, I gotta... Fix my, my... Harmony's a little wonky in the... She's not really in one of the squares. I'm not sure what I did there. Uh, if you're diagonal, it'll... it'll okay, there we go. You. Okay, yep. so that's five feet. Uh, I need to take a look at... I can't really see... Uh, I'm gonna move just so I can see... Oh, I see, I see. There's zombies. Um, there's one on Ismark, right? Uh, there are, yeah. There's one right behind him. Okay, can I see that from where Harmony is right now? I can see a couple transparent zombie tokens, but, uh, actually, I'm just gonna, uh, excuse me, Sony, just move up to here to make sure I can see. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on there. Hi, is Mark. Oh, he's got two on him. Uh, ugh, okay. Uh, Harmony will, um, let's see, let's see kind of call out to them, uh, uh, kind of in reinforcing what Ash said, like, uh, might be best to pull back to a more defensible position and uh, will turn to regard the zombies busting through the door. Uh, we'll <laughs> take a moment to uh, uh, look inside her, uh, to look at a note, no per that uh, is pasted to her crossbow that seems to be a reference sheet of sorts uh, and uh, 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 will cast will regard the one in front or the one in melee range with uh, Mina and the hammer and Doc okay. and say uh, wait no sorry this one I'm going to do this one okay uh and we'll cast Vicious Mockery and say, oh, shit. <laughs> I should have written something. <laughs> should have had something for this. Uh, well, I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery so it can make it save. And I'll think of... Uh, uh, I believe it's Wisdom. 
but I will... Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, it is successful. Okay, so then I don't need to think. It's not a good insult. She probably stammers out something. Uh, Under a little pressure. Yeah, yeah. She's okay. like, or she goes searching for her reference sheet. Fuck, fuck. And uh, we'll use uh, the remainder of my movement. Is the last door right here? Yep. Okay, uh, we'll open that with my object interaction. Okay. And uh, I think that's, let's see, five, ten... Uh, last five feet of movement. What's, what's in this room? Uh, this appears to be the bedchamber. Okay. Normally I'll duck inside there. Uh, with my last five feet of movement. And, oop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the end of Harmony's turn. Okay. Uh, is Mark, uh, it, it kind of shouts back to the calls to, to fall back. I'm a little busy! <laughs> the disengage action, you dumbass. <laughs> um, and he is hacking at the, the two zombies that have kind of snuck in behind him. Um. It's called, yeah, it's called a disengage. He seems to be having a, a pretty good, he seems to be quite skilled with the sword and is, is definitely doing a lot of a lot of good damage to the, uh... Yeah, he could be doing good them. damage over here with us. It, it's certainly well, possible, he, but he, currently surrounded. Uh, and that said, it is Sunny's turn. Okay, so Sunny, ever the obedient animal, will go out here and will go help Mr. I can't disengage. So that's 510... Yeah, she's got 40, or he's got 40 feet, excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, Sonny will jump over some crumbling pews and, and get over there to, to flank this zombie with uh, his mark, and we'll, uh, we'll make an attack roll in just a second. And uh, there's an attack roll, and it has advantage. Yep. It's 23. Definitely a hit. So, uh, still haven't quite do that. All right. Uh, okay, so 10 piercing damage, and he needs to make a DC 11 strength save. No need. Sunny just takes this thing down from behind. Uh, and that's Sunny. All right. Uh, Father Donovic kind of kind of watches anxiously as, as the vampire clunks back down into the cellar and, uh, and, and sort of uh, murmurs, oh, goodness, he's safe. Uh, and then so he seems to kind of realize that he himself is in great peril <laughs> in this hallway. Um, and kind of casting about for a moment, scampers over to uh, Ash here. And uh, is, uh, puts his hand on Ash's back uh, and heals him for nine health. Oh, shit. I thought he said he didn't have... Nobody ever rolled an insight check. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ash, you get nine HP back. Uh, Arena is... Uh, seems to be having a, a bit of a bit of a difficult time over here in the uh, window uh, and is still, still trying to stab some of these things away. Um, manages to get a hit on one of them. Uh, and then it is kind of skirting her way back towards the hallway, although not taking a full disengage. Ash, your turn. Alright, I am going to cast uh, uh, another um, Sacred Flame at uh, this zombie here. Okay. I, I don't actually see a thing, sorry. Uh, uh, up by Donovan. Okay. <coughs> uh, that's his mark. Or Bismarck, sorry, Bismarck. Yeah. But yeah, up there. So dexterity DC fourteen. All right. Or radiant. Uh, unfortunately, <coughs> it seems to jank out of the way. Faster. Um, just gonna take a quick step out here, just see what's going on that way. All right, cool. I have to take my step back, put myself back into an actual square. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna hold here, so I'm not gonna use my movement. Uh, but I will have my spiritual weapon attack uh, the one right in front of me here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 spiritual weapon. That is a hit, and that smashes that zombie's head clean in. Woo! And that's it for me. Okay, Wendy. Um, I'm gonna use my action to move the moonbeam here, and I read <clears throat> some clarifying information on the moonbeam, so it doesn't actually deal damage if I move it on top of a creature. The creature has to move into it or start its turn turn. there. So that zombie won't take damage this turn from that. But when it starts its turn there, it will. Um, And then I'll use a bonus action to shoot an arrow at that zombie. Okay. That was it. That zombie will take nine radiant damage. All right. Uh, It kind of staggers as it's trying to climb in the window and as as the beam shifts over it. Anything else from Wendley? Nope, that's it. All right, well, the zombie's going to start its turn in that uh, in that spot, so let's see how it does. Constitution, Pete. Uh, it does pass that. Okay, uh, so it's going to take half. Okay. Once that rolls. Uh, so five. Okay. 
It's looking pretty haggard as it clambers through the window. Speaking of. I'm just going to move my moonbeam off of it so when you move it, it doesn't take my moonbeam with it. Okay. No, I'll put it back. No, any other zombies that move into the moonbeam do have to take that. Okay. Well, you seem to have caught the attention of some of those outside, and they, they turn to start trying to climb up the side of the uh, building next to you. Uh, one is successful, and one is not. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm here. Yep. I just moved out there so I could yep. see. That's fine. So I'm... Um, but it's, it spends its whole turn climbing up there. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, and then more more of these fellas uh, are, are clambering in. And one takes a, takes a couple of bites and claws at Doc, uh, of which I think only one is successful. Uh, let's see here. Hot 19 on my AC. Yep, yep. One, yeah, Doc takes four as one claws at him. Uh, and then Mina, you two are assailed. Yikes. Uh, you take two as one kind of bites, uh, takes, a, takes a bite at you. Uh, and then the two zombies that are kind of on the edges of the door claw, kind of reach and claw around, but don't seem to grasp either of you. Uh, and then more sort of uh, collapse in or closer <coughs> around the doorway, but none are able to push in as of yet. And with that, uh, it is Dockrin's turn. Okay. Um, let's see, did I ever actually add that? I'm going to do a, just just going to stick to the Thunder Gauntlets for now, I guess. I'll do a, another Booming Blade on the dude in front of M Mina. Okay. All right, that's a hit. Yep. And uh, I think we've already established that even with yep. the one I hit, so I'm just going to assume I hit unless something terrible happens. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I was they are they do not have a high AC these mm -hmm. zombies. Okay. Uh, anything else from Dockrin? Uh, no, I'm gonna wait until my defensive field is fully burned to okay. pop it again. So, Mina. Um. Okay. So, are there more zombies like coming behind these ones? Yes, uh, you did see some some more kind of crowd in uh, behind. You don't see, like, a, a second wave coming, but just of the crowd that was outside, they're definitely all kind of trying to force their way in the door. Gotcha, but I don't see, like, like hundreds more swarming no. up the road no. behind them or something. Okay, all right. Uh, I mean, it's not great, but cool. Uh, bonus action to Hunter's Mark on this one in the back line. Okay. Um, I'll ping that one more time there, that guy. And then... Uh, Attack action to shoot a crossbow bolt at him. Um, taking sweet time. There we go. Hit. Thank you. Thank you, roll 20. I appreciate it. Um, so that is eight damage with favored enemy. Oh, I'm sorry. And then Hunter's Mark gives me another. Oh, great. <laughs> so nine damage total. Okay. Uh, and not moving. I guess she'll, she'll quickly, like... You know, if we can have a quick free action convo, like, do you want me to fall back, knowing that Doc has a you know tendency to blast things in in large areas, or maybe <laughs> I know that. Uh, she'll ask like, should I fall back? Um, I think that's if we get s swarmed too heavily. I think so far the situation is manageable. Let's, so. let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh, yep. All right. And that, so that's uh, that's me. All right. Yeah. Uh, and Doru is hiding in the basement. Harmony. Okay, uh, Harmony's going to step uh, out past Father Dominic to be able to get a clearer view of the battle. And we'll draw... Let's see, I'll move to here. Oh boy, weird again. Try to stop being diagonal. There we go. Okay, uh, and we'll draw a bead on this zombie that's in melee range with Sonny and... Uh, uh, Ismark. Ismark. And we'll uh, mutter something about... Uh, these undead bastards not being an appreciative enough, or not being worthy of her best material, and we'll just shoot a crossbow bolt at it. Alright. So, yeah. That's it? Great. Oh, I didn't track my ammo. Weird. Uh, but that's 12 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, a, a solid hit to this zombie. Kind of staggers a little bit, but it's still standing. Okay. Anything else from Harmony? Uh, yeah. Harmony is going to, uh, uh, Look back, kind of survey the uh, situation at the choke point here, and we'll um, call out to, let's see, Mina, I guess, 
uh, and say, uh, Uh, say something along the lines of, uh, you know, Mina, in all those crossbow lessons we had, you didn't say anything about using it up close and personal, but uh, I guess that's just, uh, uh, a trick you haven't taught me yet, and, uh, maybe something along the lines of, you make it look good, though, and we'll toss a bardic inspiration Mina's way. Nice. Okay. And, uh, we'll use the rest of my movement to duck back into the office here. Okay. Uh, is Carney's just running like a one of those Hanna Barbara uh, cartoons, <laughs> just like a Scooby Doo chase. She's running back and forth <laughs> from you all know. the doors in the yeah. hole. Uh, is Mark uh, <laughs> kind of de- decapitates the zombie that you just shot, uh, and then begins to run run across the room, seeing that Arena is is sort of getting overwhelmed over here. Uh, and then it is Sunny's turn. Uh, all right, sorry, just, uh, I could have just said it now, but me, I chuckled at, uh, I just didn't want to not respond to Harmony. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and then Sunny is going to, uh, okay, yeah, um, that's great, that's great, Ismark, thank you, thanks, buddy. Um, uh, Sunny will follow Ismark over here and go up on the altar kind of next to him there. That's a, sorry, I just moved up to get a view. This is a zombie that's, like, inside, correct? No, that's actually on the roof. Oh, oh, sorry, then didn't move over there. Uh, we'll kind of follow Ismark over around this way. This is a zombie who's inside, correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. the, any, any uh, zombies with a flag are on the roof. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, we'll go just kind of jogging past Ismark there. Ooh, cool, thank you, Arena. Uh, so since I have pack tactics, I get advantage on a bite against that guy. Um, didn't see Arena over there. That's a happy accident. Uh, so biting a zombie with fuck yeah! Wow! Wow! Yeah, roll twenty. We we're good right now. Um, so epically is... good is the Dockrin's bad roll last game. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, and with a with a double die. Uh, so I rolled t- double the dice damage, right? Correct. So I always bet yep. on this. So. Uh, four die four is ten plus uh, uh, two for strength, so twelve plus favorite enemy, so fourteen damage. And it's gonna fail its attempt to not get t- pulled down. Cool. Uh, and that's sunny. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Father Donovic. Seeing that Ash is still uh, still somewhat beat up, uh, kind of keeps his his hand on uh, Ash's back. Didn't and Ash, you heal for another nine this. HP. Uh, and with that, then it is Irina's turn. So I'm just going to put the knockdown marker on this guy real quick. Um, Irina uh, sees sees Sunny helping here and, and kind of smile, uh, seems to, to knowingly give him a, a bit of a smile and then takes a stab at the uh, zombie she's been attempting to take down this whole time. Uh, and will finally, finally put her sword through its uh, head. Uh, and then seeing that she is still kind of in danger of being overrun, will uh, risk the step back uh, from this zombie who will fail to, to hurt her as she does. Uh, and then it is Ash's turn. Alright. I'm going to just take a step to my right here so I can kind of see the battle that's going on over there. Um, I see the one that Sunny just took down. I see the two over there. I'm going to just do a sacred flame on this guy, the one that's closer. Okay. Lately. Uh, <coughs> sacred flame. Okay. and uh, it fails to leap out of the way this time, and, and uh, your holy light bashes into it. Perfect. And then uh, my hammer is just going to attack the one right in front of it and, and dock there. Uh, that was a hit. All right. 12 force damage for that one. Gives it a big smash. Anything else smash? Um, no, I think, uh, I think I'll stay on this side of the hallway. I think I'm good. Okay. And Winley. Um, Winley doesn't like these two zombies that popped up in front of her face, so... Well, only one's made it onto the roof so far. Oh, okay, so just this ugly fucker here? Yep. Cool. Um, I'll use one of my guiding bolts on him. I'm gonna say 22 probably hits. No, that is at disadvantage because you're in melee range. 
fine. They could probably hit with <laughs> but a whatever you say. Still a hit. Um, all right, so he's gonna take um, fourteen radiant damage. Doesn't seem to like that very much. I figured that's cool. Um, and then I'll use my bonus action to shoot a archer arrow at him. I, think I know at disadvantage, but I get advantage, so yep. a regular roll. <clears throat> and he will take an additional. 11 radiant damage. Uh, you just blast this thing to pieces as it climbs up onto the roof yeah, after you. Fuck that zombie. And that's it for me, and I'm going to go refill my coffee and turn the oven All right, well, uh, it is the zombo's turn. Uh, the zombie in front of Mina uh, is attempting to shove Mina out of the way. Uh, and succeeds in the shove action. So, Mina, you are moved uh, one square back here uh, as it gives you a push. Uh, as it sort of is recovering from that push, another one uh, kind of charges in uh, past it after you, uh, and is attempting to to do you a bit of a bit of a claw monch bite. Um, rather successfully, uh, Mina is sort of overwhelmed by uh, three separate blows, dealing a cumulative fourteen damage. Oh, sorry, thirteen thirteen damage. Uh, Dokrin, you are being assailed by these two closest to you. Fair enough. Uh, of which only one claw slips through your guard, uh, dealing seven damage. Uh, the other zombies behind continue to sort of pile in uh, closer to the door here. Uh, and then we've got a whole undefended side over here. Okay, so two, two jump in the window here and are chasing after Ismark. And then... These three are going to attempt to climb the building uh, with some some layers of success. And apparently, I can't add uh, flags to two at once. Boo! Uh, so when, well, Winley's not here, but uh, there are two two on the roof behind Winley now. Uh, and then more of these are climbing in. Did any of the zombies move through my moonbeam? Uh, currently doing that group at the, okay. at the moment. Well, I'm glad that that didn't. Okay, so one one is standing in it and one went through it. So okay, so they both yep. need to make there. Yep. Uh, one failed, one succeeded. Okay. So this one's gonna take. How much? So the one that failed is gonna take two. Oh. Yeah, solid. Or the one that succeeded, sorry, is gonna take two. The one that failed takes 10. Okay. That division doesn't make a lot of sense. That was Half of five? Well, yeah, but you said, oh, you, the rolled, one that dam- you rolled damage twice. I rolled it twice, yes. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I can roll it singularly, no. it's up to you. No, it's I was rolling for each one. That's fine. Okay. Um, all right, and then some more climbing action slash chasing action. Oh, you accidentally moved. I'm putting my moonbeam back where it should be, in front of the door. Or the window. It was in front of the window. I didn't move it. Oh. Okay, sorry. It looked like it was in the church. Oh. Okay. And these two clamber onto the roof. Over here. I'm trying to keep myself where I can like actually see what I would be able to see. So if you see my token just sort of floating around, it's me figuring out where the best spot to put myself is. Yep. That tracks. <laughs> It'd be nice if there was sort of a, a high ground layer, but there's yeah. not. Okay, so zombies are quite figured, almost literally pouring into the chapel at the moment. Did, he... Did any more make it onto the roof with me? Several. Okay. Yeah, because I, can't, I can't see them. Yeah, you've got about five on the roof right now. Uh, two to your south, one right next to you, and then two to your east. Um, okay. Yeah, this vision then... is really annoying. Is Mark uh, once again under attack? Oof. Uh, Ismark is kind of caught by surprise by this next uh, wave that cuts. Sorry, I didn't mean to move you if I just moved you. Um, uh, and it's kind of be- being swarmed by behind from, from these zombies here. Uh, the three that come through after Arena. Also doing quite a, quite a bit of uh, pressure over here. 
Okay, uh, and then we already did the ones by the door. All right, so then we are set there. Uh, I, just a reminder, because some of you can probably see some uh, in the building kind of closer than you might like. Remember if they have a flag there on the roof. Uh, with that, Dockrin. Yep. Um... <coughs> um, so I'm going to do a uh, Tasha's Caustic Brew just diagonally uh, southeast from where I'm pointing, which should hit basically all of these zombies if I'm looking at it right. Uh, go ahead and put the spell in the chat. Uh, yeah. It's a cone, right? Ten foot? Uh, it's a line, and then anything within five feet of that line okay. does it. Yep, so you will hit the two close, the okay. three that are closest to you in that direction, and then you will hit the two adjacent zombies there. Okay. Uh, deck saves? Uh, yep. Deck save 15. Oof. Oof. Not great. Let's say, I assume there's like a launcher out of the wrist or something like that. It's pretty good. Uh, the one right next to you makes it save, but all the others fail. Okay. And when I say right next to you, the one south of you. Uh, sure. Um, and then I'll use my second use of my defensive field to How give much damage. Uh, six. Uh, oh, it's a 2d4 on the, on their turn, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it takes 2d4 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. Right. Or it can take an action to take the acid off. They're not very smart. I was kind of banking <laughs> on that, honestly. Yep. Okay. Um, Sorry. Sorry. And then you said doing your field? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, anything else from Dockrin? Uh, All right. Mina. Uh, am I still able to shoot my... I can still see him, but yeah. can I still shoot at my Hunter's Mark guy there? Yep. All right. Double check it. Uh, well, then I will attack action, fire off a uh, crossbow bolt of him. Hit. Yeah, all right. Uh, so that is going to be eight with favored enemy plus hunter's mark. So 11 total from that one. Solid uh, shot. Solid shot right to the forehead and it's sort of stumbling in the back row. I love that. Uh, is it still up? Yes, it is. Okay, well then, let's see what we can do about that. Yeah, I've been, I noticed that as well, Harmony. I'll, I'll tinker with it after this session, but I've been doing it manually. Um, and firing my bonus action shot here. Oof, 12. It's still a hit. I love that. Love to hear it. Uh, okay, so that is 10 with favorite enemy and... Uh, so 12 total for that one. So 23 uh, on that zombie. And then no move action. Just going to try to, I guess, Mina's just kind of like ducking and weaving, holding her ground there, you know, d uh, diagonal to dock now, but but doesn't doesn't really feel like she wants to fall back yet. Okay. But uh, I mean, if I may, like, Mina's definitely going to take a second before I pass my turn here and, like, are we, is, are we about to, like, move into one of these rooms? Like, just, like... Taking a glance back at like other party members, do we feel like we're moving, wanting to move toward the choke point? Ash, maybe if turn undead sometime soon, wouldn't uh, wouldn't say no. I don't know. What? Any, any comments on that? Yeah, I, I figured we're, I'd do it in the next round or two. Okay, uh, well, that's... They're they're all pretty close to being in range, from what I can see. Cool. Well, and I, I know I can't like have a whole conversation about it, but Mina's just kind of trying to take stock of what everyone else is doing. And, but she won't move then if that's what we, it looks like we're doing here. Uh, end of turn. Okay. Uh, and with that, uh, you, we, we don't hear anything from the vampire, and then it is Harmony's turn. Okay, DM ruling. Uh, I am reading the description of a bag of caltrops. Mm -hmm. It says, as an action, you can spread a single bag of caltrops to cover a five-foot square area. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no range listed on it, so I assume it has to be, like, one directly in front of I me. I can't, like, range. toss it. No. Okay. Well, because I think, presumably, you're kind of pulling open the bag and doing one of... Just doing a thrusting yeah. gesture. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh... All right, uh, then Harmony will... Now, would you say an object interaction on my turn, would giving something to somebody else be more than an object interaction? Would that be an action? No, I would say that's an object interaction. Okay. Just in the, but in the spirit that you can only take one free one per Right, time. for sure. No. Uh, Harmony will... I'm going to move just so my vision clears up. There we go. Uh, Harmony will uh, slip up behind... Uh, Mina, where she is right now, will use her free object interaction to kind of uh, pull out a uh, bag of caltrops and kind of s slap it on Mina's like shoulder or something like that, and be like, "Figure you can figure you can figure out what to do with those." And uh, will uh, turn to fire off another crossbow bolts 
at uh, one of the... Let's see. Do any of these look like they've been hurt uh, uh, from a quick scan? The, the the ones that are kind of directly south of Dokrin, the two right there, uh, look like they've been taking some hits. Okay, what about the ones back here with Arena and Sunny? And... Several of them have taken hits. Okay, cool. Uh, I will just take a shot. As a re... Okay, his mark just kind of got chewed up a bit, so I'm going to take a shot at... Uh, let's see, the one closest to Harmony, this one right here, uh, with Crossbow. Okay. Uh, here we go. 16 hits, and that is going to be 5 piercing damage. All right. Little, little shot to the ribcage. Okay. And, uh, let's see, Harmony will, in the interest of protecting her concentration, uh, duck back through here. Okay. And that's Harmony's turn. All right, uh, Ismark uh, is surprised that zombie's behind him, but seems quite focused on helping Arena uh, and pushes out of the their reach, so gives them a little, little action here. Uh, fortunately, he seems to escape unscathed, and then he oh, takes, oh a, takes a hack at the two right next to him. Uh, and is successful oh, in uh, doing, doing a bit of uh, slashy damage here. Okay, and then it is Sunny's turn. All right. Um, so you know, like I'm a wolf, but come on, Arena is Mark. Like you guys gotta like fucking. <laughs> this isn't Sunny. What I'm trying to say is, even Sunny realizes that this chapel is not gonna hold. So, uh, but it. Uh, I don't know. He's, like, not super eager to just totally abandon Arena and Ismark. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sunny is going to back off and just, like, looking around at all the swarms coming in over here, still more uh, coming in this way. I mean, yeah, uh, Animal Instinct kind of kicking in. This does not feel good. Um, so Sunny is going to, sorry, that's just kind of long-winded me vamping while I figure out what I actually want to do here. Uh, Sunny's going to take a, uh, an attack of opportunity from this guy, who I believe has disadvantage because he's prone right now. Sure does. Uh, and to move back there, so I'll wait and kind of see what happens from that. Uh, what's Sunny's AC? Uh, Sunny's AC is 15. Alright, uh, escapes unscathed. Sweet. Uh, so then Sunny is going to trot back over here, and sorry, Ash, uh, uh, kind of slip into that space next to Ash and continue growling and snarling and barking out at the zombies there. Uh, and, yeah, that's Sunny, and I have to go AFK for this one. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, uh, and then Father Donovic uh, <laughs> sees that things are getting perhaps a little more desperate uh, than he'd otherwise like. Um and uh, is is kind of cowering b behind your ranks, as it were, uh, and sort of crushes his uh, his way in here closer to uh, Dockrin and, and Mina. Uh, Dockrin and Mina, are, you, are either of you looking particularly rough? I'm doing all right. Uh, and he is not here. I'll say I've only really taken one one chunk of damage. So. Okay. Uh, then he will uh, simply kind of look at look at one of these zombie the zombie directly next to you, uh, Dockrin. Uh, and a little, little is little, already acid covered. A little, bla uh, little blast of light here, but it doesn't seem to have much of an effect uh, yeah. on that zombie. Uh, and then with that, it is Arena's turn. Uh, Arena, sensing that she is getting overwhelmed, uh, will take the disengage action and pulls herself back here. Um, and then it is Winley's turn. So I don't quite have light. I don't quite have the uh, length of vision. But how how is the back of the church looking? Not great, I assume. Willie's still standing on top of it, okay. so <laughs> along with now, okay. Uh, so it's, that it's fine. they haven't fine. moved. They're so, not crowding into the opening of the hallway, but that's because they've had some tasty NPCs to snack on mm, thus far. But uh, there's quite a few of them in there. Is there any way that we can take all of the roof people and move them like six squares up so I can actually see? Because there's, I, it doesn't matter how I rotate, I can't see all of the zombies around me. Uh, yeah. So if we just scoot everyone, like uh, I'm gonna say, let's go. And up just yeah, wherever. So move yourself as well. Okay. Okay, so I just move myself ten squares up. Yep. 
Because obviously if I'm standing on the roof, I'd be able to see the other zombies on the roof. Yep. All right. So this everything happening north of the church here is, is zombie territory. Uh, or his roof territory. Okay. Uh, so, so these two way down here that say yep. they're on the roof, that's where they actually are in relation to me? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, perfect. So this one right in front of me, I'm going to cast Frostbite. So I'm going to need a save of some sort. Uh, constitution, please. All help. right. Con saves for zombies. They're one good save. <laughs> Oh, except for two nat ones. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> All right, so it's going to take it's going five around. cold damage and have disadvantage on its next attack. Okay, and that's the one right next to you? The one right next to me, okay. yeah. And then I'm also going to shoot at it with my archer arrow at disadvantage because it's right in front of me. Okay. 11 to hit. Does hit. So it is then also going to take nine radiant damage. Okay. And with that, anything else from Winley? Um, so realizing that I'm at the very edge of the church, I'm going to take two steps staying within its melee range so it doesn't get an attack of opportunity against me, but just to get back from the edge of the church. Makes sense. Okay. And Ash. All right. I am... Going to try and hold off one more round before I try a turn on dead. Um, I'm going to do a sacred flame on the one that's down next to what's his butt up here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Sacred flame. And then my spiritual weapon is going to attack the uh, guy that's right here. Okay. Uh, Sacred Flame 1 fails. Okay. So 2, and it actually causes him to just fall to pieces. Cool. Uh, Sacred so, so Weapon hits. And right. smashes this one uh, pretty, pretty hard. Yep. Okay. Uh, anything else from Ash? Let's see. Uh, the spiritual weapon can, can move through people, right? Yep. Okay. Um, actually, for now, I'm going to leave it where it's at. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm good. I'm done. Okay. Uh, the zombies, they are a coming. Uh, they are. Uh, do you want me to roll my 2d4 just for one? Yes, for please. all of them? Yeah, or... just, roll, just roll one. I will take a free action to just yell at, at uh, nice. uh, right. what's his butt, it is Mark, and just be like, hey, come on. Get back here, dude. A lot of, lot of heat going on here. That one actually was not affected, so I'm going to give that HP back. All right, looking, looking pretty melty. Pretty, uh, you know, as, as zombies covered in acid might, might look. All right, uh, and then they are, they are pressing in. Uh, so these ones are coming up. After Winley. This is not going to go well. <laughs> All right. Who is it not going well for? Winley. <laughs> Fair enough. And Ash can see how badly things are going in the chapel. Uh, yep, next round. And some more climbing climbs. They're doing much better on, on the whole climbing thing than I was hoping they would. Um, I mean, the checks aren't, the, the DC isn't terribly high. Say, are they, or are they doing a World War Z and just kind of climbing mm -hmm. over each other to get... To no, they're not, they're not quite that exciting, <laughs> but... Uh, bummer. In my head they are. I don't care what you say. That's yeah. right. Forming, forming zombie ladders. Two, two quick con saves against a moonbeam. Uh, we're going to fail both of those. Nine for one. Okay. And... Fifteen for the other. Okay. Solid. Uh, that moonbeam is doing some work. You say Winley was getting chewed on? Yeah, Winley, they have all swarmed you on the roof. I figured. That's cool. Um... For which we received a couple, oh, a couple fine. of great boons. 
Uh, so let's see. And when the your AC is 15. 15. Have you rolled attacks against me yet? Yep. Uh, you take 10 as one one behind you bites you and one in front claws at you. Okay. Uh, and then uh, you hear the roof crack. Make a re- de- dex save. Yeah, we love that. Mm. Straight dex? Yep. Uh, I'll dex save. Well, yeah. But... 10. Uh, okay. You are going to take half damage as the roof collapses underneath the weight of yeah, all of you uh, of standing that. around each other. <laughs> one moment. Fucking zombies. Uh, you take five, and then I'm going to move you into the trap. You said I take half? Uh, yes, yeah, so sorry. Three. Ooh. My five, I only made you take three or two damage. I thought it was round down. Yes, it is. Sorry. Okay, so I take two. Okay. Uh, and then you have fallen into the chapel. I can't drop you on a token, so I'm shifting you. Okay, that's fine. You've fallen here. No, oh, fuck those little zombies. Does the rubble hit any of those zombies? Uh, give, give me a minute. <laughs> Got a lot of lot of pieces to move here. But you guys see when they crash through. Surrounded by all of the zombies. Know. Is this Ismark? Yep. Okay. No, I need to remove... Well, at this point, nobody's on the roof, so you can ignore the flag tokens. Uh, and then this one dies from that fall. I'll just go ahead and remove my flag. Thank you. This Mark's an idiot. A shit ton of zombies come pouring through the roof uh, with Windling. To be fair, there's a lot of that going around. <laughs> It's not a great scenario, if we're, if we're being honest. So Winley is suddenly much more concerned for her safety. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then with that, uh, all right, down it's at sweet, the man, uh, Ismark getting that. attacked. Don't worry. Don't worry, Caitlin. I got you. I'm good. Be fair. Be fair. Okay, Ismark Power. is definitely kind of getting getting swarmed here, but is still, still standing on his own. Uh, and then one comes after Mina with another shove action. Uh, Mina, you are once again being pushed back. I will use acrobatics. Um, 16. Okay. Uh, you did lose that one, sorry. That's all right. I um, mean, I, I gave you the first one, so... It's true. Well, actually, I'll, I'll, on, on that basis, I will give you another one just to see if, if this one shoves you since I, I did a misreading there. So uh, it also, just so you know, Dan says, instead of an attack, you make a strength athletics check. Yep, I, I've okay. been doing that part. Okay, I thought um, you said you it do was You do uh, succeed on this second push. So the first one was valid, but the second one was not. Okay. All right, uh, so you're able to hold your ground against that. Uh, and then these three that are closest to Doc are trying to do Doc some, some chewy, chewy goodness. Yep, yep. Got to get through my crunchy exterior first. Oh, well, you know. They're they're uh, zombies of defining taste. Mm-hmm. Uh, your your crunchy exterior is quite resilient. I know. Thing too is one manages to kind of do do your forearm a bit of a, a crunch. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then that's it for that group. Uh, everybody else has moved in, and now it is Dockrin's turn. Okay. Um, well, I did my acid line for now. I think I'll hold off on the spell slots for now. So I'm going to continue with the whole punchy punchy good times. into one of those. Um, I'm sorry, on the one that's not affected by the uh, acid. Mm-hmm. It's the one directly south of you. Yeah, okay. So, Which has been beat up quite severely otherwise. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, and being which you pretty much just punch it into oblivion uh, as the sonic boom just rips it to pieces. I'm down. <laughs> You're back. You're down. He's down. Okay. Down Anything else from Cochran? Uh, no, I'm gonna hold the line here. Okay. <coughs> and round four, Mina. All right. Um. So Mina is going to like, yeah, <laughs> she's borderline grappling with this zombie in front of her. Du- you know, again, ducking, weaving back and forth to avoid being shoved backwards. Um, and uh, will. The, the zombie that was Hunter's Marked, I'm sorry, I, I think I killed him. You did, was yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, that's, that's just double checking. Um, well then, we'll bonus action to... Yeah, right, but like, where do I put him? 
the guy, and, and so Mina might have like given Harmony kind of a side eye when you <laughs> shot the Caltrops in her hand, like and, like when we back up. Yeah, she. I mean, yeah. Uh, anyhow, um, thank you. Not you know, not trying to not acknowledge that at all. Um, but uh, yeah, bonus action to put the hunter's mark right on. Uh, sure, we'll do this this one right here. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, Fifteen feet away from Winley. Sorry, just tracking the thing. Okay, and Winley's up there. Anyhow, uh, Mina Hunter's marks. Sorry, this zombie head is all over the place. Uh, and then uses her attack action to uh, actually blast that zombie. Here we go. And then this will be this will be it. Eventually. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Roll 20. So that is uh, 8 damage plus Hunter's Mark. Uh, 11 damage on okay. this zombie. All right. Uh, solid solid shot up close, but it's still still pushing at her. Sure. Yeah, and that, that's all I got since I bonus action to move the Hunter's Mark. Okay. So. Cool. Uh, the vampire still quiet in the basement. Harmony. Yes. Uh... That's the way we'd like these like, things. Keep the bard from taking damage at all costs. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Uh, Harmony will uh, once again poke her head out of the office. So it was like 10 feet. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Where? Just, okay. Putting my, gonna get out the old ruler to see how far I am from Winley. It's, uh, all right, now that we got him on uh. the side, let's light the church on fire. Uh, just one problem. <laughs> We're in the church. Uh, Harmony, <laughs> Harmony will uh, kind of take a look at that, do the kind of shot of the dead, nope, and turn around to see the situation <laughs> at the front door, uh, and will uh, uh, kind of... I'm doing okay. Yeah, I know you're doing. I know, I know you're like not in any moral peril. Well, I mean, it's not great, but, right, you know, it's right. survivable so far. Yes. Uh, and will uh, kind of... Uh, not resignedly, but just like, uh, 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 kind of feeling like it's a needle, or what do you call it? Uh, uh, fish in a barrel? No, well, I was trying to think of the right term, but I'm just gonna to shoot a crossbow bolt at the nearest one. Uh, this one Thanks. right here. Uh, and That's it? Great. Mina uh, smiles so. proudly. <laughs> <laughs> Learned it from watching you. Uh, and will, uh, kind of, as she crosses to, once again, duck into an office, will call out to Winley, uh, 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 graceful landing as always, Biggin. <laughs> I know you, I, these zombies don't know who they're dealing with, and we'll throw you a bardic inspiration. Nice. Thanks. Anything else from Harmony? Uh, just gonna duck in here. Okay. Uh, Ismark is not doing so hot here, um, and is going to take the disengage action and fall back about as far as he can to this spot, uh, and is kind of beckoning Winley to, to try to get a, get away from the mobs with him. Uh, Sunny. All right. Um, you know, Ismark, you like could have fallen back sooner, bro. But yeah, okay. right. Um, uh, Alright, Sunny will uh, kind of duck in front of Ash and take this spot right here and uh, will go for the throat on this zombie and gets advantage because of, again, of uh, pack tactics. Nice. Um, nice. Sure, yeah, flaws, that's fair. Um, so, bite. Zombie is a 17, uh, so that does... Eight damage, uh, sorry, ten with, uh, uh, sorry, favorite enemy, excuse me, and, uh, DC 11 stri uh, strength. Let's see if it can <coughs> stay on its feet. It cannot. Uh, all right, and that is Sunny. Uh, Donovic, uh, seems quite terrified of the zombie that is clawing at Mina, and, and sort of, sort of, sort of timidly seems to offer a prayer, and the zombie, uh, bursts into flame at a, at a burst of radiant light. Uh, and the one Mina has been kind of shoving back with one hand is uh, is destroyed. Uh, Arena uh, sort of steps up to try to help Ismark here. And is able to, to kind of stab this one around the corner. 
And then it is Winley's turn. All right. Well, I don't have four friendlies within range, but sorry, guys, this is happening anyway. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Thunder Wave. <clears throat> so everything within a 15-foot cube originating from me has to make a uh, constitution save. Constitution. DC 14. 14? Ah, yeah. just made it. Is that half damage? It'll, it will be half damage, yeah. Get a ton of saves. Here we go. And DC is 14, so that's right. If you make your save, you take five. If you fail your save, you take ten and are pushed ten feet away from me. Wow, Sunny is not psyched with Winley in this moment. What does Winley do to cast Thunder Wave? If I, right, so so I can... I'm sorry, I, I need to know. Um, so I'm sorry, it's half damage. Ten damage on a fail, five on, on a, success. a success. If you fail, you are pushed ten feet away from me. Okay, and is there any effect if they can't move further than that, that distance? Um, I don't think so. I was just looking at it myself. It just says on a failed save, it is pushed ten feet away from me. It also says unsecured objects that are completely within the area. Within I mean, plenty of, like, effect, splinters yeah. go flying. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice little crater in the middle of the room now. So I'm assuming some of these will get pushed away from me. Uh, yeah, several. Hopefully there's not a lot of room for them to get them. moved. Yeah, I don't know what happens if they are pushed into another creature. If it doesn't, it say, doesn't specifically if it doesn't specify, say. nothing happens. Or you did just doing a metric crap ton of damage. Well, that's kind of the goal. <clears throat> and then, um, of the ones, like, right next to me, which one looks the most beat up? Uh, I'm way oh, okay. in the middle of trying okay. to add up a, a like, sure. I just rolled 17 saves. Okay. <laughs> I've seen the one with the little prone mark on him, but then again, the one with the flag on the other side took fall damage from you, so... The prone one... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Um... That would be my guess. It's no longer auto removing my spell slots when I cast spells. I think the macros aren't working because we're seeing the same thing with the ammo. Oh, gotcha. I just went manually doing my oh, spell yeah. slots because I've got like three, so whatever. <laughs> I've got six total. Not succeed in that. Tell me if you kill our NPCs. <laughs> I did strongly suggest they move away from me. Right. Uh, Arena is knocked unconscious. <laughs> also yeah. pushed away, though. To be fair, there wasn't a lot of places we could have gone. I know, but... There's like I mean, the NPCs didn't even try, so. <laughs> and I can also heal them, so I'm not like super concerned about them. My, my follow-up question would be, did you have any other options? No. Not that we're as good. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, just about everybody within Radius was affected on some level. The pushes have occurred, and what else is Whitley doing? Okay, uh, which of the ones that's still within melee range looks the most fucked up? Uh, the one directly to your right that Sonny is chewing on, or the one to your top left uh, also looks pretty hurt. It smashed through the roof with you. Okay. Um, what about this guy down here? Uh, pretty pretty rough, but not because of you. All right. I'll, uh... Uh... All right, the one that looks pretty rough over here, because I don't want disadvantage, so I'll use the archer attack on Are you him. still prone? No, I'm not prone. No, she was never oh, prone. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so that one's going to take 10 radiant damage. Uh, Don't you have disadvantage on them? No, I shot at one outside of melee range. No. Yep. You still have enemies right next to you. I know. So then you have disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. If I not, still have disadvantage? Yeah, it's not to attack. Yeah, if, anybody, it's, if anybody is within melee range of you, your ranged attacks take disadvantage. That doesn't make any sense, but fine. Knowing that, I won't shoot at that one because that doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, so I'll shoot at the one <laughs> directly to my right that is the most... 
I'm rolling again for the disadvantage. 11. Hits. Okay. 12 radiant damage. On the guy directly to my right. Yep. Uh, looks pretty pretty jacked up, but is still standing. Barely. Great. Okay. Anything else from Unley? Um. No. Fuck it. Okay. I'll Ash. stand there and take all the attacks. <clears throat> Ash. All right. Um. My spiritual weapon is gonna quick take a quick uh, a swing at that guy. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to use my bonus action to use healing word on uh, uh, smashes that one. By the way, isn't spiritual weapon a bonus action in and of itself? Yes. Yep. No, moving it is a bonus action. Its attack is its own thing. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Spell that's the way I read it. Let's look at the spell description. <coughs> if, I'm, if I'm wrong, let me know, but that's how I interpreted the... The, the, the movement and the attack are both Yeah, that action. is a bonus action to move, move and or attack it. Basically, oh. using it is a bonus action. Yep. Well then, never mind. Well, I guess since I've already used the bonus action to attack, I'm going to use that same bonus action just to move it over one. Okay. Um... And then for my action, I am going to go ahead and use Turn Undead. So. More saves! <laughs> and, uh, if you want to get rid of some of the zombies, that'd be great. Let me make this a little bit easier for you. It's 30 feet. It's uh, I, I read the rules. It's anything that can see or hear me. So I'm just going to yep. uh, raise up my symbol above my head. It's going to flash uh, uh, blue and then shoot out a big blue light. And then I'm going to I yell, uh, by the power of Bahamut, flee. Um, and then I'm just going to shout that at the top of my lungs. Okay. And anything in my 30-foot radius there should get infected. What's the save? Um, it is a wisdom save, DC 14. We all know how wise zombies are. Well known for their oh, no, yeah, feats yeah. of wisdom. Yep. Thirty four wisdom saves. All right. How many? Thirty four wisdom. Saves. Statistically, there should be at least one in that twenty and one in that one in there. <laughs> Statistically, you're coming upon two. Of each. Mm-hmm. Woof. All right. I like the sound of that wolf, though. <laughs> I'm a big fan of wolf. Unless he's rooting for us. Well. Yep. Okay. That looks like it should be going farther. I don't know. No, uh, they, you, you've got. They're all in range too, so there's not really okay. any point to, to ask if it matter. goes further. Yeah. I look at it like picture of Ash like standing there at their holy temple, like, come on, <laughs> come on. A little closer. And then seeing Windley crash through the ceiling with a like ten zombies on her, like now. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> that, that, that was the sort of bomb. It give me a sign. <laughs> It'll also be awesome if half of them have to run through the moonbeam to get out of here. That would be pretty cool. Except that if they take damage, they no longer have to flee, so we'd have to hope that the moonbeam killed them outright. Well. One one crisis at a time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Winley, you get one attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, if you, want to remember, if you damage like, oh. it and don't kill it, it's going to stay here. You don't have to take that swing. How beat up does the zombie look that I get the attack of opportunity on? Uh, not very. Alright, fine. I will not take an attack of opportunity. Spit on it. How many moved through the moonbeam? Uh, that, that, I'm going to get to that part. Okay. So We're not any, there yet. I need acid damage. Yeah, totally fine. Acid damage. Oh, right. Cool. 2d4. That's alright. It's caustic brew. <laughs> okay. Would Ash have told everyone not to deal damage or they wouldn't run? I probably would have let you guys know. Or it's a given. I, I mean, we've seen him use them You've before, also so. seen me use okay. them once. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Six con saves. Six, I mean, play, six play your character saves. as your character would. If, your character, if you don't feel like your character would have heeded that or, or realized that, then... Wow. No, I mean, if you'd have told us that or if that had been apparent from the last time I you need, used it. I need moonbeam damage. For how many? Just roll one. There's too many to do okay. this individually. <clears throat> Twelve on a failed save. Six on a successful save. So 
bunch are going to take damage, but they are going to promptly stop running away. A lot of good damage here, though. A lot of good damage, actually. But are they dying? Not exactly, but definitely ripping them up to climb through this window. I will also say when they climb back in, they'll take more movie damage. So. No, I mean, they're going to hit it and immediately turn around, so... One died climbing through. Actually, uh, probably when I fell off the roof, I should have made a concentration check, right? Yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that, because if I lose concentration, they're not taking any damage from the moonbeam that no longer exists. So how does the concentration check work? It's a 10 plus 2 DC, so 12. Wisdom? It's a constitution save. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Don't put yourself down like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I literally said constitution save and then <laughs> asked what it was. <laughs> so I'm good. I did not lose concentration. Self-love is important. <laughs> it's okay, Caitlin. That's what my therapist tells me. <laughs> and just so I remember to do that, is it any time you take damage? Yep. Okay. Okay, and that's the end of those. All right, so then those that are still here. <laughs> Even if we die, we're going to make the DM's life miserable <laughs> on the way out. I mean, it's my fault for giving you this many enemies. Yeah, true. A, a bunch of them Teach me for running a swarm right back fight, into the Jesus church. Christ. <laughs> and I will also say, just so you know, it does say on the first time they enter the moonbeam, so they do only take the damage once. Okay. A bunch of the ones that just get, that went that went running that way were the ones on the roof. So. Or start your turn there. Or they start their turn. Do you have another dog here? Kona. That was Kona. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we have the secret gimp dog that we keep in our room. <laughs> we don't talk about Thanks. it. <laughs> 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 AKA Kona. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of a gimp. Exactly. No, Kona's a good girl. It was not Gimpy in the slightest. Say, she can be both. <laughs> <laughs> Kona can be a good Gimp. We're just going to keep shame here. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> I'm more... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Today and other things that are going to be edited out of the YouTube video. <laughs> All right. Uh, they, so they finally finished their movements. About half uh, fled. A number of them were, were damaged. Oh, oh, sorry, more than half fled. And that said, a bunch of them tried to climb to the moonbeam and were like, ah, pain, and turned around from the window and have kind of st staggered their way back here. Um, sorry, a couple more. Man, here. how much movement do they have to get through the moonbeam well, they're, and they're back? They're not getting through it. They're touching it and then turning around. Oh, but okay. da they're required to take the dash action as part of uh, Turn Undead, so okay. a lot of movement. Uh, and then let's check out this last very uh, very fun save to see what happens down here. Well, could he see or hear me? Because he does have several walls and a tunnel between me and him. He does not have a tunnel. He's just in the basement under the floorboards, and you could hear him crying through oh, it. That's true. That's true. Uh, I could hear him when I was He did fail his save, so two, two, two balance here. Just here. Uh, suggestion breaks. However, he is trying to run away from you in the basement. So, so I can feel it break. Yep. Great. Cool. So is he just, like, cowering I in a corner? I thought it was just because there's no real way for I him to I thought it was, away. too, but, you know, I think that in this is kind of a gray area for the spell. I'll look up the exact I'd say you have two person. competing things going on here, but... Yeah. All right. Uh, and with... The, again, he is, he is affected by it, so for at least up to a minute, he's going to be not... Or not as a compromise, maybe a concentration check to see if you maintain yeah. the spell. I mean, but I could... Well, that's not affecting it. harmony at all. Yeah. But to hold on, eh, I, I have ruled. All right, it's fine. fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I have ruled. It's fine. All right, uh, and with that, it is finally. Oh, sorry. There's still some chewing that has to happen here. Sorry, there's a lot going on with yep. the, with the, yep, the mob. Uh, let's see here. I thought you said they were required to take the dash action. They did. Even though there's a like shit ton outside of the church right now. No, I'm saying the ones that were running away. Not all of them ran away. There are some that were in melee that did not lose their action. Oh, okay. Uh, is Mark. All right. Is Mark is, is kind of getting piled on by these two over here, but is still standing. Uh, sunny. On a sunny afternoon. 
Uh, doing okay. So, uh, yep, Sunny's okay. Sunny takes seven as one manages to claw at her. Well, Sunny uh, had a grand total two. of one hit point remaining, so Sunny is down for the count. Gotcha. All right, so Sunny. Oh, sorry, that's not not knocked down, but we're actually down down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then Winley. Uh, when you take eight as two of them claw at you. Okay. And then finally, last but not least, uh, Dokran. <clears throat> Dokran, you're doing just fine, although one manages to bite you for eight. Okay. And with that, we are finally on your turn. <laughs> Winley is going to yell once again to get away from her. Please. Move for away. the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So since I'm only being attacked by this one at the current, I just kind of want to get a sense of what's going on out here. So I'm going to slide over here. Take a quick look around. Just take a quick peek, see doodle at what's going on out front. All right, that's better than I thought it was, honestly. And just duck right on back here. Um, so I've got a good, just a cool five zombies out here, only one of which is currently attacking me. So I'm... I am maintaining for now. Great. You still have that bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Mina does. I'm no, sorry. I say, I do I have one of those, Mina. too? Yeah, you do. Find so if you need to make so it. So inspired. For, okay, for safe. It's a D6. Or an attack okay. roll. Let me look. I'll, pull, I'll post the description. Okay, yeah, I knew you would post it a while ago. Yeah, it's fine. It's I'll way up it. there somewhere. Uh, if that is a hit, that is a smash. This one does not look particularly phased. It seems to have sure, avoided sure. the bulk of the violence thus far. Fair enough. Okay. Anything else from uh, Docker? Nope. I'm out of bonus action uh, defensive fields, so... Okay. Uh, Mina. <coughs> just basically right. just normal inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Well, seeing the zombies tear into Sunny is not uh, something that Mina loves to, to witness, so uh, she is going to whip around and step over here and take a shot at... Black. Zombie, I guess, so she'll use a bonus action to redirect her passionate fury, uh, aka Hunter's Mark, uh, towards that zombie, uh, and then standard action to blast. So I started blasting. Blast so anyway, <laughs> fuck yeah! It's nice crossbow. Uh, so that is a, uh, uh, a ten damage with favorite enemy plus the Hunter's Mark. He gives me fifteen damage. Okay. Uh, a very uh, solid shot, still standing, but definitely, sense. definitely a very solid like through the eye socket. Not sure how it's still alive, uh, sort of shot. Technically, it's and, not. And Mina definitely is like shouting, you know, Sunny, coming for you, buddy. Something kind of desperate. Ton of bitch, make yourself useful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like he's more focused All on. Right. He should be more focused on. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Harmony. Great. Uh, okay, how's everyone doing HP wise? Winley, you're probably not great. I'm short 10, but great. I'm doing okay. Okay. Uh, Ash, how are you? I'm at 28. Uh, out of what? 33. Um, I took 5 damage from a uh, shockwave. Okay. I imagine you're planning... Okay, I wish I could use this on Winley, but it has to be in melee range, so sorry, Winley. I would love to use this on you. Oh, no worries. Uh, but Harmony is going to step out into the hallway once again. Oh, God. Oh, no. Um... Oh God, oh no. Well, okay. Arena's down. Sunny's down. Do I? I have a good berry on me, right? I think I do. Uh, can I spend my? Oh no, Donovich is probably gonna. Uh, okay. Sorry. I know what I'm gonna do. Ash. Uh. Uh. At Harmony's going to place her hand kind of on your shoulder in like a comforting-ish manner. You know, as you're facing down the roving hordes. Uh, and we'll say in an oddly, well, not oddly, just a typically sincere voice, uh, your God is clearly with you, and so are we. Be brave, uh, your eminence. Has to add the little jibe at the end there. And is going to cast, sorry, I should have had it pulled up, Heroism on Ash. Uh, oh, shoot, shoot, spells. Here it is. Uh, go. <clears throat> there we go. So, Ash, um, uh, at the start of each of your turns, you are going to get 
four temporary hit points, uh, and you're also immune to being frightened if that comes up being relevant at all. Cool. Nice. And that's every every turn I get another four. Yep. Or just, nice. Another so four. Concentration. I mean, they don't stack, so you know, use them or lose okay, them. So if they get used up, then I'll get another four back. But if I don't lose them... Well, I... they'll overwrite. But yes, you will have four temporary hit points at the start of each of your turns, whether you've used them or not. Until I lose concentration. And speaking of which, Harmony's gonna, you know, <laughs> go running by and uh, duck into this... Well, wait. Uh, upon hearing Winley's warning, Harmony's gonna kind of step back. Uh, am I in melee range of anything at the moment? <clears throat> I hope not. Nope. Good. And we'll... Uh, not into Dora's room. We'll duck into the vestments room here. Okay. Anything else from Harmony? Uh, no. All right. Uh, Ismark is is battling valiantly, uh, trying to inter- interpose himself between uh, the zombies and Arena, who's still unconscious on the floor. Uh, n- not doing as great as I wish he was, uh, but he kind of p- puts a stab into this one next to him, which seems to be pretty pretty well uh, battered. Uh, and then with that, it is... Oh, Sunny's unconscious, so death save, please. Sweet. Love those. Uh, there it is. Uh, all right, so that's one failure. Sunny dies. No. Well, one failure. Yeah. All right. Uh, Don- Donovic uh, seem- seems to be in a relative state of crapping himself. Yeah. Uh, but uh, seeing seeing this one pushing at, uh, at Sunny and Ismark and Winley over here, uh, sort of... Seems to reach within himself to, to try to help. Uh, and we'll see if this zombie succeeds or not. Uh, it does, and so there's a, kind of a flash of light in the chapel and nothing seems to happen. Uh, Arena is down. Uh, boy, so that's actually not supposed to be a con save, so it's just what's the roll. Oh, passes them, good stuff. All right, uh, and then Winley, it is your turn. Um, I'm gonna need a second. Just to like, come well, to terms. <laughs> <laughs> seeing as how there are two unconscious, they take damage. That's like two failed deaths. Yeah, exactly. Gross. And Winley's not trying to murder her friends. Um, so one moment to determine what I am going to do. Um, <clears throat> I All will right. highlight that you are quite surrounded. Yeah, I fucking know. All right. <laughs> That's, yeah. Um... <clears throat> They've all been hurt, to be clear. Like, they're not all, there's no clean ones next to you. Yeah, are... I mean, as far as killing zombies, Thunderwave is the best bet. As far as, far as, as killing teammates, killing it's friends, also the best bet. <laughs> Thunderwave is the best <laughs> bet. The eyes in front of, like, I don't care how big the room is, I guess. Yeah, you move your moonbeam. <laughs> they, they don't take damage. They only take damage if they move into the moonbeam. Or start their turn. Yeah, or start, start their, their turn. turn there. Yeah, so but it'll good. only get one. Well, can't you move it into... Uh, yeah. It's a five-foot square, right? So isn't that, like, four total squares? Five-foot radius. I thought it was five just one radius, square. So it's just one. One square. But that's on either side. Mm, radius. Right. I, I mean... So then the diameter's ten. Mm, point. So it could get... Okay, so, so my moonbeam has ha- has been yeah. a quarter of the correct size this entire time. Rough. Because I read it as... Five foot. No circle. radius, so that's yeah. Like okay, so let me redraw square. my room, my moonbeam. There you go. Did you draw it for me? There you go. I can't see where you put it. Let's just retroactively. I, I can't it's move it. It's where it was. Okay, but I can't move it where if you, you drew it. it. So I'm gonna just draw it. Let's just retroactively dust a few zombies <laughs> for fun. Nah. <laughs> just, just okay, one. so that's so the that's size of. I mean, it would have been a lot more damage, but it's fine. Um, oops. Oh no, now I drew a stupid little square. Is that where you're moving it to? No. Um, so I'll use my action to move the moonbeam there. And then who's looking extra fucked up? Man, your moonbeam suddenly got a whole lot more effective for some reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're, pulling, we're pulling the sky beam through. Because I don't understand radius versus diameter. Um, who's looking the most fucked up near me? I mean, Ismark's very fucked up. Sunny is unconscious entirely. Oh, we're talking about zombies. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about to attack my friends. Uh, look, look here, asshole. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the one directly to your north, the one directly to your east look pretty fucked up. The one to your southwest looks pretty fucked up. Is the, the one to my of... east still prone? Yep. Do you have to use your action to move the moonbeam, or is it a bonus action? It's my action. Okay. But I get a bonus action attack. Right. All right, so 
Do I get advantage against him because he's prone? Uh, your disadvantage for melee range cancels out, so it's just a normal so, attack. Okay, yeah, that's what I was getting at. So attack on that prone fella. Six radiant. Um, is it still alive? Uh, from that much damage? Well, it's got a... Uh, Six radiant. Yep, yeah, it, it dies. Excellent. Um, ooh, that's a lot of attack of opportunities. Um, Just think of the actual attacks if you're still standing there. Can I move through friendly spaces? Yes. Yeah. All right, I will take however many opportunity attacks. Ooh, it's going to be one, two, three, four. It's going to be five. I don't love that. <clears throat> But we're doing it. We're going to take five attacks of opportunity to get the fuck out of there. Okay. I mean, you'll take them at some point. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm not going to keep standing there. But hopefully I'm not knocked unconscious as I'm trying to run away. I guess instead of moving. You take 13 as they, they get pretty aggressive uh, at your flight. <sighs> I got one left. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Holding strong there, Winley. Holding strong there. Winley is not super pleased, but is just comes still, still conscious. <laughs> Uh, and with that, it is Ash's turn. Alright, um, I'm going to uh, look to my uh, left here and uh, see um, um, Irina, and I'm going to touch her, I'm going to like bend over and touch her on the shoulder, and she. I'm going to uh, cast uh, Cure Wounds as an action. Yep. Uh, so that is a die 8 plus my spellcasting ability plus uh, some extra for like a million cleric. So she's going to get 15 Ooh. health back. Okay. And then I'm going to look over at the same time and use a bonus action and use healing word, and I'm going to cast that on Sunny. Nice. Yay! And Sunny gets 11 hit points back. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, he's back at full. Really gotta work him yeah. out on the HP front. <laughs> yes, boy. Yeah, you know what? Well, we already we leveled up like at the very <laughs> beginning of this fight, so I look forward to uh, reaping the benefits of that. All right. Anything else, Mash? Uh, well, I got my four temporary hit points. Of, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna move any. I'm just gonna set myself here and uh, okay, get the oncoming storm. All righty. Oh. So let's uh, handle the the runaways here. I think that was a Monroe growl for no reason. <laughs> I will, I will uh, uh, once again shout for everyone who's in front of me to fall back, fall back. Alrighty, and let's roll some con saves. Uh, a whole pile of failures over here. Let's get some radiant damage. Hot damn. Do you just want me to roll one to yep. roll off four? Just one, okay. please. Fine. Nice. 15 radiant damage. For all four of those guys. And anyone that moves into that space. On their turn. Uh, well, yeah, you just annihilated a bunch uh, by moving yeah, the beam if we there. Can freaking, if we can freaking get uh, uh, everyone to fall back into the hallway, we can move that thing right here, and then they just have to go through it to get to us. Yeah, I'm trying not to damage our friends anymore. I kind of picture, it's like, I kind of picture Winley, like, casting the moonbeam, and it's, like, came down in, like, a five-foot square. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with this thing? Like, her, her, her spell focus is all, like, there we go. I can, I can help you check that later. Uh, yeah, one, it's like one of those flashlights that's, like, dim for some reason. You just hit sorry. it a couple times, and it's like, oh, now it's bright. Yep. So one one pushes into the beam and is, is being burned by it, but doesn't seem to care too much. And that said, uh, Sonny and his marker are in for a pound in here. Uh, so let's see here. Run away, Sonny. Run away. Oh, do I need to roll my 2d4, by the way? Uh, no, all, all of those are dead. Ah. Cool. <laughs> That's what we like to That's hear. Like, pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, nice. Sonny takes 17. <laughs> well, oh, Jesus well, it was fun while it lasted. I mean, it's 17 damage that the rest of us aren't taking, though. Resets so. the death saving throws, Also too. that, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, Sunny, Sunny uh, is back on the ground. Yeah. I tried to 
Uh, Ismark is looking pretty rough as he tries to kind of hold like, hold this wave back. Okay. Uh, they saved it from being eaten. Yeah. Okay, uh, Dockrin, you take three from this one, still trying to mm -hmm. trying to get at you. Bless him, he's trying. He is trying, and with that, it is your turn. Okay. Um. And so we're of the ones that ran out the front here. How many of them were still affected by it? Like, how many of them are dead now? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can't see them. So. Okay. Fine. Just wander out there. Uh, Deal with that last one and then join the new front. Yeah, I'm duck out front real quick here. Okay, still got those. All right, we're down to three outside besides the one that I've been having a fist fight with while the rest of you have been fighting and dying back there. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, I'm, I'm having a lovely time. I don't know what's up with you guys. <laughs> You'll find out. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's Dockrin's turn. Yeah. Um, so I did 10 thunder damage to the oldie zombie in front of me here. Um, and, and I'm actually just going to make that note because that happened a lot kind of during my my action as the DM. If you're making sidebar comments, put them in the chat, please. Um, that is a solid hit. Uh, but he is still standing. And what else from Dockrin? Um, I, I, you may not have seen, but I did my duck out, check the status of things out there, yep, and duck back in. But besides that, I'm good. I'm just going to hold the line here. Okay. Uh, with that, it is Mina's turn. Um, all right. Mina is still looking to pick off these zombies that are swarming around uh, Sunny's future corpse. Very near future corpse, possibly. Um, this one, I believe, is still the same one that she hunters marked on her last turn. Yep. I didn't see if it got recycled through, if there's another wave behind them. But anyway, okay, so she's still hunters marking on that one. Uh, so first shot from Mina... She's just standing, you know, smoothly reloading, firing, reloading, firing, just kind of going through the motions uh, to try to clear the crowd a little bit here. Um, so uh, there's first attack 15. Uh, so that is going to be 9 plus Hunter's Mark. She dumps it. And damage. She dumped it. Okay. Uh, and then she will <laughs> use her bonus action this turn to transfer her hunter's mark to is this one still pretty fresh yeah it's looking pretty fresh it looks like it, it caught some of that thunder wave but uh is otherwise uh, more or less intact are there any that i can see that look like particularly feisty like uh they're still fully healed or whatever not that she can see okay well then i'll bonus action uh, hunter's mark on that one and okay. i would uh i'd put a little mark on him yeah I'll, could. I'll throw that on there for you all right uh, and then that's, uh, do I want to move? Hold on. Spinning. Yeah, no, this is fine. Uh, that's my turn. Uh, yep, that is it. And to Harmony. Cool. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. Let me see here. Gonna duck out. It just keeps budging past Father Dominic. Uh, uh, excuse, excuse me. me. Pardon me. Pardon excuse me. me. <laughs> uh, is Irina still down? No, nope. Got her up. Oh, that's right. But Sonny is down. Uh... Okay, well... I have... Let me double check my spell list. I'm concentrating on heroism. I'm sure comprehend languages will help here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what language do zombies speak? What's the yeah, zombie's motivation? Stop. Brains. El Biblioteca. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Brainsioteca. Okay, let me see... So Sonny's down. Is there any zombie that's adjacent to... Why? I can't see that guy very well. Sorry, I'm going to be overlapping a bit here. That's Ismark. Arena. Uh, okay, I am going to cast... Uh, okay. Dissonant Whispers on this zombie right here. Wait, no, it was in the Moonbeam. Uh, sorry, which of these is looking... Are they all looking pretty equal? They're all damaged. Great. Okay. Uh, I am going to then cast Dissonant Whispers on it. Uh, this one. Okay. So the uh, thought occurs. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, keep going. It's not my turn. I'll... Okay. Uh, so yep. it needs to make a DC 14, I believe, Wisdom save. Yes. Or sure didn't. Great. So it needs to use its action to, a reaction to move away from me, yeah. uh, 
in as direct a line as possible. It will provoke an opportunity attack from Ismark if he wants to take it. He sure will. Big fan, and, of, big fan of getting a stab. And sorry, it also takes damage. I need to roll that. I forgot that. Uh, that's a little. Three d six. Yes, thank you. I will just go. Uh, I have that. Hold on. Eight psychic damage. All right. Uh, it looks pretty ragged from from whatever great mental turmoil <laughs> you gave to it, but also uh, it gets stabbed in the back by great. Mark as it runs away. <laughs> cool. And it's sort of cowering behind the altar. Yes. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm out of bardic inspiration uses, so Harmony will just continue trying to stay out of Winley's explosion radius, and we'll use the rest of her movement. Uh, we're leaving the the. Uh, we'll just duck back into the vestment room here. Is that okay. is that, am I, is that the right place? I can, yes, it is. Okay, great. All right, uh, is Mark uh, not really having much of an avenue to retreat, but also still uh, trying to trying to protect Arena here? Uh, throws throws in his sword uh, into these two that are in the beam of light. Uh, and takes the one next to him down, and then puts a puts a second hack into this one, although it does not topple. What's his demeanor in this battle? Does he yeah, need to be having a good time, or not really? Uh, seems, How seems dexterous does he look? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> he's, wearing, he's wearing some heavy armor. He's wielding a long yeah. sword in both hands. Okay. Right, uh, Sunny <laughs> is making a dex, death save. Yes. There you go, Sonny. Yeah, Sonny. Yeah. All right, and yeah. uh, Father Donovic will once again feebly call upon the Morning Lord to uh, protect him in his time of need. And the zombie will uh, not ignore him for once. Hey, how about that? Um, and this one, the one kind of closest to the altar, uh, seems to t- seems to be embroiled in a flash of light. Uh, and then it is Arena's turn. Uh, and Irina uh, kind of gets up and, and turns about and seeing that Dockrin is uh, kind of trying to handle off the last one, runs over to try to help him. Hey! Uh, and manages to give this thing a good stab in the side. It seems to be in pretty bad shape, but it, it, she does not fell it. Yep. Uh, and then with that, it is Winley's turn. All right. Um, Winley is going to cast some fairy fire. Finish off that last zombie down there. Um, Dockrin's got it. So that's our yeah. I was gonna say I, I said it in chat, but our, what is everyone's thoughts on trying to just bail out the front door here? I think we are I fine. Don't, we don't need to bail. I got <laughs> Dominic away. Say that crap out loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I get a deck saving throw from everyone in that fifteen foot cube? Okay. Let's see. Wow. Ismark's going to get shredded. Um, the two Sorry, that are closest to you succeed, the three in the back fail. Okay. Uh, so the ones that fail um, attacks yes. get advantage against them. Okay. So and anyone within that cube... Um, I thought you were already running concentration on something else. Oh, shit, you're right. Moonbeam. Yep, never mind. I'm not doing that. My bad, <laughs> False alarm. My bad. I mean, I'm happy to have that moonbeam. Please, please, please don't. No, no, no. The, moon, the moonbeam stays. Sorry, I... I yeah, I okay. yeah, read that as not being concentration. Sorry. Um, I can move it, but I there's no better place to put it, I don't think. I mean, you could move it to right here or catch four people. I can't see what's passed over here. I don't know if there are zombies in its area because I can't see, and I'm not going to cheat by moving my character up to look. So I'm going to leave it where it is. You can always run back to the front lines to take a look. With my one hit point, I think I'll pass. Cool Thank you. one hit point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can move up and then move back. No, I, I'm okay. You could heal Sonny. Yeah, I could you run heal yourself. Could heal yourself. <laughs> I could heal myself. Druid um, heal thyself. What, what if, oh, but it's not my turn. cast Frostbite and use an archer attack. I have lots of options. Thanks for helping. Um, you just start leaming off every spell on your spell list. Yeah, I know. Something interesting mm, I could also do this. Um, I'm going to... Uh, which one looks not that damaged? One. Which one looks not that damaged? That I can see. The least that you can see. Yeah. Uh, the one right here seems to be in the best shape. All right. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on that one. When in doubt, lasers. When out. in doubt, 
Nice. Critical hit. I think that's her subclass in general, is when in doubt, laser beams. <laughs> so that guy's going to take 31 radiant damage. Just blows it into pieces. I was trying to say, that's going normal on them. Oh that. god, it's dead. And then, Again. which one is looking pretty beat up? Uh, all of them. Alright, great. Uh, the one that's not in the moonbeam right next to Ismark, okay. I'm going to shoot a, an archer attack at him. That's it. He's going to take 10 radiant damage. When they blast it to pieces. And then Winley is going to stay right there. That's okay. it. That's it. Ash. All right. I, um, what, what would it be to try and grab um, Sunny and move him? Uh, it's an athletics check. Okay. I'm going to try and get Sunny just tucked into this door here next to me. Just kind of grab him and move him over. Just chuck him in the uh, closet. <laughs> athletics, you said? Yep. Okay. I'd say that is successful, although that is going to trigger a reaction attack on Sunny by one of the zombies. Okay. Um... Uh, Sunny takes uh, fails one death saving throw as he was hit by the zombie that you have your hunter's mark on. Okay. Sorry about that. At least he's out of eating range now. It, it's cool. Um, and I'm assuming that's just going to be like an action. Yep. Band? Yep. Okay. So long as you uh, occupy that space, I guess. How rough is um, is Mark? Is Mark is like covered in blood. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I was going to give him a shield of faith, but instead I think I'm going to throw a healing his way. I have a bonus action. I'm just going to healing word him. So it's not the best of healing, but at least it's something. Okay. 11 to, uh, uh, HP back to him. Nice. There. And I need to make sure I mark... Still covered in blood, but less of it's coming out of him now. <laughs> All right. Anything else from Ash? The amount of blood is not increasing I, from him. Yeah, I'm going to take a step. Actually, yeah, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back so that I'm gonna free up this space for someone else who wants to take it. I see. I can't take a step directly back. Uh, I I'm gonna move right here. Let's okay. Get into where? There we go. All right. <laughs> and the zombies charge forward. Or charge forward. Uh, whoever starts their turn, yep. a save first, please. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage. It did pass. There's only one. Yeah. All right, he's going to take half, so six. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem in, like it enjoys uh, being in the moonbeam, but seems much more interested in chewing on his mark uh, than anything else. No idea what's going on over here. Yeah, Assumedly I nothing. Can't see any of that. <laughs> so uh, they seem to be kind of swarming, swarming towards Ismark. One, one pushes past, uh, past him towards you, Mina. Uh, the other one is still cowering in the back of the chapel. And then we have attacks. Ismark is, is definitely grateful for the extra HP as they are kind of piling onto him, as it were. Uh, and then one attacks you, Mina. Sure. Uh, but fails to fails to connect as Mina sort of nimbly jumps back. Uh, uh -huh. And then the one here by Dokren uh, scratches and scrapes at your fine armor, but mm -hmm. cannot penetrate. Lovely. Uh, and then with that, it is Dokren's turn. <laughs> Dokren, come to the front. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've still got my one at the front here. Are you guys... Oh, yeah, hey, we're good that's with that one. certainly... Sorry? We're good with that one. We... Okay, I'll... Uh... You so you want me to secure retreat here, then? You killed the one in front of you. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm asking. Okay. No, I, I, I say we just leave him for the other people and come to the front. We need bodies up here. I am the front. <laughs> no, the front's back here. The front yeah, is the front back is here. More, I agree. <laughs> I think that would the, be the back. The front is where there are more enemies. Yeah. Yeah. I think kill the one that's by you. Do whatever Dokrim would do. 
I mean, there's also no spaces for me to turn around and uh, help at. Yeah. You can come right here and help out. I also, mean, did you do your bonus action? Oh, you did do you your did bonus healing action. Okay. Sorry, I can't actually... I, I should be able to see past the father here, but I can't, so I'm just going to slide over one space if that's okay, just to yep. see what I should be able to see. Oh, hey, that sure is a thing back there, isn't it? Multiple. All right. right. Yep, so I'll I'll tank that one attack of opportunity from that one then, I guess. Okay. Do a little, little scritchy scratch. Yep. Fails to connect. Good, good, good. Um, then I'll... So the, I'll still do the beaming blade. I'll just do it on the one that's closest to here. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, do it on that guy. Well, so you know what I'm doing, him. bitch. <laughs> I mean, I would really... Smash. Winley turns around and realizes that Dokrin just left a perfect path for the zombie to come take my one remaining hit point. Yeah, that's right between you. Oh, uh, no, sorry, not that one. Uh, you falcon punch this one into the back <laughs> of the office. I love it. Dokrin's like, you guys can't hold a line for <laughs> shit! <laughs> All right. Anything else from Dokrin? Uh, nope, that'll be good. Mina. Uh, try to dump shot the one that's coming up behind uh, Winley there, probably. She is on one if hit point, if but if Mina would tend to Sunny, Harmony can go for the... Yeah, I mean, that's Let awesome. Mina take her turn, please. Yep, sorry. I just, uh, I just have a hunter's mark elsewhere, but sure. yeah, I mean... Uh, I'm, Mina I'm will... fine. I mean, Winley yeah. does also have a turn before that zombie yeah. get a clear do, shot at her. Do so. whatever Mina that wants to do. also a good point. Okay, so knowing that, Mina's gonna step forward there to cover Sunny a bit, and then we'll take a... Well, we'll see how this first shot goes on this guy eventually. I was hoping Ismark would take my spot there, but... Very fair. Yay! Thank you again. Roll 20, so that's uh, 8 plus... So 10 damage on Hunter's Mark there. Okay. Uh, still seems to be standing, but uh, it was a good shot. Okay, well, we'll just we'll, uh, send the second shot right his way then. 14 is a hit, I think? Yep. Seven plus eight more damage. All right, uh, the second enough. second shot brings it down. Cool. Uh, and I moved uh, up there to shoot that guy. I'm wondering if I should just provoke. No, I'm uh, yeah. Winley, you've got a turn coming up. Uh, so yeah, yeah I'm fine. Up. Okay. Sorry. Also, out of curiosity, would you have taken those crossbow shots with disadvantage because you're in melee range? No, crossbow. I right. have the crossbow expert feet. Ah, so okay. I, Harmony. I've spent many years training. Gotcha. Uh, uh, so Harmony is once again going to step out into the hallway, uh, try to get a view of the remaining situation. Oh, I can't see anything. Weird. Uh, oh, hi. Ugh. Uh, Harmony, could I have stepped out not into melee range with that bugaboo? You or? need to pick a spot. So you can right. step out there, or you can step up north of Winley. Those okay. are the two spots you can get uh, to. Okay. I will be north of Winley if that's all right. Sorry, yep. I can't see until yep. I move, so I'm trying yep. to go like, where's north of... Okay. One more spot Hibbit, north. Hibbit. Okay, here, I will be there. Great. Uh, and uh, seeing that Irene, uh, spiritual weapons don't get attacks of opportunity, right? No, they don't have reactions. Okay, didn't think so. Harmony will level her gaze at this zombie, the last remaining one at the choke point, and will cast Dissonant Whispers on it as well. Uh, flee back to the... Your grave is empty. You should go back there. Uh, and we'll cast Dissonant Whispers. Sorry, I will... The DC 14 was saved. It fails. Great. So it needs to run. It'll provoke an attack of opportunity from Arena, and it's going to take this much damage once it goes. Sorry, it takes a second to send from beyond D and D beyond. There we go. Uh, it simply collapses at your harsh words. Wondrous, wondrous. <laughs> uh, okay, so upon it, oh, no, I need to make sure that's cast heroism and two distant whispers. I'm down to one spell slot. Okay, so uh, harmony will upon that zombie running away and falling away. We'll kind of step up to kind of. Can I? I'll step up to here-ish. No zombies that I can see from a quick scan, it uh, doesn't look like. Uh, at least not say, out the, front. So the, the out front of the church, there are still three that I assume are still running out there yeah. somewhere. Okay. But uh, the front is otherwise clear. Uh, Harmony will kind of, yeah, use... Okay, I started like here, so... Sorry, I will go back and actually track my movement to make sure I'm not over... Uh, that would be your, your full move there. Okay, great. Then Harmony will kind of stay here and call back uh, uh, Fighting Retreat. Uh, 
to the to the rest of the party, but we'll kind of like turn to face the uh, maybe like from her comfortable spot in the back. Okay. Nah, man, that's not us. All right, uh, is Mark? Really uh, should be. Doesn't quite seem to heed, heed uh, Harmony's good idea here, uh, and takes a slash at the one right in front of him and decapitates it. Uh, and then it is Sonny's turn to make a death save. Ooh. One, one and two, one success, two failures uh, yeah. so far. Dies because I believe because he took one uh, attack yeah. opportunity from yeah. that one earlier. So. Yep. Sorry about so that. Sonny dies, and it's Ash's fault. <laughs> yep. To shreds. Goodbye, Don't sweet Sonny. A flock of angels sing me to thy rest. <laughs> uh, Father Donovic was kind of whimpering and scared when Dockran got out of the way from between him and the uh, the zombie, but seeing that it's died, turns his attention uh, back to the north. Uh, and uh, continues his prayers to the Morning Lord, for which uh, nothing Man, happens. Rolled, yeah, I don't think he's rolled above a four for like several turns now. And now <laughs> it is uh, Irina's turn, uh, and Irina, seeing that this threat is is done, seems sort of hesitant around whether the, the fighting retreat should happen and, or whether she should be helping try to hold off the horde, uh, and just seems to sort of ready herself for, for whatever someone else makes the decision on. Harmony might, and, comment, turn. Harmony might comment something like, can you talk sense into your brother? Because he's not <laughs> listening to us. <laughs> Um, Winley will use her action to move the moonbeam here and then take a shot at this fella with the archer arrows. Ooh. <laughs> nice. 10 radiant damage. Uh, this one seems to be the one unharmed zombie so far, and so it takes a, takes a big blast but does not collapse. And that's it for Whitley. Okay. And with that, then it is Ash's turn. Okay. I'm going to move the spiritual weapon up here because I'm pretty sure that's 20 feet. It's hard to see. Yep, yep that would be 20. Uh, I got you also don't need to worry here. about sharing space with it because it doesn't. it's not a piece. Um, and then it's <laughs> going to attack. Here's my, uh, go back to my core. Spiritual weapon. Here we go. It's a hit, and it's a good hit. Uh, the zombie seems almost almost destroyed by the uh, the blows it's taking in the last few moments, but it's still standing. And then, as far as uh, see here, I want to try and get up. If I move right here, would I be able to touch um, Ismark? Yep. Then yeah, I'm gonna move. Are you talking no, about the same space I'm in? No, no he's trying uh, to move into the room. Sorry, the, yeah. the squares are kind of weird. I, I guess that's technically in the room, so I it guess is. it doesn't work. Uh, I don't want to move out here. No, okay, so I really can't get to him where I want to. I thought maybe if I was here, I could like reach around the corner, but there's this square doesn't really work as well as I thought it would. Um, I guess I'm just gonna sh uh, shoot. And, and he's still looking pretty bad, right? Yeah, I mean he's covered in blood. Your, your earlier healing definitely helped, though. I, I was trying to get him so I could get a better heal on him, but I, I'm just gonna shoot a healing word his way again as a bonus, as an action. I'm gonna use a bonus action as an action. Basically. You. you. You I think can't. Can you choose to do you it? Can't. I thought you could mm. sacrifice an action to use the bonus action. Uh, oh, I said the, the duplication. You could use two bonus actions, or you could use one action, one bonus action. Right. Yeah, sorry. There's a weird rule about your what you do in your standard action, how your bonus action happens, but there's yeah. no prohibition against okay. doubling it up. So, never right. mind then. I guess no. I'll just. No, uh, you're fine. You're fine to do it. Okay, then he gets 12 health. <laughs> All right. Definitely keeping, keeping him on his feet here. And anything else, Mash? Uh, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, and Moonbeam damage, please. Hot 17 if they fail. All right. Uh, oof, uh, that actually will kill all of them. Nice. Even with successes. So these three that are in the Moonbeam uh, disintegrate under the guiding light of the stars. Uh, and then this one is still cowering, and the others are continuing to run away. Uh other than the one right here next to Ismark, who will do his best to take him down, uh, does, does him a little bit of a scrape, uh, but Ismark, fortunately, due to the healing, is still on his feet. Um, and that is it for them. Dokrin. Um, 
Well, in a stunning turn of events, I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna punch <laughs> him real good. That's a hit. And you just blow it, blow it to pieces with the clap of thunder. Neat. And then, I don't know, are there any more in here? Or one hiding behind the altar. One? Yeah, I kind of slide, slide into a more forward position here and... Yeah, I mean, if it's still cowering, I'm gonna, I'm more than happy to let it come to me. <laughs> okay. And with that, it is Mina. Well, obviously Mina is devastated uh, at the horrific death of Sunny. Um, but... If she even knows it happened. Well, it happened right next to her. <laughs> it, yeah, she like, <laughs> she has like Sunny's blood sprayed all over her face basically so not nice. psyched about that hmm. um i'm yeah i'm making that up but load in a sense uh is this i'm sorry is this the last zombie that you can see yes that i can see yes uh okay cool 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 well um will and has it been injured is it wounded it is quite wounded Sorry, I'm sure you've said that two or three times already. Uh, so I will... Uh, you know what? I'm going to save the Hunter's Mark action and take a couple shots at it because cool. uh, that gives me two shots since, uh, you know, a little, bit of, a little bit of a numbers game there. So here's attack action to shoot one bolt at it. And Mina looks nervously at her dwindling supply of bolts uh, on her little belt pouch. But here's one. Solid shot. Yeah. Track. Um, so that is... Just dump shots it from across the room. <laughs> cool. Uh, and then... I don't have anything to do with my bonus action, really. So do I hear more enemies, more fighting happening uh, anywhere in particular? It feels like we've cleared them out pretty well. Other than the, the labored breaths of uh, the last couple, you know, strikes and, and whatnot, uh, the church has fallen silent. So we okay, still have yeah. a feared... Is... Vampire Child, and then we have however many zombies retreated. I didn't get a good look at how many there were, so... Mina runs down here to take a look, but then she'll use the rest of her move action to end up next to Sunny's corpse again. Like, I know there are three zombies out front. That's all I know in terms, in terms of remaining enemies. There were several that fled out the back, but I don't know how many. As I say, can I see out the windows here? To... Yeah. I mean, you, you go over, you can take a look. Okay, are we still... We, we are, we are kind of in a pause of combat uh, or, or initiative order here. Uh, Ash, you know that from, from the power of Bahamut that uh, you have maybe another 30 or 40 seconds before the, the turning uh, wears off. Whether they will return or not, you're, you obviously don't have a, a clear idea of. Um, but at least for the moment, it seems like you're reasonably safe here. Uh, the map doesn't extend very far down from where Harmony is. Mm -hmm. uh, is the... Zombie that I use Distant Whispers on because I don't think it has to keep moving after its initial. It died. It died. Oh, it, that's it right. Ran into the back of the chapel. Right, and, and the others that ahead. fled from where Dockrin was can can Harmony see them at all? Are they within like sixty feet of her? Mm, nope. They okay. all, all seem to run run beyond Flooded the light the of your torches and, what, okay. and dark green <laughs> and whatnot. Okay. So nothing happens for at least another thirty seconds. So well, so, so we need to at least we, that you know of they're gonna they should be fleeing for at least another thirty seconds okay, so, or so. We uh, need to figure out what to do with the vampire yeah. child. Harmony, yes, priority. will I mean not to take initiative, but I think technically it's Harmony's turn. Uh, well, I mean I know we're taking a pause. Harmony mm -hmm. will um, kind of stalk right up to Dominic and uh, kind of uh, get kind of in his face and be like, "What?" and point to the the. Uh, new room where the vampire is attempting to flee from Ash is that. Okay. And before I respond to that, I'm just going to give everybody a chance to explain what you're doing kind of on the whole for the next 30 seconds yep. or so. Uh, so, Dockrin. Um, so, I'll, like, I might cast a quick glance out the back windows to see if I can see any of the zombies remaining. Okay. And then if I don't see anything, I'm probably going to stand by to hold the line in, at the trap door with the vampire child. Okay. And are the doors still intact? Because Harmony won't close them. The internal doors are intact. The outer doors have been sma kind okay. of smashed out right. of place. Yeah. Uh, Winley, what are you doing for the next 30 seconds or so? Um, well, the moonbeam will disappear in another like 20 seconds or so. So sadly, watching it fade away and uh, getting some healing would be awesome. Um, how, how are you looking on spell slots, Ash? 
And I have one spell slot left. All right, I'll cast Cure Wounds on myself. I was going to say, <laughs> I have a couple Cure Wounds slots. I have, well, a couple spell slots that I can yeah, use as Cure Wounds. Yeah, I still have them. three. Um, so I, I'll, I have two. So. I'll be casting Cure Wounds on myself. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll for that. Okay. Ash, what are you doing for the next 30 seconds or so? Um, does anyone else need healing? Because I can use that last spell slot on healing. If you only have one spell slot left, I mean, I could use some healing, but I feel like maybe you don't need to, like, I have 21 hit points left. Do I have enough time to cast it twice? Yes. Okay, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself again, which puts me down to one spell slot and up to... Uh, How does Ismark look? 27. Ismark is, is still covered in blood, but, I mean, you healed him a couple of times, so some of the, some of the blood seems to be more from older wounds. I would uh, say I, I I'll offer him a heal if he wants it on the way by. He'll, he'll nod to you. Okay, so just for flavor reasons, I'm going to say a comically large syringe pops out of one of the wrists of his armor and just oh, jabs him. That's the... I don't like that. Uh, anything from Ash, then? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Uh, and then Mina. That's 10 HP for him. Yeah, Mina, I mean, she can't really, like, effectively travel with while carrying Sunny's remains, but she's just gonna, like, quickly unclip her cloak and, like, throw it on the floor and, like, kind of ungloriously, like, roll Sunny's, like, partially devoured body into it and then kind of, like, tie it up. And depending on what happens in, like, within the next few moments... She's not, like, carrying it. She just kind of, like, ties that up and then, and, like, shoves it off to one side. Does she want to uh, store him in the bag of holding? Okay, so she does want to store him in the bag of holding. But, uh... Okay, got your back. Uh, but doesn't want to take, like, the time to do that necessarily right now. So if Doc... Or, sorry, Winley is, like, there and, you know, if we can make do that, then fine. But otherwise she'll just kind of bundle him up and stash, stash him in a corner. Okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, Armony, you, you coming up to Father Father Donovic, uh, he, he kind of cowers under the in, intimidating visage of a, uh, you know, of uh, a tiefling, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of storming up to him, demand that. Please, please don't hurt him. It's not his fault. What? Who is he? How did he become a vampire? Why did you hide him from us during a funeral service? He's my son. Please. He was turned. A year ago he was turned and I, I was hiding him because the villagers wouldn't understand. They would hurt him. They would, they would kill him. Please. Please don't hurt him. How have you been feeding him? He, he's just sort of stammering and, and seems not lost for words so much as uh, trying trying feebly to, to come up with an answer to Harmony will kind of become more... Her village yeah. will be, visage will become. I'm gonna do an intimidation check and just repeat a har uh, Harmony's question. Yeah. Just how were you beating him? And then intimidate. Intimidate. Intimidation. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> bad cop, worst cop. He, he seems to to break under that particular uh, question from Ash. The, the sick, the elderly, the, the, those who went long for this world. Please, they, they only had so much more time. But my son, he needs. He needs help. I'm trying to help him, please. Uh, Harmony will seem to, like, spasm at that. And, like, she doesn't have a melee weapon on, but her hand, like, gris grasps her rapier pretty tightly. But it doesn't, like, come out of her sheath. And she, like, kind of coldly, like, looks away from him dismissively and looks over to Ismark. Is he listening to this, or is he more attending to his own wound? He's not attending to his own wounds. He, he's been kind of going with Dockrin around the perimeter to see if any any threats okay. are still coming back. So he didn't hear any of this? He doesn't seem to be paying attention to your conversation. Okay. Uh, your son is an abomination, but you are the monster. And Harmony will, uh, Harmony will kind of look at him uh, uh, coldly and say, Is that what the Morning Lord teaches? Uh, he, he just kind of begins to sob. Uh, and as uh, as we reach this particular moment, uh, a couple of things. Uh, number one, uh, Dockrin, uh, looking out looking out yonder windows, uh, you can see movement uh, in the graveyard. Uh, and then also you hear sort of a loud <laughs> coming from the uh, basement. Nice. Uh, and with that, we shall have another, another round of good old-fashioned initiative. Oh, we're rolling again? Yep. 
Cool. Make sure you select your tokens. Yes, they see us rolling. Get they rolling, are rolling, 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 rolling. We should possibly go. Mina will like say in some form, in some way or another. Oh, hey, there's my decent fucking. In two campaigns, <laughs> it's the best initiative I've seen you roll. It's almost like I've been rolling low dex characters for tank characters. Time. Yeah. With the, with the benefit of hindsight, maybe we should spend some effort putting something heavy on top of that trap door. Well, we were disconnected. I, I have it set to roll initiative with advantage, so I'm not sure why it. The macros are a little iffy today, in general, yeah. it seems like. Yeah. Best, best bad roll I've ever seen. Let's just say the zombies are not quick on their feet. <laughs> they're just kind of tripping over their feet okay. as they're running. Uh, Mina, you have the initiative once again. Okay. Hmm. Throw the alchemist fire into that small room and let it burn. Um, alright. Um, that does not occur to me now, I'll be honest. She's so distracted. A good idea. Uh, Mina is going to go and pick up the bundle containing Sunny and throw that over her shoulder. And uh, that's possibly a move and an action. I don't know. Yep, I would, say, I would say the, the hoisting and the movement there. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll move like with carrying the bundle to the door. Okay. Harmony. Harmony will... Um... Uh, so there aren't. I, I, did Dockrin and Ismark like shout a warning, or I think we're distracted by the I mean, screaming the from the vampire yes. screech. I imagine is the primary uh, thing. Uh, Harmony will level her, you know, will kind of like probably snap her gaze over to the source of the sound, and then will turn her like level of furious glare back at Dominic. And I can make an intimidation check here if you want me to. And she'll say, Donovich. Donovich. I'm sorry. Uh, and she will say, "Tend to your son, or we will." Okay, go and make your intimidation check. Sure. Finley. Um This guy's absolutely gonna get killed by his son if we <laughs> That seems fair. Are we like are we killing the zombie? Are we leaving? What's what's the plan, guys? Uh we should I mean Mina's clearly making ready to go. Does Mina say anything as she like kinda walks past uh, the... yeah, yeah, so I, I commented that that yeah, she definitely we out? makes where I comment like we might want to consider leaving. Uh, and then grabs the bundle with Sunny, throws it over the shoulder, and then she's not, like, sprinting out the door, but runs over to the door frame and is, like, looking out, kind of standing behind Arena there. So, yeah, Mina's, like, maybe we should go find, like, a new place to have this engagement. Uh, and uh, did anything happen to the Burgomaster's body during all of this? I mean, it's been a bit of a roof collapsed on it at one right. point. Okay, but it wasn't getting gnawed on. No. Is the zombie child out of the basement again? We, no one's in there, I don't think. I mean, I can close. see into the... Oh. You, you can see it starting to climb out. Okay, yeah. Uh, Winley's character traits tell me she's going to attack it. So, uh, it. <laughs> sorry guys, it's what's happening. It's an enforcement, I mean... <clears throat> um, I will... It attacked us first. Yeah, I'll cast Frostbite on the zombie. Uh, DC 14. Vampire. Zombie, yeah, vampire. Um, constitution <laughs> save, please. Would that it work? There's a zombie. difference in undead. It fails. It okay, it fails. It takes uh, <laughs> one ice damage, but also gets disadvantage on its next attack. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I am still in archer form. So, archer attack. You said that your form faded away. Yeah, yeah and then she ran. It's not, not one. No. Uh, 11 probably misses. It does miss. All right, I'm going to use my Bardic Inspiration to add to that. Uh, you, I think you can only apply it before you know the outcome. Oh, well, I knew it missed, so I guess, yeah, whatever. Um, and then... Next time. I still don't have very many hit points, so I fully intend to kill this thing, but I am going to move away. Okay. Back to here. Darkrin. All right, do you guys want me tanking the likely oncoming horde, or do you want me tanking the vampire child? Let's not stay... I'm not saying I'm not saying we're staying, but yeah, if we're backing off, Why don't then you get into a position to tank the vampire so child so if it tries to come sorry. through the door. Yeah, I'll just kind of yeah take the door the door away here. 
And uh, I guess I'll take a dodge out. Well, no, it's already already in action for when it gets right in front of me here. Okay. And to punch it with a booming blade. Okay. Ow. Ash. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, shoot a sacred flame its way here. Okay. Uh... When you're done with your turn here, there's a question for you in the chat. God damn, guys. Yeah, those ones <laughs> are no really effect. solid. Ones. Really yeah. solid. Has, has no effect. Gotcha. Uh, Irina, sensing what Mina's kind of putting down, will we'll kind of reach out and offer to help uh, carry carry Sunny. Has she said anything this whole time? Been in the middle of a fight the whole time. Right. Just in general, though, I don't think we've heard her talk at all. Uh, sure. Sure, she can carry Sunny. Okay. Uh, she will attempt to help here. All right. Uh, she's being very helpful. You are not encumbered in any way, shape, or form I, by trying to I carry love this. That. Okay. Um, and then with that, she'll, her, she's just ready and kind of the, her, her overall action here to just help move with you uh, when that time comes. Uh, Father Donovic um, is quite cowed by, uh, by the intimidations here uh, and kind of pushes, pushes past Dochran into the room yeah. uh, and, and is kind of, kind of whispering, uh, whisper gasping at, at door. Please, please, my son, please, no. Uh, that said, uh, Doru seems to not give two fifths of a fuck about what Dominic says, uh, but lunges at him as he comes out. Yeah. The... Lunges at Don? Don? Donovic. Donovic. Okay, well. And literally just rips his throat out as he comes up. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sp- saves us from having to execute him, so. Uh, Ismark sure. is picking up whatever he's laying down on the retreat here, uh, and will kind of rush rush Finally. out the front doors and, and kind of steady himself to, to try to defend any against any attacks from the front doors. Uh, and with that, the yonder worst initiative ever zombies. Holy crap, that's amazing. <laughs> what, the nat one? Yeah. Our, our, it's a negative one, one in initiative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. Is this one working better than the all right. this computer? Uh, and with that, it is no, Mina's no, turn. Yeah. Um, all right. So it kind of looks so like everyone's that's been concerning. funneling towards the door. What's Winley doing? <laughs> Winley's not at the table, sorry. Winley was uh, chucking attacks at the vampire. Uh, Doc seems intent on holding the door against it, but I don't think anyone's going to. Like, I'm, I'm holding the rear. Is kind yeah, of my, we're just my kind of, yeah, I, I think we've all kind of signaled you guys to go. Yeah, I, I, okay, cool. And I don't see any enemies, so uh, Mina keeping an eye on uh, Arena. Uh, gonna move out that way, so like 10 feet. I can see a zombie from there, so uh, Mina's gonna go. Uh, 10, 20, and that puts her right next to the torch there, which uh, she's a fan of, and within range to plunk this zombie, okay. if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. Uh, so I will uh, shoot the zombie. Uh, no, I know, very original. Uh, not going to do Hunter's Mark or anything, just... Uh, popping off a quick shot at 22 hits. Uh, so that is nine damage with a uh, favorite enemy, and then she'll do a quick reload and another 22. Hits. So 10 more damage. The two shots bring that zombie down. All right, and that is it. Okay. Harmony. Harmony. Uh, okay, yeah. Harmony will kind of watch uh, Father Dominic's throat get torn out by his vampirized son and will make a mental note. Uh, as a bard, appreciate the dramatic irony on display here. Uh, uh, I guess he fed his son after all. Da, da, da. Uh, and we'll kind of um, take a step just so she, he can, she can see into the room at, uh, and you know, see the uh, creature uh, that's chewing on its father's corpse. Uh, does it seem occupied by that, or does it seem like it'll probably be... It li- like you're literally coming around the corner to watch it rip his throat out. Right, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and, uh, Harmony will pointedly, uh, clear her throat, <clears> throat> take the turn. <clears throat> and say, vampire, more like shampire, if you ask me. 
Can I choose not to take Bardic Inspiration? <laughs> and you cast, <laughs> and you cast Vicious Mockery. Not giving anyone inspiration. Oh, yeah. Holy fits. shit, that guys. Fits. That, that, that certainly fits. Okay. Uh, it takes to make a DC 15. It's 14 yep. wisdom save. Yep. And damage? One. It's on there. Okay. Jesus Christ, guys. All right. And Winley. Um, all right. Winley will move down, hoping to oh, I'm gonna be able to see this thing. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see it. Uh, yeah. And. <coughs> uh, another um, constitution save, please. Okay. Passes. Okay, then it takes no damage. Okay. Um, I will shoot at it, though. Okay. <coughs> and a nine misses, and then I'll step back again. Okay. Uh, Dockrin. Okay. Um, is everyone kind of getting behind me here, or are we going or because i'll keep holding the door here until everyone's past me like i said i'll hold the rear so i'm going to maintain my held action at the door okay. i mean winley would love to kill this thing i would love to not die i just feel like i i want to kill it too but if another wave like that arrives and like i don't think we can do that again really no we can't we don't no, have the <laughs> So, uh, so yes. Support, full support of killing it, but I also feel like we need to like get back and get a good sense of what's coming at us. Fair. Doctor, doing anything else? Um, I'm. So yeah, I will shout, "Get the hell out of here!" We can deal with this another time, but we need to get out of here. I assume he's still chowing down on Dad here. Uh, presently. Yeah. Okay. Ash. Uh, I'm going to delay my uh, action to the last of our party. You are the last person in the party's order. Oh, okay. Well. I'll be the back if you want to be the front, since you're also heavily <laughs> armored. I also don't like leaving people behind, but... I will move to the front of the door here, I guess. And take a look to left to right. I don't see any zombies, so I guess... Should... I guess I'll just start moving my full movement away. Okay. Dash action. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. There's a, I, I see, I can spot a zombie over here just at the edge of the torchlight, but that's the only one I noticed. Okay, so Ash is leading the way out. So it is Irina's turn. Uh, Irina, seeing Ash kind of run past uh, and seeing kind of the, the zombies in the distance, uh, kind of shouts, we should leave, uh, and, and kind of runs over here by Ash. Is she carrying Sunny alone? <clears throat> she was hel- uh, helping. Right. Yep. Yes. And then Mina is, but Mina was over there fighting them. That's zombie. true. That's true. Uh, so actually, she's, she's going to have to stick with you, Mina. Uh, and then uh, the vampire seems uh, seems satisfied with having murdered his uh, father for, for blood and uh, looks to Dockran in the doorway and gives him a, a good old-fashioned lunge over here. A good old-fashioned lunge. So much for him. Is he eating his father? <clears throat> well, you know. Gotta do what he's gotta do. Um, he's a... He's a, what do you call it, a grazer? Uh, okay, so I'm sorry, really quick. You did say that none of our, like, new spells and stuff are available. I put the notes in the chat. Oh, okay, sorry. Yep. Uh, Dockran, you take 12 as he lo- as he leaps upon you and uh, get, and uh, bites you. Cool, cool, not a big fan of that. No, I, I can imagine not. Uh, Ismark sees that you are uh, being assailed <clears throat> and uh, runs over here to, to try to assist you. Uh, and manages to, to kind of dig a dig a sword into uh, into the vampire's uh, shoulder, uh, somewhat trying to prize you prize him off a little bit. Uh, and then the zombies are beginning to charge in here. Please excuse like. my dog. He's a moron. So he sounds like when he's chewing on a bone. So. Okay. And Mina, it is your turn. Sorry. Uh, definitely like uh, uh, not like screaming in terror, but saying, you know, guys, uh, 
uh, something along those lines, and then gonna shoot at, um, well, I don't know, if uh, Irina and I are kind of, uh, teaming up on carrying Sunny, which, by the way, is completely unnecessary, I just want to point out, but Mina, like, probably wouldn't just leave Sunny's corpse, uh, there to be devoured, so that's, that's what I'm rolling with, um, but, anywho, yeah, we're probably just going to keep moving away from the chapel, because Arena kind of spent her turn, like, waiting to, to do that with Mina, so, you know, teaming up on either side of this cloak that has Sunny bundled in it, I guess we're going to move, and I mean, there's zombies closing in on either side, so, like, not trying to ditch anyone, but if that's, especially if that's what Arena was like, with me to do, uh, then we're definitely going to move further away from the, uh, you know, church, chapel, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll keep... Town is kind of, like, this way? Yeah, it, it's down this path. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to move... I, I guess my movement is going to be stopped by the... Border. Uh, Back to the map. My, my yeah. need too. I should probably be <clears throat> farther than what I am. I don't know how much farther, but I did a double move action at the end of last game. I see. I can I can measure for you. Um, you should be 30. Uh, so, Mina, you've still got, what, 40 feet of movement if you're dashing? I mean, well, so I guess I'm trying to decide. I don't think I'm going to dash because I think I want to at least, like, spin around and fire off one shot at uh, zombies. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna be about ten feet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be about ten feet further south, like ten feet due south of that point on the map, uh, where Arena and I are now. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, I mean, if that's okay with you, if I'm kind of like one-handing the, I won't do my, my. Well, I mean, depending on how you feel about it, I won't do my bonus action shot. But if I'm kind of like one-handing the cloak with Sunny and and you know firing yeah. a, a bolt. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, then I will do that. Uh, at which one? Uh, I'm gonna shoot at the one closest to that torch, the one that was, okay. like, pretty much rushing right at me. Okay. So I do uh, have a vampire eating my face, so I could probably... I don't think he's got an angle on that. that. No, yeah, I, fair I, enough. I, I know, it was more just a general statement. Sure, actually, here, let me... My vision is pointing the wrong direction, which is super helpful. Maybe I can... Oh, I can, I can, like, almost... Uh, yeah. if you move out into that doorway, I can... I mean, helping. that's, that's the plan. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's a crossbow shot. Uh, I, I know I'm in, in my long range now, but went with that sharpshooter feet, so I can still hit that guy. Cool. Um, I'm not sharpshooting, just to be clear, yeah. but just so you know, I can... That is a hit. Uh, it definitely stum stumbles pretty badly at that shot. <clears throat> and that's 12 damage, just to be clear, and then... And yeah, when I say stumble, I mean it falls on its face dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turn up. All right. Harmony. Okay. Uh, Harmony is, upon hearing uh, she was facing out, kind of planning to also beat a retreat, but upon seeing Ismark rush back past her into the fray and Doctrine getting chewed on a yeah, little bit, was... uh, will kind of spin around and uh, level her gaze at uh, the kid and say, uh, let's see. Uh, well, she's going to cast Dissonant Whispers, so okay. let's do that. See to your father, boy. Uh, that's going to be a DC 15 wisdom save. Okay. Once it pops up in... The, oh, I hang on. I didn't send to the chat. Oh, yeah, it did. Great. Nice. DC 15 wisdom save. And if this would roll, that would be super great. Uh, it fails. Great. Okay, so it needs to use its reaction to move away from me. Okay. Uh, that will provoke attacks of opportunity from Ismark and Dokrin. Sure will. Uh, and then it takes... I kind of don't want to do an opportunity attack because then it would stop moving. Oh, I didn't... Oh, so you have the sentinel I, feet I, now. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to choose not to do my attack of opportunity for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair's fair. Ismark is not so well thought, so... I mean, he's also not going to stop him in his tracks by taking True. that attack, True. so... Uh, Ismark fails to do anything with okay. that, and Doro ends up back here by the altar. Winley, you also get a reaction to attack him because he runs right past you. Sadly, okay. that can't be a spell unless you have the Warcaster feet. I do not. Um, I would highly recommend that feat, though. It's, it's a great cool. feat. And what else is Harmony doing? Uh, Harm well, he takes 14 psychic damage as well from that spell. Does he have to continue running from you, or does he just have to run for this It's just this one turn. Okay, then yeah, I'll take the attack. Is that a spell slot or a cantrip? It's a spell slot. Okay. Uh, Basically, can you keep doing that? No. no. My, it's my last one. Duly noted. 
Uh, and then uh, Harmony will kind of like watch him kind of retreating and be like, uh, we should. Yeah, yeah, That's no it. shit, man. <laughs> uh, and Harmony is going to turn and use her 30 feet of movement to uh, get off the map by okay. 10 feet, but not provoke any attacks of opportunities from zombies. Okay, it's going, going straight south. Yep. I don't know but if a 17 hits or not, but if it does, order. he takes a whole two. A hot uh, two damage. Hot two Naughty. Bludgeoning. 17 does hit. Okay. Right, so then, 10 feet. Uh, if you want to move down yep. next to yonder. Sure. And that'll be Harmony's turn. Okay. And if it's all right, you can go grab some rings. Yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, and then with that, it is Winley's turn. Well, seeing that everyone else is retreating, Winley will do the same. And my speed is 30, so... I can get down here with the rest of the group that's kind of off screen. Yeah, so I'll go yeah. with them. If you just get to the border, so I can track Oh, that. actually, I'll move 30 feet. Okay. So this is where I actually am. Okay. And then if I can get my token to work, I will turn around. Do to do. And let's see. Uh, use a... You can split your move, right? Uh, yes, but if you've already moved 30 feet, you don't have well, any... If I dash, I can split Dashing is the action. Yes, I'm aware. Then yes. Okay, I'll use my bonus action um, to take an archer shot at him. Because I'm still in archer form. So, 8 radiant damage. Okay. Um, yep. And then I will move my additional however far I need to go to catch up with them. It okay. looks like about 25 so you, feet. Uh, let's say, do you want to get try to get out of them or just, just catch up? No, I'll just catch up with whoever is okay. the closest to me. Sure, move to the border, please. I'm on the border. Cool. Okay, Dockrin. Uh, am I the only one still like fully inside the building here? You and his marker right there. In the okay. Door. Um, so I'm not sure how, how we do this in a turn order... Uh, way, but I would want to shut the door on the way out to at least try to f- slow down the vampire on the way out. Uh, I mean, you're at the top of the order. We could theoretically say that um, Ismark is is like getting out with you. Okay. The doors are destroyed. Right. Yeah, the doors are destroyed. Actually. Oh, that is a good point. So no, no door shutting for you. Who squeaks? Um, okay. In that case, I will focus on booking. Okay. Why am I doing it in weird increments? You're probably diagonal. I wasn't, but yeah. yeah. Um, so just booking. Um, so an additional uh, twenty feet that away. Okay, if you just want to stack up behind Ash. Yep. Okay, and then it is Ash's turn. Um, I have the 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 trait that you know I leave no man behind, so I am gonna kind of hold position, uh, waiting for the last person there uh, to get past me. Okay. So I guess I'll just hold me at my action until after uh, 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 crap. What's his name? He just got said. Is Mark's turn? Okay. Um, I'm also gonna, uh, if I can, I, I want to draw my long sword. Okay. Now, if you can, you can draw that as an object interaction, and then are you readying anything in particular? No, I'm just uh, holding. Okay. Uh, Irina continues to assist Mina carrying the body away. Uh, the vampire seems to realize that it didn't need to be running away from you. Um, and kind of charges after and takes a leap here at Ismark. I feel real bad if we end up getting Ismark killed in the last possible second <laughs> here. Uh, well, he doesn't get killed. He just gets uh, kind of scraped as Ismark turns mm-hmm. to join you in the in the flight. Uh, so he'll <coughs> disengage. And he joins you in the running. Okay. Uh, so you are all kind of on your path or uh, you know, heading, heading quickly back into the border of the village here. The church is only maybe 100 feet away from the edge of the rest of the town. Uh, and the zombies and Doru are in hot pursuit. Um, Irina sort of calls out uh, as she's helping Mina carry them. Uh, they can't get inside of, inside of our house. We have to get back to the manor. Um, but is that's on know, the far side of town? Yes, it is on the far side of town. <laughs> um, you, know, you're, you, you can decide as a party what you'd like to do here. Uh, but that said, we we are no longer using the the battle map, uh, at least for this particular moment, uh, and we are also no longer in the initiative order uh, for the, this particular moment. Uh, you guys, just by the nature of, of zombies, are keeping a decent lead, even you, Docran. Right. Um, but that said, they are pretty aggressively following you towards town. Uh, they are not not going to chase. I'd like to. 
now that we're not in a position to be surrounded again, I'd like to try to choke point them before we... I mean, I think heading towards the manor is a great idea, but if we, like, are running down a narrow alley or street and can stop and choke point them, you know, for a minute, you know, take out a few of them, they're not that tough if we can just form a line. The, the issue is that they... Swarmed us. They around us in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm also less hesitant to draw them into town and then get into a place where they can't get it. Because if they decide to lose interest on us, they could go and wreak havoc on the townspeople. To be fair, for the uh, regarding the vampire at least, we I did an Arcana check on vampires a while back, and I seem to remember that the needing to be invited inside is still a vampire thing in this. Or a vampire, sure, but... Zombies have no such uh, like, no such compunction. Fair enough. And I, I'm I'm sorry I didn't get a good look on the way out. How many v zombies are we talking? Uh, about a dozen still are okay. chasing you, as well as the vampire is with them. I'm just worried if we try to lead them all the way through town. Like I don't know if they'll chase us all the way there, or if we'll just have the same problem, Tom, where they'll like, you know, see a family huddling in their doorway and they'll just like rip them to shreds exactly I, well, I, I mean it I'm is nighttime in barovia they know better than to be outside at this hour fair fair I'm all... but clearly like they still have funerals at this hour so maybe other people are similarly foolish possible yeah i'm, I'm all for trying to find a choke point and seeing if we can um hold the line okay uh well i'm gonna go ahead and move you move you over to a potential choke point uh in town Moment. Yeah, as we're running, Windley would definitely be at least bonus actioning to throw some hot shots on the way back. Yeah. Uh, Harmony, you have the initiative. Great. Okay. Um. So, Harmony is going to. And how far behind us are the zombies? Oh, right there. Pretty damn close. I turned around. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, <laughs> Harmony will uh, level her gaze at Doru, who she is getting rather sick of at this point. Respectively. And, uh, uh, say some, uh, and we'll cast Vicious Mockery and say, you know, I think we all went through a teen goth phase, but this is a little ridiculous. Or something. Something out of effect. Yes. Uh, so, DC 15 wisdom saves. Okay. Not that hot three psychic damage. Uh, unfortunately, you don't seem to have any effect. Damn. <laughs> Kids that would today. be the best time for a grenade. No respect for their elders. Okay. Sadly, that was, that was the last campaign. Yeah, <laughs> Harmony is going to beat a hasty retreat uh, 30 feet. So, oh, there. Okay. Uh, I think there's one more. There. Okay. Uh, Mina. Uh, free object interaction and tell Irina, let's just drop him. I'll come back for him later. Uh, referring to Sunny, okay. uh, and then and, and drops the end that I'm, that I'm holding, uh, and then uh, I'm gonna back up just to about it, that looks to me like about thirty feet away from here. I guess I can thirty feet away from Dora. Oh, I can move a little further. Okay, okay I'm gonna go a little further like this way. Uh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action. I still have Hunter's Mark going, so I'm going to uh, pop that on Doru. Okay. Or Fangs. Uh, and then uh, he has not gone yet, so I have advantage against him because uh, I have advantage on people who haven't gone yet in the first round. So here we go. I'm going to shoot a crossbow bolt at him. Uh, and before I do this, I'm going to be a sharp shooter about it. So I'm going to have minus five on this. Okay. I'm not going to do the macros to apply that. I'll just do it, you know, real time. Cool. Uh, okay, so 22. To that is a hit. All right, so that does 20 damage. Yep. Oh, uh, actually, with Hunter's Mark, that does 21 damage. Okay. Uh, you uh, plant a solid shot. <coughs> Thank you, Ash. Yes, I won't. Okay. Uh, everybody make a quick perception check for me. Great. This isn't good enough. What the alchemist fire? But now he's. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I was just joking. Yeah, my, yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. My passive perception is falling. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Uh, Mina and Harmony, you notice that even uh, even though Doru took a, a hell of a long sword to the to the shoulder from Ismark, that wound seems to have vanished. Hmm. 
Uh, and with that, anything else from Mina? No, that's fine. All right, Dockrin. Oh, God, it's a meant-to-lose fight! <laughs> um, these terrify me. Um, uh, man, that is a lot of zombies, and this isn't quite the choke point I was hoping Don't for. Don't tank. <laughs> Don't tank. Were you just describing Dor Doros in Moon Healed? Correct. Not the one that you okay, just gave him, sorry. but the longsword uh, blow that carved into his shoulder is gone. Sorry, okay. Okay, so are we uh, we doing this, or are we going to continue our retreat, guys? With that knowledge, or are we just kind of committed to here? Guys? I mean, um, um, you're called Doc. <laughs> you do what feels right for you. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the plan is move towards the manor and kind of attack as we move. Okay, so we're still wanting to do a fighting retreat then? If we can slaughter a bunch of zombies, that's still yeah, like Like, a... like while we're moving away? Yeah, that's what... Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to... So I have a potion of healing. Let's refresh my memory. How much is that? Uh, potions of healing. It's a great question. Sorry. Excellent question. It's 1d6 plus whatever the cast level is. Uh, or maybe 2d6. No. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Oh, there we go. I'm waiting. Okay. So I'm going to use that because it's a bonus action to pop one of those, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. So my action is going to be uh, cure wounds on myself. For that much. And then that potion you said was 2d4 plus what? Plus 2. Plus 2. Plus Oh, nice. yeah, that's what I like to see. <laughs> All right. Well, if we're doing this, we're doing it right. So uh, that's my action bonus action. Then move slightly forward to form a line here with uh, Ash, if that's how we're doing it. Okay. Uh, the vampire uh, seems somewhat nonplussed as he leaps over at uh, Doru here. At Doru. Right, Dor no, at uh, yeah, Ash. Excuse me. Doru the vampire is leaping. Yeah. He leaps at himself. <laughs> um, ouch. Uh, super ouch. Who is the ouch? Ash. We well, can't see those rolls. Die. Ash, you take 36. Oh, as fuck! He leaps on you and just buries his fangs in your neck as he claws at you. Yeah, I'm at zero. Yeah, that's not the But you're not at. Oh, no, no, never mind. We're good. I mean, didn't excessively go the other direction. On the bright side, that does mean I get a nice free attack with, uh... Yay! Hooray! <laughs> 18 hit? Uh, that does hit. Excellent. Taunt coming in slightly late. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> I was just about to do Prayer of Healing on everyone, too. What prayer, do? prayer of Healing is a 10-minute cast time, to, dude. Oh, never mind then. I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> that would have been a very bad time to do a prayer of healing. <laughs> Hold on. Don't kill anyone for ten more minutes. Time out. Oh. me for ten minutes and I'll give everyone... Well, I just popped my last two healings. Quinley, so turn. someone else is going to need to handle that. Um, So are we just saying that like between the church and here, like nothing happened? I mean, you... We yeah, ran. Pretty, pretty much running and trying to find the first place. They can't okay. flank you easily. Right. I mean, okay, fine. Um... Let's see. Mm, an ominous D20 from the DM. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have one Cure Wounds left. Um, and I, I, th I feel like we're in smoke em if you got him territory here. <laughs> well, the question is, if I bring Ash back, is Ash then immediately going to be unconscious yeah, again because again. of zombies? Ash's turn is right after yours. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fair. All right. Winley will step here sorry let me get myself on diagonal so i'm on a space i don't know my diagonal like is weird okay there um, alternatively you could just grab ash sling him over your shoulder and book I mean, dealer's choice i guess no i'll cast cure wounds takes it down to half movement so oh yeah that's true huzzah you get 11 healing back ash ash lives Yay. then as a bonus action i wow. will <gasps> Shoot, shoot Doru with an I archer attack. Huzzah. To shoot the vampire. Oh, uh, that's a miss. <laughs> yep, that tracks. And then, because Winley does not want to fucking die, uh, she's going to move back. Okay. Five, ten, Ash, ten, ten, you ten. find yourself laying on the ground after having felt agonizing pain in your neck. Yeah. 
Um, is that a crit? My little attack of opportunity <laughs> if I if I stand up. Okay, I will stand up and then disengage. That's, no, because I can't disengage if I stand up because that's half my movement, right? Uh, it would be half your movement, but disengage is your action, not your move. Oh, okay. So then you well, can move half your movement away. Yeah. Um, I'll just, I guess, get here. And that, that's just me. That's all I got this turn. Since okay. I used uh, pretty much all my actions there. Okay. Uh, Ismark seems somewhat confused about the, the strategy a little bit as far as Docker and kind of pushing up, but other people are falling back. Uh, and so he just sort of inter- interposes himself there and, and seems to ready a sword for whatever comes near him. Uh, Irina is not, does not seem confused uh, and is going to fall back over here by uh, Winling. And with that, uh, El Zombies uh, are coming our way. Yeah. Is this door still open here? We could retreat into this house and choke point him at the door. Uh, Garrett's house, the door is closed, uh, but that's that's all you can see from this particular spot. Uh, Dockerin, we're going to have uh, have some fun here. Oh, I'm sure we are. <laughs> Sorry, Doc. <laughs> You were my brother, Ash. <laughs> Trusted you. Okay. Sorry, got a, got a lot of moving here. No, no, just watching. Uh, Doc get yeah. dog piled here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's fine, guys. All right. Uh, Everyone's talking about choke points and s- s- got to save the townsfolk, <laughs> yeah, and then runs and abandons me. So that's that's pretty awesome. Thanks, guys. I have seventeen hit points and that just used my last spell point. slot, so I'm not trying to die. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a good choke point, and I have eleven hit points. Uh, Doc, you take fifteen yeah. uh, from several different sources. Uh, three separate three separate strikes, and then. What about right here? Also, basically everything I do is ranged, so. I mean, fair. <laughs> Don't lose much except my unconscious body by me moving away. Tom, check your whispers. Okay. And uh, with that, it, we are back at the top of the order with Harmony. Uh, she winces <clears throat> in sympathy to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure she fucking does. Uh, okay. <laughs> Harmony is going to, upon seeing the rest of the group more make a southerly retreat, will move in that direction for as far as she can get, 30 feet. And uh, will, since her the audience seems unappreciative, will, uh, is there, are there any of the zombies that look like they've taken any damage that she can tell? I mean, so several of them were, were injured previously um, in kind of the middle of the mob, but it's pretty hard to discern which one is deeply wounded okay. in the middle of a horde of flailing bodies. Yeah, that's true. Uh, she is going to take a shot with her crossbow at this one right here. Okay. And... Does 12 hit? Uh, it does. Great. It takes 9 damage. Okay. It uh, it shot shot lands in his shoulder, but it's still still clawing and biting over at uh, Ismark. All right, I think. Oh, never mind. Uh, who did I give? I gave inspiration. Did any, to of, them, and did any of them attack? Uh, I have Ismark by the way. For, uh, four oh. of them did. Did the, any of them adjacent oh, yeah, to me? To you. Uh, yeah, me. The one directly to your left when that harmony is shot. Then that'll be a cool attack of opportunity. Very cool. But wouldn't so cool. I mean you only get one. Yeah, and that's had my I've had my turn. Also, since. top of oh. the order. Right. Okay. Definitely a, a hit there. God, I hope twenty two hits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it lo- this one looks pretty pretty beat up between the crossbow bolt and you're striking it, uh, yeah. but it's still still on its feet. Anything else from Harmony? Uh, nope. Okay. Nina. Um. Okay. What do we think about trying to hold and kill some more of them down here? Because I agree, Ash, we didn't really get... And it's okay, because I think realist, it was realistic. It was a hectic 
situation, but we didn't really get to choose a good choke point. What about down here? This is the direction towards the manor. Could try to, like, funnel him in here. I think Ash was uh, just suggesting Garrett's house. In the corner there. Garrett's house. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I missed that. Yeah, that's that sounds great. Love it. Uh, okay, well, Mina... Uh... Right there, okay. Which one of these snarling tokens am I going for? So, uh... Um... Okay, only other question that I, I know what I'm doing here, but... So, Doru seems to be, like, healing. Uh, are... Is he... Does it look like he's still sustaining enough damage that, like, with, you know, enough... If I pummel him with crossbow bolts, uh, like it looks like he might die, or is are things just kind of like healing, popping out of him at kind of a regular, or is he like, is there some kind of damage that's being sustained as we're laying into him? He seems to have, have sustained some damage. It, it, some of his wounds are also definitely closing, but he's not okay. not just like well, you know gonna, invulnerable. Sure, um, I'm gonna keep going for him uh, because. That's, he's got my hunter's, hunter's mark right now. So I'm going to move this way, see if I can draw, and I'll maybe even like shout that because they're dumb zombies. I'll try to draw a few of them over here, and then I can run back over there and, and still get in. Um, so I'm going to go, that, that was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, and shooting Doru twice. All right. Um, sure, we'll do one, I'll do a sharpshooter, see how this goes. So this is only at plus three. Okay. Not worth it. Okay, so that was, I got an eight total. Uh, so then my bonus action shot, because I'm sure that misses. Yeah, that definitely misses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bonus action is just going to be normal, no sharpshooter. Okay. 22. Okay. That does it. All right, so it's that, uh, seven plus two for favorite enemy, so nine plus three, uh, so 12 damage. Okay. Uh, shot yeah, shot kind of lands in his chest. He doesn't seem t particularly bothered by it, but to, to your observations, it doesn't just immediately pop out of him. Okay, well, for now, keep it going. Uh, that's turn. All right, Dockern. All right, so are, have we, are we doing Gary's house since apparently we need to be very explicit about tactical decisions here? Uh, I think that's the plan. Okay. If the door is open, then it's, yes. It's not. Is. I, I meant, like, unlock, like, we can get in and hold the, the door. Okay. Um. Let's lure them all inside Scooby-Doo style and then light the house on fire. All right. Uh, while we go out the back. Because I don't know if I'm going to make it if I just try to book it out of here without taking a disengage action. But if I don't take a disengage action, I'm just going to find myself right back here next turn. So... Uh, you still got that cure wounds at the ready in case. I gave it to Ash. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> I, have, I have. I have a. I have a say, spell I can do on you. I say, but I think Ash has one left. I have one spell left, and I will use it to heal you. All right. Cool. So, before I do this, I'll say to Ismark, just grab me if I go down here, <laughs> and yeah. So I'm not even going to bother moving until you take those attacks of opportunity here. Okay. Yeah. Can I shout the thing that you're whispering me? Uh, no. Okay. You can on your turn. Okay. Fair. Uh, it could have gone worse. You take 10 damage pulling away from them. I'm alive! <laughs> Alright. One more turn. That's 25, and... Taking the dash out, can I? Yeah. Makes sense. Makes Back sense. to the... Is this about where the door is? Uh, right right I, where the... Right the, here. Right where the peak of the, uh, the roof is. Okay, in that case, I go here, object interaction to open the door, and... It does open. Good! <laughs> then we locked it while we were out. All right. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh, the vampire, uh, seeing his prey sort of, uh, dash away, uh, pivots and comes yeah, around. Yeah, sorry, his mark. His mark. Sucks to suck, his mark. Uh, 
uh, and slashes Ismark across the face, and he falls to the to the uh, stone. We God damn it. Okay. Uh, and Wendy, your turn. Um, ugh. fucking unconscious people. <laughs> All right. Um, I will cast frostbite on ye oldie vampire. Uh, unfortunately, he succeeds. Okay, that's Whoops. fine. Then I will bonus action to archer attack. Um, any of the zombies look like they might die if they take a little damage? Uh, several of them are pretty haggard, but it's hard to tell in the middle of a mob of them. All right, I'll just shoot at the vampire. Okay. That's a hit. Six radiant damage. Okay. For some reason, I'm like rolling double dice every time I roll something uh, on screen. It's very strange. Um, and then if we're retreating into the house, I will move 30 anyone feet. Ha- Does anyone have the move to retrieve him, or are we just kind of screwed here? Oh, um, I can try. If Ash can get him up, uh, he I- turns right after hers. Yeah, I, I was going to try and uh, uh, heal him. All right. Yeah, if I get up to him, I can pull him back five feet, so then we're both just fucked. <laughs> so not super helpful. Um, so if we have decided to move into the house, I will move into the house 30 feet. Okay. Uh, you can put your token like on the house as far as um, putting yourself inside if you want. This house, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, well, everybody but Winley uh, is going to see this or be aware of this because Winley went just ran into the house and is not going to get the site. Uh, but a couple a couple of things happen here. First and foremost, uh, a enormous uh, wall of flame appears uh, across the group of uh, <laughs> across the group of zombies and uh, Doru. Uh, although some are on this side and some are on the far side. Uh, secondarily, uh, those of you who are still out in the courtyard see kind of see or catch the sight of a glow uh, coming from the corner past Garrett's house, uh, and a figure who looks like this, uh, riding a nightmare, uh, steps uh, kind of ride, rides out from the uh, corner, um, and is kind of looking down on you from uh, yonder large horse. He is a uh, pale-skinned man with dark hair, wearing uh, the attire of nobility. Uh, and I've got to roll some uh, some saves and some damage here real quick. Well, we've heard that Strahd likes to uh, uh, go around on a flying flaming horse, so I think it's not hard to draw the conclusion here. Perhaps. All right. This zombie falls apart, this zombie falls apart, and this zombie falls apart. Um, and then with that, it is Ash's turn. Okay. Um, I am going to use a healing word uh, at second. Oh. So let's get that in chat here. Spells. Where are you, healing word? There you are, healing word. Oh, good. It's broken again. So I'll go and roll the dice. Yep. Uh, let's see. It's uh, going to be die four, two die four. Plus. Um, uh, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Two die four plus six plus three. And roll. He, um, uh, Ismark gets 13 back. All right. Ismark, uh, is, is full of renewed vigor and life. And then I will also run into the house. Okay. But I will take up station right on the other side of the door. Okay. Uh, the door is down by the yep, center. Yep, I realize that. Yep. And uh, now I'm out of a square. There we go. Ismark comes to, uh, and much like Ash did, uh, is going to spend most of his action just trying to get away, so we'll take the disengage, and then moves back. And 
Arena seems sort of uh, paralyzed for a moment and seeing everybody's running into the house follows them in. And uh, zombies have... Uh, do, do as zombies do. Yeah. All right, so let's see how that goes first. Not terrible. Uh, his mark take kind of gets scratched up as he's pulling away, but does not come down again. Uh, and then... Uh, the zombie dies in the flames, and then these, uh, the remainder are trying to run through them, because intelligence is not the purview of zombies. It's a bold strategy, God. Let's see how it works out for them. <sighs> not well. <laughs> not well at all is what that's going to come down to. <clears throat> all right, so... Very, very, very burnt as they just, run just through. Just keep on deleting figures. It's some, okay. Some, uh, some of them die as they run into the fire somewhat mindlessly, as one might expect zombies to do. Um, and I'd like to give the DM inspiration. <laughs> Please don't give him any more advantages than he already has. <laughs> He'll use that against us. That's fair. It's true. I would. Um, uh, as Mark is barely standing as one trying to charge us through, it's practically on fire as it kind of claws at him. Um, and then it is Harmony's turn. Great. Well, <clears throat> Harmony, never one to look a flaming gift horse in the mouth, uh, will uh, continue... Ooh, I uh, will kind of move toward the house. Uh, well, okay, she's going to take a shot at... Let's see. I know it's probably hard to tell which of these zombies is most... Um, they are all very fucked up. Great. Okay, then she will take a shot at this one right here with her crossbow. Okay. Uh, hold on just a second. Oh, there it is. Big money. No whammy. All right, that is a hit. Takes six piercing damage. You dump shot it. Great. You feel just like Mina. Wow. All the training's paying off, Mina. Yep. And yep. Uh, Harmony will uh, kind of meekly glance at the very imposing figure as she runs toward the house by 30 feet, so she gets to hear. Hi, Doc. So, uh, shit's I mean, fucked. Right. I mean, yeah. Mina. All right. Uh, I'm going to go five. Oh, sorry. Ten. Really, that direction. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> 25. Uh, and which side of the firewall is exuding damage? The north side. Okay, that's what I suspected. Well, then I will stand right there, uh, and I'm going to shoot at Dorit. Okay. Um, first shot. Uh, not... You know what? Sure, I'll throw a sharpshooter out there. I'm still enjoying it, so I'm sure it'll <laughs> bite me in the ass. But here's a minus five. Oh, okay. Nine, uh, sorry, 21. Bad at that. Nice. Yep, that's uh, it. Okay, so 21 uh, does 9. Uh, 19 plus here is Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Hunter's Mark. 20 damage. Uh, and then that gives me confidence, so I'll do another sharpshooter. So this is also only plus 3. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, there we go. It does not pay off. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, so she's kind of, uh, she, she dodges back there, you know, trying to kind of get behind the firewall, even though it's obvious that this horse guy created it, uh, and then, you know, manages to put this guy with one shot, but not so lucky with the next one, and that's turn. Okay, Doctor. Okay, um, <coughs> shit. <laughs> um... So I'm, am I sharing a spot with you, Harmony, here? Oh, I, you shouldn't be. Uh, if I did... On my screen I... we are, I think. Oh, yep. yep. I yep. should be here, then. Sorry. Okay. 
The problem is basically any of the, uh, the only ranged option I have right now is Thorn Whip, which would pull them into the path of Ismark on his retreat and probably down him. Um, if I were to try to grab him and pull him back, he's not being moved of his own accord, so that wouldn't prompt an attack of opportunity, yes? Uh, leaving a space... Mm, that's an interesting one. Let me check. Let me look for a moment. From my recollection, the language of the rules is that you have to, like, voluntarily... Like, it has to be your decision. Yeah, so, I don't know. Yeah, it's a gray area. Then again, I also think he has the move to just take the disengage action and uh, do that. So, I'll, uh... So, if Mina's doing her ranged thing all the way over there, I will... I guess I'll take the door here. Um, so I'll be ducking inside and just at the doorway. I don't know how you want me to do that. It would uh, just provoke an attack of opportunity just as an FYI. Oh, from just the trigger has moved out of your reach. Interesting. Hey. Um, okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll duck inside there. Okay. Which is, oh, oops, someone's here. Shh. You motherfucker. Alright, and, and uh, the vampire seems displeased that Mina has been uh, shooting him quite a bit. Uh, and so Doro is going to come your way. For a second, I thought you meant Strahd. I was like, oh my god, you shot at Strahd? You crazy bastard. <laughs> no. Uh, and then also, he what does me. care about the bolts. He does care about the bolts. Uh, I also need to roll for him real quick. And he's standing in the firewall damage. Good job, Jake. Yeah. He also started. He already also started in it, so... Okay, uh, but that said, he charges over to you, uh, Mina, and uh, bites and claws at you quite viciously. Oh, so it, yeah, as I was gonna say, it's worth noting you were basically completely yeah. alone over there. Uh, you take seven damage as he uh, kind of bites bites at you. Wow, okay. Uh, very lucky. Okay. And uh, Winley, it is your turn. Is there a window on this side of the house anywhere? Uh, there's a window facing the square, but not on the north or south side. All right. Um, Winley will kind of push par past her friends to get to the door here so she can actually do something. Um, seeing that Mina's maybe not in the best place, she will throw a frostbite over there at Doru. Okay. Man, I, I can't roll anything can better than a one. Uh, it, does it does have an effect, though. Okay, so he has disadvantage on his next attack. Okay. Um... And then I will take a bonus action to take an archer shot um, at him as well. Okay. That is a great hit. Nice. So that's going to be 15 radiant damage. Uh, he does not seem to like that at all. Uh, and Mina, up close, you can see that some of his wounds from the fire are already trying to heal somewhat. Uh, but he's definitely looking pretty ripped. Uh, you know, if he was if he was a normal human, you would expect him to be dead. And then Winley yeah. will move back inside the house. Okay. Uh, the man on the horse does uh, seems to be watching uh, passively uh, at everybody as everybody's kind of running into the house. And Ash, it is your turn. Okay. Is the horse flying? Just curious. Nope. It just kind of walk, you know, clip clopped its way around the corner here. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much useless here uh, at the moment, so I'm just going to set myself defensively for anything coming through the door. Okay. Not even a sacred flame? Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's a cantrip. I can do that. Sure. Why not? So I'll stick like flame it. Shit out of the vampire. For like two years. Okay. Uh, the vamp it does not not seem to strike the vampire appropriately as the flame just sort of casts off the cobblestones. Let's see. Anything else, Mash? No, it's me. All right, is Mark uh, is kind of stumbling away from the clawing zombies and pushes his uh, his way into the house. And welcome to the party. Uh, Irina kind of comes over and and seems to be making an attempt at helping him, although she doesn't seem to have any magic or, or the likes. Uh, seems to be just more concerned from anything else. And uh, the zombies move in around Harmony here. Ah! Oh no! Don't worry, Harmony. We'll save your corpse. Oh Harmony. god, I'm gonna take damage? 
Uh, I mean, maybe. They, some, some of them are taking a dash action we'll to get all you. the way there. So. Pain. Save your pain. This is what pain feels like. On the bright side, since I'm in the doorway here and like, I'll be able to take an attack of opportunity on one of the zombies. Yep. Yay. Okay. So I'm just going to roll that now. If it's uh, you take nine harmony uh, as you were bitten and clawed at. If I haven't taken any damage yet, would uh, Granny's temporary hit points still be... Yep. Do I still have those? Great. Um, and then also, I know the eight hits there. Um, it, does that resolve before or after he takes damage from the... I'm, let's say the zombie on the north... That's attacking. It would resolve after. Okay. Um, that oh, also is a hit, though. Neat. And you, you, you falcon punch that one into oblivion. Yay, falcon punch. All right. Falcon punch. <laughs> and with that, Harmony, it's your turn. Well, Harmony doesn't care for this one bit. I mean, <laughs> fair. Uh, but get uh, part of just, just engage into the house. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Harmony will, uh, discretion's a better part of Valor. She will, uh, bid the zombies adieu, disengage, and duck back into the house. Valor's the better part of Valor. Okay. <laughs> <Agreed>. <laughs> Anything else from Harmony? Uh, nope. Got no bonus actions, so. Mina, you have a hungry vampire clawing at you violently. Yeah, and my allies are slowly <laughs> slipping out of sight. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we will, uh, we'll just start by... I feel like it was a good idea, and what you were doing is a good idea in theory. I mean, it's all... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it all happened organically, if that makes it any better. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Mina is going to shoot him, and I mean, I guess I want to try to fucking obliterate this guy, so yeah, I'm going to try another sharpshooter shot. Uh, so, minus five to this. Uh, 14? Uh, unfortunately, no. Okay. Uh, well, then we'll take another, uh, not a sharpshooter uh, for the bonus action. Okay. <sighs> wow. Also, what a fuck. Know. <laughs> cruel, cruel irony. Uh, okay, well, that pretty much seals the deal for Mina, then. Uh, she's going to provoke an att uh, opportunity attack because she's going to move away from him. So I'll see how that plays out before I go any further. Okay. At disadvantage. Uh, he misses. He misses. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that was five, ten, uh, fifteen. Uh, 15. Move, move somewhere over here so he has to go through the wall again. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, or he doesn't have to. I mean, assumedly he's, he's not stupid enough to run through the well, wall of fire. We, he can take one step to his left and get around I, it. <laughs> I think he's gonna take the damage next turn either way because he's starting into like damage. Yeah, area, yeah, so yeah. It, it's a win-win, but yeah, yeah. Same, same uh, end result. Yeah. I also don't think he's smart enough to kind of go around. Something, something, blood crazed, something, something. Yeah. Okay, and Dockrin. Um, gonna mix things up and punch a zombie. All right. We love that. Actually, no, I can do Booming Blade now, because I'm not trying to do it in the midst of other crap. That's a hit? God, I hope so. Nine thunder damage on. I guess the south one is the only one in range of the doorway there. So. It is blasted to pieces by your strike. Huzzah! Okay. Bless you. Bless you again. Don't make, make me do it a third time. Go <laughs> away <laughs> before I bless you a third time. Okay, uh, the vampire's looking pretty messed up, but it, as, as predicted, it charges through the wall of flame yeah, after balls. man. Let's go! Uh, and you take 20 damage as he both bites and claws you. Now that's it, folks. It was a good show while it lasted. I'm at zero. All right. Uh, and with that, it is Winley's turn. Um, if I look out the window, can I see Doro? Yes. Okay, cool. We're going to throw some more shit at him. That's Play a rousing game of like. Dome That Vampire. <laughs> if I hadn't missed with those two fucking shots on that last turn, I don't... Uh, Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. And Say, was one of those, was one of those attacks a disadvantage fails. from last time? So, four ice damage and yeah. disadvantage. Already, he already burned the disadvantage. Yep. Well, now he has it again. Uh, yeah, he has it again. <clears throat> um, and then bonus action to... Archer attack him, and I'm feeling 
rather inspired, so I'm going to add a d6 to that yeah. because I have that lovely bardic inspiration. Okay. So how about a 19 to hit? It does hit. He takes yeah. 13 radiant damage. Okay. One right. moment. Help. Okay. It, uh, he, he does uh, let out a shriek uh, as he bursts into immolated light and turns to vapor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Now we just need to get to the ranger before she fails three death saves. Okay. Who has spell slots left? <laughs> Nobody, but we have good berries. Oh, okay. Berries in my pouch. Fair, okay. Was that Fair. from Wayne Lean's attack? Uh, yes, that was from Wayne Lee. Uh, the okay. man on the horse uh, kind of rides around the horde of zombies, seeming like quite disinterested in them, and kind of brings his horse to uh, kind of stand, canters it over to stand kind of over next to Mina's body. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mina's about to become Ash, the next Doru. I guess I will do a sacred flame on. Uh, uh, I'm assuming a window's right here, so I can kind of see out. Yep. You, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just look out that window and sacred flame. Maybe this zombie here. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where is my sacred flame? All right. And that. wow, I failed that as poorly as it possibly <laughs> could have. I'm sorry. Which one were you targeting? The one closest to the wall there. Uh, the it, col- it collapses under a burst of holy fire. Uh, Ismark is attempting to tend to his own wounds for the moment. Uh, and Arena is attempting to help him. And the last three zombies push in on the door. Uh, Dokren, you are having none of it for the most part, uh, okay. although you do take five damage. Okay, I can't take another one, another hit like that, guys. And Harmony, your turn. Great. Uh, well, Harmony is just going to take a shot past Doc at the this zombie right here. Okay. Uh, oh, where the frick did my character sheet go? Uh, okay, sorry about that. My crossbow. Okay. Does that does a seven hit? Uh, a seven does not hit. I'm okay. Saying. I know oh. an eight. it's an eight. We've we've already uh, yes. triangulated it down to an eight. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then uh, that's it for me. Okay. Mina, you are unconscious, but if you'd kindly make a save. Yes. Uh, first mm. save. Not great. No good. All right, and Dockrin. In a two. Oh shit! No, I didn't. Fuck. What? Sorry, I didn't use Bardic Inspiration. Was the question in the in the whisper? Yeah. Um, um, gonna mix things up and punch a zombie. All right, we love that. Mm, me too. Keep at it. Uh, yeah. Does it matter which one I say I targeted? Mm, maybe uh, the south one. The south one, it it uh, absolutely explodes. As Sweet. You punch into it. <laughs> Having some really strong effects of just <laughs> yep, and just breaking their bodies. Anything else from Doctor? Uh, nope. Okay. Winley, it's your turn. Object interactions are free, right? So shoving a good berry in Mina's mouth would count as, like, part of your action or whatever? I would say that's actually a, a full action to do. It, it is. In the good berry spell, it says you have to spend an action. Oh, okay. Oh, the zombie they're didn't like, die. They're, they're kind of I mean, one of them did. There's still two, though. Oh, I thought you were targeting one in front of the door. All right. Um, I mean, you can still cut out the south, but, you yeah. know. Mm, she'd have to move through its space. You can't diagonal through a doorway. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, if I'd known that, I would have done the middle one, but... No. Oh. That's okay. Um, I will use a bonus action to archer attack the one in front of the door. Okay. Sorry. That is Which a hit. Take and 13 it, radiant damage. You just put a giant starlight Great. hole in its we chest and love it falls it. to the ground. Um, and then... Let's see how far away is Mina. Too far. <laughs> Let me. Too far is correct by five feet. Ooh. Yeah, we love it. Still, I'd be close enough to do it on your next turn. Yeah. Um. Or I could try to take out this zombie. And clear the way for someone else to make a run for it. Yeah. Doc did say he couldn't take another hit like that. Yeah. That yeah. Okay. Um, I will then 
frostbite this zombie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it succeeds. Well, fuck that zombie. All right. Um, bummer. I guess that's it for Winley. Okay. Uh, the man on the horse uh, hops off uh, and kind of com- comes down, and it's hard. you can't really see what he's doing behind the horse. Uh, but he seems to be, seems to be uh, kneeling down to Mina. Ash, your turn. I'm going to uh, uh, yell in frustration because I see my friend out there, and I have left a friend to die again. Hey. So I'm going to try and stab this guy in the face through the window. <clears throat> That is a hit, and that is a stab. Anything else from Ash? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, is Mark and Arena are still trying to, to tend to themselves? Uh, the last zombie here seems to ignore the re- the stab at the window and comes over here towards uh, yeah. Dockran. Uh, uh, Dockran, you take... 12 I'm down. as it uh, pretty aggressively lunges at you through the doorway. I have a couple of good berries in my pocket. If someone can shove one in my mouth, that would be pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> Harmony. Uh, Harmony finding herself, uh, sadly now, the new frontliner in the party, <laughs> uh, will uh, kind of step protectively over Doc's body. Uh, well, he's a, first he's an object interaction to pull out a rapier since the crossbow failed her so badly it probably jammed last time. <laughs> uh, and will uh, heroically lunge. Stab at the, it in the face. Yes. <laughs> will heroically lunge at the zombie. Just need to not roll one. Famous last words. Yeah. Love and hit. That does it. Stab it through the skull. Uh, and will... So you said it's a full action to administer a good berry? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, it just is the standard action. Right. Okay. So then she will kind of move out. She'll like be preparing. Or uh, she will actually um, call back to Ismark and Arena and just say, uh, like indicate Doc's body and say, there should be berries in his pouch. Can one of you feed one to him? And it's going to kind of rush out uh, the remainder, remaining 20 feet of her movement just to like see what's going on with me and his body. Okay. Uh, we can, uh, at this point, leave the initiative order. Mm-hmm. Um, as Harmony is kind of rushing out, the man uh, the man appears to be dragging, uh, or not, not dragging, rather, but uh, pulling Mina uh, kind of around the horse and, and towards the house. Uh, with very little ceremony, uh, takes Mina over to the bench that's outside the house and uh, just kind of lays, lays her on it. Uh, and then kind of lo- looks at Harmony, having just you know, run, run out somewhat close. Uh, okay, how is he looking at Harmony? Is it, like, hostile at all, or...? It doesn't seem hostile. It seems almost, like, imperiously curious. Um, Harmony's not sure what to make of this guy, but, uh, I mean, could she put two and two together and figure that this is Strahd, given the descriptions we've got of him so far, or is that too much of a... He does have a striking resemblance to the statue in the basement. Uh, Harmony is going to, uh... Take a stab at it, uh, not literally, obviously. Please we'll, don't. We'll, we'll, um, <laughs> we'll, um, Fuck you, Strahd! We'll sheath her sword, and as part of that motion, kind of go into a uh, courteous bow, or like kind of curtsy-ish motion that she probably picked up from uh, some training course or another. And uh, we'll say, as try to try to keep any sort of panic or edge out of her voice, uh, say, uh, "My Lord Strahd, thank you very much for your assistance. Um, if." You wouldn't mind. I would, may I tend to my friend? I believe she has some uh, items on her person that I could use to revive her. He, he, he kind of kind of turns his head slightly a little bit and, and then nods, okay. uh, and then kind of looks looks at the house where everybody else, I'm guessing, is looking out the door, peering out the window. Uh, still suffering from an acute would, case like of being unconscious out. over here, but uh, Irina will give me okay, a cool. okay. Um Sorry, what was that, Ash? If we're out of combat, I'd like to move out towards Harmony and Mina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, Winley will move out as and well. And if, uh, upon his nod, uh, Harmony will rush over to the bench with Mina's corpse on it and it'd feel her, you know, kind of pat around, find where she keeps her good berries and kind of inelegantly cram one down her throat. Mina, uh, you, you feel fresh life returning to you. Uh, 
And she'll, uh, and Harmony will kind of like grin down at her and be like, uh, foolish, but brave. Uh, and she, and kind of pat her and then kind of look where, like kind of steal a glance warily back at Strahd as she kind of like helps Mina to her, uh, sit up. Um, finally the, the man kind of breaks the silence. What a mess you have all made in this village. And he, he kind of seems to be looking at the piles of a pile of zombie corpses strewn across the uh, the square on the in the path towards the house. The wall of flame kind of flickers out and, and disappears. Um, but that said, uh, his horse, his uh, his nightmare, is casting light that fills most of the courtyard for for all of you. Uh, and unable to help herself, sort of um, Harmony's wit gets the better of her, or attempted wit gets the better of her at the most, most inopportune times. Harmony will kind of like follow his gaze around the uh, square and say, "To be fair, my lord Strahd, um, the mess was here when we arrived. We are simply the cleanup crew." Hmm. It would seem this is the case. Cowards hiding in the house come out. And uh, he, he kind of does a beckoning gesture uh, towards the house. Uh, Docker, you are, you are up. Yeah, I'd be staggering into the square already. But... Yeah. Um, and then he, he kind of looks at uh, Mina on the, uh, on the bench uh, and, and kind of gives a bit of a wry smile. It seems one of you is possessed of courage that the others of you lack. I'm sorry, what courage do you think we lacked? We all took part in that combat. It was a maneuver to it's get It's because we were house. hiding in the house. Winley's like pretty offended by that. We were making a tactical decision to hold the house. He, he doesn't... We all fought in that battle. We've all killed many of those creatures. Let's say Doc's been around long enough to recognize that sa- back-sassing this person is a very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Winley's like, hmm... Not happy about that. Also, not trying to die. Strahd seems to kind of give a, a basic, a bare shrug at uh, Ash's uh, defiance, uh, and then kind of watches as Dockrin is kind of stumbling out the door, uh, followed by Arena and Ismark. Well, it seems that I have not left this village in perhaps the most capable hands. Your father did such an excellent job, boy, but here you are truly the lesser of the Kalyanoviks. And we remember, this, uh, from the way Ismark's spoken about Strahd, he does not seem particularly fond of him. Indeed, although Ismark is quite quite worse for wear and kind right. of it, yeah, he's not speaking at this particular moment. Uh, although he's definitely <laughs> watching with kind of a wariness. And despite his torn up uh, kind of appearance uh, and literal state, uh, he seems to be somewhat weakly trying to interpose himself between Strahd and Irina. Um... Okay, wait, no, yes. And Harmony wasn't awake to hear the voice. Um, Harmony will, uh, uh, upon, like, Ash's sort of, you know, justified offendiveness, will attempt to, like, speak in a placating voice and uh, say, um, uh, irregardless of the uh, valor, the relative valor of uh, our group, uh, it appears... We are in your debt, my lord. Um, I We are certainly grateful that you showed up when you did, because things were looking rather dire, I would say. That they were, and such humility is becoming of you. He uh, kind of points at, uh, at his mark and, and just does a, a slow curl of the finger to indicate, come, come here. Uh, and his mark kind of stumb- stumbles towards him a little bit. My dear boy, it seems that you must commit your attention to the task. I do not wish to see my people slaughtered and butchered in the streets. I think it is important that you stay here and take care of things for me in my absence. Uh, And you can all tell that uh, he seems to be casting a spell as he speaks. Uh, Can I do Arcana to try to identify the spell? Yes. I don't know if it'll make any difference, probably not, but I'll try and move myself in between Strahd and uh, uh, Ismark. Uh, Ismark is standing right right next to him, so unless you're going to like force yourself oh, between okay. them. I can immediately tell what it is. Uh, yes, you can. It <laughs> seems to be a form of command or geas. Okay. As for the rest of you, yeah, he, he kind of takes his hand away from Ismark. Ismark seems to have gone quite, quite pale and, and seems a little bit trembly. What are you doing in my lands? We were invited here by the zombies. 
Sorry, Tom. Yeah, um, Har- Ash will kind of, or sorry, Harmony will kind of shoot Ash kind of a, a uh, glance a little bit as she, you know, goes to speak. Well, uh, just in terms of, like, she's not quite sure how much Ash is going to divulge. Um, m- well, my thinking here is that we were told that the borders are closed. Right. But I specifically asked the Vistani, and they said that they had permission to bring people in. So... If, if he's concerned, like, why are these people intruding or trespassing, my my only point here is that we were invited in by the Vistani, so hopefully that will make it so we're not trespassing. Okay, yeah, that's all you're going to say. That's fine. Harmony won't, like, jump in. There seems to be a bit, a bit of a, a pregnant pause, and, and you're given the incl- to, to the perception that perhaps if uh, vampires breathe, he might be taking a deep breath at that statement. Uh, and he, he kind of places his attention on Ash. Who is it that invited you into my lands? We were in, invited by an older gentleman. His name, peasant. Um, scrolling up to try and find his name. <laughs> uh, Hold on. Ash is Harmony's probably <laughs> shooting daggers from behind Strahd's back at Ash at this point. Yeah, we're definitely throwing someone under the bus here if you give a name, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the son's name? <laughs> uh, the the son's name was Ratka. That's right, Ratka. I'll give Ratka's name You're out. Throwing Ratka under the bus. <laughs> yeah. well, of the two. I mean, we, I'll, I'll, I'll say I won't lie because I don't want to make a deception check, but I'll say we rode in Ratka's wagon here. Uh, it's technically not a lie, so you don't have to roll anything for that. Um, he, he seems to consider for a, for a moment, well, it is the law of my land that none may enter and none shall leave. So I'm afraid you shall be indisposed as my guests. But perhaps the lesser here could use your help in policing. No, no. This is a task he should take upon himself. I would not see him relieved of his duties or his burdens. But for the rest of you, it would seem unsafe to live here, to stay here. I should suggest you find a home elsewhere. Um, with that, he uh, start, begins to walk back towards the nightmare and seems intent upon uh, uh, mounting it. Hmm. So he can't leave, but he wants us to leave? Well, he wants us to leave the village. No, he doesn't want us to... He, 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 the, he's no, saying, he specifically wants us to leave this village. Yeah, he's saying that the law of the land says no one can leave his, his land, so we're stuck here, but he wants us to leave this village. Uh, Harmony okay. will call out after him and say, uh, My Lord Strahd, we were unfortunately separated from the our traveling, our guides, uh, shortly after we arrived in Barovia, um, an accident with the road and a wagon um so we are sadly i mean this village is the first thing we found that seemed habitable and we have very little we have no knowledge of this land we found ourselves in where would you suggest we go he he kind of smirks as he climbs up onto the nightmare perhaps you could find shelter with those fools in falaki but regardless of the case, I do not think it is safe for you to remain here. You should take her, and he gestures at uh, Irina, who's kind of still back by the house. She's not safe here either, it would seem, and her brother will be quite occupied, I think, for the time to come. And with that, uh, the nightmare kind of, he, he kicks the, the nightmare and the, the haunches, and it begins to kind of canter and then gallops up into the night sky. Uh, and the light of Strahd steadily, steadily disappears and shrinks into the darkness. Uh, Harmony. Great, we love that. Yeah, Harmony will kind of like watch him go. And, uh, look, he'll, she'll kind of like, her gaze will kind of fall from the sky as she watches him retreat to Ismark to kind of see how he's like, is he like kind of out of it? Is he like. He seems to be in a bit of a fugue state at whatever Strahd has done to him. Okay. Anyone have the ability to uncharm? Uh, not, I have zero spell slots, even if I did. No, I'm just saying, like, yeah. if we rest here... Uh, not yet. Okay. Uh, yes, you can, Mina. Thank you. Uh, Harmony will join Mina in that task, kind of, like, helping her out. I mean, because Harmony used, like, two, three, four crossbow bolts in that fight. Um, but, and also kind of, like, as a way to, like, check up on Mina, you know, mm-hmm. see how she's, like, doing, how she's... You know, emotionally and physically, since she nearly died and her pet did die. 
Yeah, I mean, she seems still more disturbed by the general situation than that specifically. Uh, plus, she's she's kind of, if you ask her about it, she's not that sad about Sonny, because, like, the next chance we get, she's going to bring him back. But yeah, Harmony's... Harmony checking in. Yeah, Harmony probably, like, spends a few minutes working over, like, the right words to say, not knowing that Sonny coming back is a possibility, so... She is relieved to hear that, uh, and but will also spend the minute to help to, to gather some ammo back. I, I also uh, that's awesome, and um, I said it sort of sort of jokingly last time, but he does appear to be in sort of a fugue state. But whenever if if Mina gets the sense that she can talk to his mark, she would love to ask if he has any uh, fine foods, spices. Uh, in the family larder. I don't ask for much in the way of a reward, but uh, Mina would, would love some of that stuff. Anyway. Okay. Winley would really like a long nap. I Just in the square here. <laughs> like, somewhere safe. Like, yeah, I would, the manor, maybe. Yeah, I was say, I would ask these, Mark, like, I understand we're supposed to leave, but can we at least Take a nap at your place while you recover. Please and thank you. Uh, Ismark is pretty pretty darn shaky, but but kind of murmurs, "Yes, the, the house. We we should rest." Um, and kind of begins to take sort of shaky steps down the uh, the street to the south. Uh, and Marina kind of hugs up against him and is trying to let him lean against her. Uh, did anyone? Stick Harmony will, as they're kind of like get, she and Mina are gathering ammo. Harmony will kind of like glance around the square. Like obviously they made a fair amount of ruckus. Did the people of Barovia know about? Did any lights go on in any windows, or the people of Barovia know well enough to just hunker down? Well, the only house on the square was Garrett's house, so the, oh, no, okay. no lights in there. The lights uh, kind of shining through the the window above the door of the Blood on the Vine Tavern uh, didn't go out or didn't change, but nobody seemed to be in a hurry to come out and, and help or, or take a look. Right. Um, as you're heading down kind of the, the road to the south, most of the houses seem to be dark, although you, you can see the silhouette of uh, Mad Mary peeking out at you through the, uh, through the curtains. <laughs> Mary. Her name is Mary. Just normal Mary. Um, she ever sleep? Uh, okay. Uh, there was quite a ruckus. Yes, there yeah, was, was indeed say, quite sure. a ruckus. Um, but yeah, I mean, Harmony's still occupied for a minute, so whatever anyone else is up to. Uh, it looks, sounds like Ismark and Arena are making their way back. I say, I'm, I'm going back with them, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, if anyone needs any assistance getting to the manor, Winley will help. Otherwise, yeah, just walking to the manor. Did, uh, not that Mina said, I mean, Jake told me that for... Mechanics reason she doesn't need it, but did Sonny's corpse make it through that intact, or did it get yep. chewed on? Okay. Nope, it seemed to be ignored by the zombies, uh, okay. since it was just kind of laying there, wrapped in the cloak. Well, since Arena is um, helping Ismark, Harmony will, since she's there, despite her pathetic strength score, will offer to help Mina ha- hoist Sonny's body, as, assuming Mina's okay with making her way back to the manor. That was Harmony's plan. Okay. Uh, anybody doing anything other than heading back to the manor? I mean, if we're taking Sonny's body, body, Winley will offer to help, since okay. I can carry Many people help virtually carry everything. Sonny. All right. Uh, you make it back to the manor without further uh, accostment or threat. Uh, the manor is dark, uh, but is Mark kind of when you, you get in the gates and get in the door, uh, kind of stumbles his way back towards the uh, bed chambers, uh, and Arena kind of makes herself busy going about lighting some of the uh, oil lantern sconces. Winley will offer to help with whatever needs to be done. Um, she doesn't doesn't really seem to, to have much much to say, but uh, accepts your help in kind of getting. Have the we house heard her say up. anything? She's spoken to you a couple times. Okay. Uh, Harmony will, if we have the opportunity, just to kind of speak as uh, we're like you know arriving at the manor and kind of everyone's like kind of decompressing. Harmony will kind of like mention like. Um, Strahd said you should come with us when we leave and that you were in danger here. Do you know what he meant? Irina shakes her head. I don't know if he meant anything more than the dangers we've already faced. How is Mark has been commanded to stay. How do you feel about that proposal? Would you prefer to stay here with your brother or is defying Strahd not um, something that is wisely done around here? I would prefer to stay with my brother. He's 
in danger here. I should be with him. Well, I'm sure we can discuss it after we've all recovered from a lengthy night. And, um... Uh, Harmony seems to spend a moment. Harmony will spend a moment, um... As she mentions, like, the events of the night will seem to, like, recollect a little bit and be like, I'm sorry that your father's service was so it was disrupted. I hope it was still able to bring you some measure of peace. She shakes her head. At this point, it seems like the least of our worries. Harmony nods uh, and just, uh, just kind of like, what kind of like, say, I know how difficult it is to lose someone you care about, so I just uh, wanted to wish you well in that regard. Um, and, but we'll uh, probably make her leave shortly after that. Okay. And, uh, I mean, just in terms of, because I know Jake would ask Harmony, he'll probably, like, go with Mina, or, like, be with Mina in terms of, like, requesting the requisite amount of food value to bring Sunny back. Sure. Well, in, in Mina, in examining the pantry, there is not the quality nor vo- volume of food you would need to accomplish this. Um, there's a, a bit of bread, some kind of ingredients, um, you know, a couple of bottles of wine and the like, but nothing nothing in the, the spirit required to bring Sunny back. Uh, would, and I guess this would be directed at Ismark or Arena, um, do you know if... And there's a merchant in town, an unpleasant fellow by the name of uh, something. Bizrath. Bizrath. Would he have food of the necessary quality? Sure, sure, sure. I don't know what you need. Uh, Harmony will look at Mina at that point. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think Sonny's going to be coming back for Chard. <laughs> well, no, uh, that, that was, was gray. The... I meant the shopkeeper, um, Bildreth, uh, even though he charges an arm and a leg uh, for cold weather gear. Uh... I didn't go into Bildreth. So right. I, I don't... Yeah. So, I mean, I think just we asked Ismark and Arena, specifically Arena, she to see she's the most aware at this point. She said she didn't know what you needed to bring Sunny back as far as like whether Bildreth would have it or not. It needs to be fine food and herbs, and I, I or rare herbs and yeah, rare herbs. Uh, and I mean, I, I wrote in the campfire forum, kind of more specifics for that that I prefer. But ultimately, it just needs to be twenty-five gold pieces worth of rare herbs and fine food. So, if is uh, sorry, uh, Bildreth has imported spices of some kind, any kind of cuts of meat that aren't rotting, um, anything that could be qualified as fine food or rare herbs will suffice. I also feel the need to point out that just because it's 25 gold worth isn't doesn't mean that that's what we're going to be spending with him, if that's what it comes to. <laughs> But isn't very, whatever he gives us for fair. 25 gold, 25 <laughs> gold worth 25 of... <laughs> Ash, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just going to right now uh, sit back and rest um, a little bit. I don't have a lot to contribute to the conversation thus far. Okay, and Dockran. Um, I like going back to Ash, actually. I might actually say, okay, so that was a Gios spell that was cast on... Um, Oh my god, words. Ismark. Ismark. Um, and, like, would I be going through how to break that if it came down to it? I assume I can just do make a knowledge or yeah, check. Fair enough. You want a help action? Harmony could. Sure. Has some knowledge of charms. She might just. You are not part of that conversation. Oh, okay. Can I get, can I I get a help from Ash since, as a life cleric, might have experience with such things? Um. As for roleplay reasons, I don't think Ash would know a lot about this. Okay. If you want a guidance, you can come ask Wendley. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think you, you have to come ask the, for I think one. you can give the help action and guidance. Yeah, I, I just... Ash, okay. Ash explains that I'm just rolling with advantage, assuming someone somewhere is giving me a... And have some guidance as well. Could be good. Yeah. Uh, well, Ash gets inspiration for the humility appropriate for that character's knowledge base. Okay. Thank you. That's noted. 
Uh, you are aware that there are other powerful spells that could potentially break uh, something like that, but certainly beyond your current repertoire. Fair enough. And what is Winley doing other than helping uh, Dokrin try to puzzle out how to how to break a command? Um, at some point she wants to have a conversation with Ash, but that's not like a super pressing. Just before we sleep, Winley wants to have a conversation with Ash. Okay, go ahead. Um, so Winley just in a very friendly, not like mad in any sense manner, just wants to talk to Ash and kind of find out um, how accomplished of a cleric he is, if she should take some more healing spells just to try not to end up in the same situation we were in previously with several of our party members unconscious. I mean, I prepared as many healing spells as I was able, and I will continue to do so. I also used the majority of my spell slots on healing people. Okay, cool, um, I'm cool. relatively new to the cloth, but I think I'm fairly capable. Okay, all right. I'll make sure I keep one or two healing spells ready just in case you need some backup. Um, and again, Winley is just concerned for keeping everyone alive, not like, I mean, what the fuck, any, Ash, you know. Any and all but, healing spells that you can prepare, I mean, you probably should. We shouldn't put all our eggs in one basket. Okay. Cool. And if I if I'm able to cast other spells, you know, to, you know, offensively, that would also be good. But right now, I've been trying to save most of my spells for healing. All right. So I'll um I'll plan on keeping the majority of my spells, offense or AOE type of options, and then have you know a couple backup healing for if you you know need a, a need a hand with that. Okay. Okay. Is anybody doing anything else in particular before uh, resting for the eve? Um, you said you had something for me to identify? No, no, no. I was just asking if you had the capacity oh, okay. to identify because I was going to take that as my um, okay. spell. Yes, for I my had the capacity for yeah. Okay, cool. I took something else. Okay. Uh, is anybody keeping watch throughout the night? Well, I mean, yeah. I have a yeah. whopping one HP, so someone else should take uh, it first. Given that <laughs> normally harmony I'll take first rotation, seeing as how I couldn't be woken up for my my shift last time. Normally <laughs> harmony is one that needs her beauty rest, but seeing the condition the rest of her companions are in relative to her, she will offer to take watch tonight. Okay. So Ash, Harmony, need two more. Winley will take a partial watch. Okay. As and long as one, I have one last volunteer, Mina or Doc. I guess I'll take last. I, I can do it too, if either way. I mean, we're both fairly equally ragged, I believe. So. I mean, as long as everyone gets a long rest. Yeah. Well, everyone's going to get a long yeah, rest. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think it particularly though. matters. All right. Are we flipping a coin? Who's doing it? I'll take last. Okay. All righty. Okay. Uh, huh. The wow. uh, <laughs> Harmony, go ahead and make a perception check. Great. Big money. No whammies. I was just about to say that. All right. Uh, Harmony, kind of during during your watch, you get the sense or the feeling that something is is outside of the house. Okay. Uh, well, Harmony will, in the sense, just like like a chill down the spine or like movement, like outside a window. Chill down the spine. Oh, great. Well, okay. Um, does it point me in any specific direction? If not, Harmony will probably just uh, go to the nearest window, take a look around. Um, okay. Uh, if she doesn't see anything, she'll kind of like, she'll, she'll, I mean, this will probably like unnerve her enough given what they've been through, but she'll do a pretty thorough, like, she'll go out the door, like behind the fence still, if, and just kind of like do a quick walk of a perimeter just to, uh, just, just to satisfy, she's not, just to satisfy her own, um, uh, uh, it being unnerved by whatever she felt. Okay. Um, go ahead and make another perception check while you're walking the rounds. Okie dokie. Oh, don't know where my character sheet closed. Uh, perception. Ooh. Harmony doesn't quite seem to, to know what caused that feeling, but walking the grounds, she doesn't see anything out there, and past the past the point of kind of her patrol around the perimeter, she doesn't get the feeling again. Okay, uh, Harmony will, before she just kind of resumes her post, quietly check in on Arena first, mm -hmm. his mark second, okay. and then everyone else, just to make sure everyone's still where they should be. Okay, they are fast asleep. Okay, uh, then 
Uh, she will, um, when she wakes up uh, Winley for her watch, assuming nothing else happens during her uh, time mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the rest of her shift, mm -hmm. uh, we'll kind of like quietly say to Winley, like, uh, didn't see anything, but I got a weird feeling, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Um, having been told that when Winley is taking her watch, she'll also do a perimeter of the house. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check, Winley. Okay. Can I give myself guidance? Doesn't matter. No. <laughs> you, you two are not, don't, you, you don't even get a cold, a cold feeling or anything like that. You just don't, don't see anything outside the walls. Okay. Uh, well, the night does pass uneventfully otherwise, uh, so you all gain the benefits of a long rest, including the benefits of your level up uh, in the middle of that fight. Uh, so if you want to take a, a moment to prepare your slots and everything else, um, and if I can just get a thumbs up in the chat from everybody when you are ready to move on. So the next morning, uh, you have all rested reasonably uh, for the most part. Uh, that said, if I can get a constitution save from Ash and Harmony, please. Oh. <laughs> you said constitution? I did. Food poisoning. I'm really good at constitution. Nope. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, you both feel fine uh, when you awake. Your dreams are not wonderful, nor are they terrible, but simply sort of just uh, kind of a, a dreamless sleep for the most part. Uh, the rest of you do once more have the awful nightmares you have been uh, beset by since you've entered Barovia. Uh, and that said, the next morning when uh, all of you were kind of arising and awaking uh, outside of Dockran, who kind of had the, the last shift, uh, Dockran, you see that Ismark uh, is up kind of early and seems to be busying himself with something in the in the dining room, um, kind of in the early hours of the morning. Uh, and by the time you've all kind of risen, stretched, you know, put, put on your gear and whatnot, uh, Ismark kind of sticks his head out the door and says, come, come, please, I, I, I need you here. Okay. Okay. Um, I go over to him. Okay. Uh, in the dining room, he has laid out what looks like a backpack uh, along with some kind of tra traveling equipment on half of the table. Uh, and then the other part, uh, you see kind of a piece of parchment that he has uh, written out uh, some, some form of instructions on. Um, as he kind of waits for you all to, to come into the room, the room and then kind of fixes you all with a stern, stern look. He does seem kind of back to his normal self compared to the, the state he was in last night, albeit he still has many kind of cuts and scrapes that are in the process of you know, being scabbed over and whatnot. Look, I, I can't leave. Um, that, whatever that is, whatever power he holds, I could feel that if I try to leave this place, I'm going to be in great danger. But that said, you should all heed his word and get out of here. Uh, this this place is clearly no longer safe. Yeah, I mean, I think that was the plan for us anyway. Uh, uh, Harmony will kind of like, uh, sorry, not to interrupt. Um, uh, Harmony will just kind of say like, well, are we, sh I mean, we cleaned up the well water. We took care of Father Donovic and his son. Does that not work? Does that not resolve the problems that this town was in the immediate? Uh, with the missing people, the zombie attacks, those were... Probably the immediate problems, but they're still tending to the town in general. And where did those other zombies come from, you know? Which... Assuming they didn't come from the town. I mean, we, yeah, also, I think... we also do know that some of the missing people are literally Strahd's dinner. Sure. So nothing yeah, we sure. can do about and that. And some of them the were moment. also the the kids. Gertrude. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I got the feeling that most of the missing people were the kids' dinner and just being blamed on Strahd because Strahd yep. occasionally yeah. takes people. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I, I think uh, we'll probably want to head out. Like like you said, uh, we should probably heed the warning. Um, and we should. I do want to warn you about that church. I do not believe the grounds are holy any longer. You may wish to burn it to the ground uh, and maybe set up a new church. As, as Mark sort of, uh, nods, I, I agree with all of that. Uh, I suspect there could potentially be some more zombies left in the village, and uh, that'll certainly my, be my duty to root out and find, but this village is going to need help. I, I know there's a church, uh, it's called St. Andrews in Bilaki. Perhaps they'd have a replacement priest or acolyte who could come and, and help reconsecrate the church. I, I know that it's clearly a place of death and has been seeing darkness for quite a time, but what little light of hope we can have in this place is important to my people nonetheless. 
And uh, Harmony will kind of um, look around. I mean, obviously Strahd's not in the room, but she will nevertheless drop her voice to more of a whisper and say, like, do you want us to try to find a way to break the enchantment upon you? Hey, shrugs. To be perfectly frank, I think I would have to do this regardless. Uh, I think this is still going to be uh, my task or my duty for at least a time, but certainly to be able to leave someday would be preferable than being trapped here for the rest of my days. And uh, Harmony will kind of like look around at the rest of the group and say, um, as far as journeying to Velaki, I think that is something we... Well, I think I, we also wanted to find we, Madam Eva. I think our first priority I think is... We should head to Madam Eva I think we will. Was she in the same general direction? She was at the waterfall that was like a day from here, yeah. uh, as Mark Maybe said. Or less. the Vistani said. Um, but yeah, Harmony was kind of mentioned, like, we're, we'll probably first try to make our way to uh, reunite with the people who brought us here at the Vistani encampment by the waterfall. Uh, he nods. And Ash, what was that? I was just I was just saying that it was probably a day less than a day to the waterfall from okay. what we were told yep there, thereabouts uh, and with that is mark kind of gestures to the piece of parchment on the table look as you as you asked before for for a map but again i i don't have one and no one in the village has one that i know of but I, i've written down the best instructions i can give to reach the uh, and he, he kind of passes over the the piece of parchment uh and and, and kind of narrates like, it as, it, as it, doc then. looks at it he sort of narrates what it says uh, if you follow the road west out of out of the village, you will find yourself in the Svalic Woods. Uh, they're dangerous. I don't recommend wandering too far off the path. But if you continue to follow it, uh, there will be a fork in the road. The fork to the right will lead you to the base of the falls. The fork to the left will begin to take you up the mountainside and eventually over the falls. Uh, it's about maybe an 18 or 19 mile journey, all, all things said. Uh, and it will take you below the shadow of the castle up there. And he kind of nod, nods in the direction uh, that you've been told uh, Strahd's castle's in. Still can't actually see it, though? No, not not with the fog as it is. Um, that said, if you keep, just keep following the road, you should arrive in Velaki in perhaps a day or two, depending on your, your pace. You could travel at night. It's certainly more dangerous. So, uh, it's just a, just a, and th- this is more me reiterating as a, a, a player. Um, the falls he's referring to is the one we're trying to get to anyways. <laughs> Where Madame Eva is. Where, where we think Madame Eva is. I think it's the only falls I know of in Barovia. Okay. I, was say, I feel like in general the smart play is to take a day to get there, yep. spend the night with them since we know they're reasonably safe, if they'll let us, and then... And we need to, to find Vla- out more. And then And thence to Velaki. Yes. Yeah. Barring Madame Eva giving us a way out. Yeah. yeah. Winley agrees with that plan. Okay. Um, and then... Did we, I mean, do we, uh, Harmony will kind of look over at Mina, like, do we want to attempt to, do we want to even bother with stopping by Bildroth's Mercantile, or should we just get a move on? I'm thinking a, bit of, yeah, a bigger city might have a better market for such, for what we're looking for. Like, but I, if we get waylaid or something, I'd like to stop it. Uh, it's worth a look, for sure. Yeah. Harmony will go with, she has a way with people. Mm. <laughs> Winley will go with as well. She I'll has say, some good money. Luck. If you guys can pick me up some winter gear without spending a ton of money, then I guess. But uh, I'd probably hurt our, our chances of negotiation if I went in there. So I'm not. I'm not going to bother. Huh. Maybe Harmony can persuade him to. Uh... Maybe not be a dick. <laughs> Give us a I'll deal. wait outside. Uh, and then Harmony will bring up while we're... Is Arena there as well, or just is Mark? Not in the room. Okay, and then Harmony will bring up, um, as far as Strahd's recommendation, that we bring Arena with us. I spoke with her last night, and she seemed reluctant to leave your side. What is your opinion on this? I'll speak to her. I, I don't know what ill intentions he has, but I can't imagine it's going to be any safer here. I would rather see her in a town... Uh, another town, perhaps Velaki or somewhere else, but please take her somewhere safe. Uh, and Harmony will look over to Mina and say, now that we've heard Strahd's voice, did that match the voice that you heard saying Irina's name the other night? That is a great question. Did it sound familiar? Uh, it was more of a hissed whisper when yeah. you heard it, so hard to compare. It, it, yeah, so it could have been, but it's hard to say. Okay. If only you had a keener mind, Mina. <laughs> yeah, right. Eight level. Um, so, yeah, uh, whoever wants to come with, we'll just quickly uh, stop in at Bildreth's uh, and just what food does he have? 
So Bildrath serves a, a, a fair amount of uh, adventuring gear as well as kind of farm accoutrements and whatnot. Food-wise, kind of the best quality he has is essentially trail, trail rations. Uh, we could also, I guess, try at the tavern. Blood and blood on the vine, on the vine see what yeah. their kitchen's like. Since I doubt trail rations are going to do the trick, or you, they unlikely. just let you buy trail <laughs> rations and use them. I mean, I feel like I feel like I just need something. Well, I, I need to get like twenty five GP worth eventually, but I feel like role play wise, maybe. And Dan, feel free to correct, but maybe it's reasonable that like I could hunt for some kind of food, for the meat. but I'd need to buy like some spices or some shit to like yep. you know uh, amp it up a little bit. So yes, agreeing with you, uh, we'll jog over to uh, the tavern uh, uh, and ask. Do you have any salt, pepper, and human? Is not... Harmony going to try to talk him down on the price for cold weather gear? Yeah, Harmony will be like, build draft, my man. Uh, are you running any promotions on cold weather gear? Go make a persuasion check. Great. Have some guidance on that. Okay. Uh, and Mina, while you're over at, at Blood in the Vine, uh, the barkeep, who seems just as sullen and mellow as uh, Gray was and, and as uh, Harmony encountered, uh, indicates a large... Uh, cast iron pot over the fire which by Mina's uh, inspection appears to have gruel in it. 20 total on the persuasion check. Uh, Is it 25 gold yeah. worth of gruel? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Barovia. Or is it just very well spiced? The finest gruel in town. <laughs> Barovia's finest it's a curry gruel. gruel. It's a curry Finally gruel. salted gruel. Yep. Okay. Uh, so. Bill Drath seems unimpressed with Harmony. Harmony will try not to show how much this wounds her and bid him good day. <laughs> Still a hundred gold for the gold. But he doesn't call the bouncer on her. He does not. Thank God. Okay. Is, is there, there anything else that Bill Drath has that might be useful? I mean, obviously, you don't know his inventory. For, for your perusal, he has everything worth 10 gold or less uh, in the equipment section. It is all marked up to an outrageous price. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't uh, need anything. Harmony will. I'm thinking, fuck him. Yeah, Har- yeah. <laughs> Harmony will uh, comment as she leaves the store to Winley, presuming they leave together. Uh, surely, uh, if we freeze to death out in the wilds of Barovia, no one will have any guilty conscience about it! And slam the door. <laughs> it's a reasonable response. We also, if we ever end up in a place where it's like, shit, we might die, you know, I can take some fiery spells to keep us warm at least. Okay. Does anybody try to buy or acquire anything else in town? No. Okay. We're good. Uh, is the troop then heading west? To the falls, yeah. To the falls. That's the plan. Okay. I'm going to bring you all over onto yonder regional map. As a reminder, there's only one token. Please don't move it. I will move it. Um, let me know when you guys can see. Uh, and you should be kind of in the bottom right corner area. Yep. And see. Sure Terrific. can. Uh, so they told us to stick to the path, right? Yes. They're, they seem pretty em- pretty emphatic that going off the road is dangerous. Okay, so as we prepare to travel into the wilds, Harmony will take a moment to uh, uh, pull... She'll, like, reach into her pouch, like, as we're kind of getting on the road and uh, seem to, like, look around the party a little bit mm-hmm. and then we'll uh, tie, uh, take a strip of white cloth and lay it on Dokrin's head because, you know, he's small. Mm-hmm. Uh, take a strip of white cloth and lay it on... Uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> Ashes, Ash, and one more. Hey, did Arena come with us? Yes, or? she okay. is coming okay. with you. She does not seem terribly happy about it. Right. Okay. Sorry, we're going to save the cat. Yeah, uh, one moment. So Harmony cast aid, and then what else is Harmony? Uh, Harmony is also going to cast Gift of Alacrity with her uh, once per long rest use of it from the Fey Touched feet, uh, which just, and she's going to use it on herself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and it's just a 1d8 bonus to my initiative. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Uh, well, then, heading west out of the town, uh, the road itself is more or less uh, just kind of a dirt track. Uh, you can see evidence of, of carts and wagons having gone through it, although it doesn't seem to be particularly well-traveled. Uh, and then, just as a reminder, the scale of the map here is uh, every hex is essentially a quarter of a mile. Uh, so you begin to make your way down the road. As you're doing so, can I get a, uh, a party order as far as travel goes? Uh, it is wide enough that people can walk side by side, but if you want to have any particular layout... Uh, Winley will be kind of towards the middle back. Uh, I imagine Mina's sort of, uh, scouting a bit ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I, in whatever, uh, 
So we can't become lost except for by magical means mm -hmm. while I'm leading our party. So if that means that I'm, yeah, like you were saying, Harmony, you know, 20, 30 paces ahead of the, the group in general, um, just kind of like guiding, pointing out the path, uh, or maybe I'm just like at the, the head of the line, like okay. directly. Yeah. I, I would like to be closer to the head of the line too, uh, no more than like one or two people back. So um, I'd probably be right behind Mina. Are we bringing Sonny's body, Mina? I mean, I yeah. assume I assumed we were. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, nope. we won't. I don't actually need it to revive him, and the opportunity to revive him didn't present itself, so that's just going to slow us down. So I I, I will go and uh, grab my cloak back. I was uh, going to say, does maybe Ash down. wants to do a gentle repose on Sonny's body, so it's not... Don't. I, just save it. It's, it's totally... Well, it's it a, was a very much a... A sentimental thing, but I can revive him without any of his corpse, so it's fine. So you'd like put him to rest, ish, or this body at least? Uh, I don't know how much I would actually spend time doing that if okay. we're like rushing to get out of here. I, I suppose, yeah, I'll. Uh, again, I'm sorry. I didn't think of this. Great, thank you for helping me with my with my characterization here, <laughs> everybody. But uh, uh. Meant that genuinely, by the way. Uh, I will go, if you don't mind, Dan, I will go and grab Sonny's body and, like, put it in the forest, at least. Sure. I'm not gonna bury, I'm not gonna bury him, but I'll at least carry him out of town so that, you know, can kind of lay him in the trees. That's good enough for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, not an issue there. Uh, and so I have Mina up front, I have Ash kind of pulling up second. Uh, Harmony will kind of, if she's willing to allow it, will walk with Arena. Um, kind of Start by getting, and wherever the, that means Arena wants to be in the marching order, mm -hmm. uh, kind of try to get a read on whether she's open to, like, con conversation. Obviously, she doesn't seem happy, but Harmony's always a bit of a chatter, especially with a potential new ally or friend, um, and we'll kind of, like, you know, if Mina doesn't, or Arena doesn't immediately dismiss it, we'll kind of just basic kind of, like, questions like, like you know, uh, are you okay with accompanying us to the Vistani before we head off to Velaki? Do you have much, uh, have you uh, had Experience much contact with the Vistani before? Or, and we'll ask about like Velaki. Just kind of like, nothing like, she's not interrogating her. If she sure. doesn't want to talk, or we won't talk. Sure. Where's Dockrin? Um, I guess I'm taking you at the rear if everyone else wants to take the front, so. You're the slowest. Winley? Yeah, also that. Uh, Winley wanted to be somewhere near the back, so she'll walk along beside Doc. Okay. Um, as far as your questions go, Harmony, uh, she's not terribly talkative. Uh, she, she sort of indicates that she's never really left the area of the village. Oh. Um, or at least not that, not that she can remember. Um, and she doesn't seem terribly happy about having to leave, but she you know, seems to understand why. Okay. Uh, and Harmony's not gonna, like, you know, talk her ear off if she seems prefer to travel in silence. Um, but we'll, uh, uh kind of make some comments and like and this will be a grand adventure for all of us sure okay uh as you reach the border of the woods i'll also ask the party if you'd like to travel at a fast normal or slow pace uh just ba based on how that works uh just changes the the distance you travel from essentially four miles to three miles to two miles an hour um if you're traveling fast you take a penalty to perception if you're traveling slow you can stealth if mina was traveling solo she'd have some some other perks that go with that faster yeah that's fine. yeah um but just as a party do you do you want to be kind of going at a, at a faster clip or do you want to be kind of rolling it slow or how do you want to approach a, well, as you enter the woods normal pace I, yeah i figured we were doing normal do we estimate that'll get us there before nightfall uh, you don't have a good measure of distance. Okay. Um, whatever we think, I mean, you know, obviously Harmony's not the travel expert, but just based on what we've been told, Harmony's yeah, cool we, with whatever pace will get us to the falls by nightfall. We if were we, told that we could get there before nightfall or maybe a little less, so I can only imagine that uh, the normal pace or fast pace will get us there in time, and I think normal is probably the safer bet. Okay. Uh, well, entering into the woods, uh, you find yourselves on kind of a, a again, a kind of a, car, a wagon cart path more than anything else, um, and kind of w walking through uh, the sunlight uh, through the overcast sky is not particularly bright, but this is more or less what it looks like as you enter into the woods. Uh, you continue to follow the road uh, at this point now for about two miles, uh, and you kind of had crossed a bridge over the river at one point, uh, and then now kind of find yourself meeting it. 
looking to the uh, kind of to the northwest from this point of the track, it looks like the river uh, is heading kind of more more of a beeline from this position towards uh, mountains, which you can vaguely make out through the trees to the north. Um, but that said, continuing your travels here, the DM rolls a die twenty. And did you see the question in the chat? And then they all died. I can also. In the chat, I'm yep. just asking about because yep. I can also I, forage while we're yep. traveling. Yep. Um, so you can make a survival check if you'd like. Okay. Uh, surviving. Surviving. Oh, Oof. fuck. There, you, yeah. you are finding fuck all in this woods. Uh, th- I mean, that that said, you also That's notice kind of yeah. throughout throughout the woods that there's not a lot of underbrush. There's a lot of these kind of old old uh, mossy trees and, and dead trees, but you're not seeing a lot of kind of fertile plant life, as it were. Um, yeah. So that, that is also noteworthy. You do see some evidence of uh, game uh, out here, but not like strong evidence. You don't see fresh tracks or something, uh, but you see things like you know antler scrapes to the side of, of trees and whatnot. Um, okay. Sorry, go ahead. That's all right. Uh, you do travel for about a full hour before you reach a fork uh, in the road. Uh, one one bending off to the right, one bending off to the left. Okay, so the right one was right for the falls. the falls. Yep. Okay. Uh, party's taking a right. Uh, so then you travel for about another mile. Uh, when you find yourselves on the bank of a large, uh, it's, I call it either a small lake or a very large pond. Uh, it reaches out about half a mile or so. Uh, and in the distance along the banks, you can see what appears to be an encampment. Mm. Uh, similar stylings to the Vistani one we found outside of Daggerford? It does appear so, yes. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Is there is there a waterfall visible we... nearby? Or it just seem like maybe a separate camp of Vistani? Make a perception check. All right. Is that everyone or just Ash? Uh, everybody can make that. Can I give myself some guidance on this? Uh, sure. Self. Give a look out. Be better. No. All right, uh, everybody but Dockrin, uh Fair enough. can can hear distantly off to the north what the sounds of crashing water. Um, it, it sounds quite distant, but you, you can kind of catch the distant sound of falls. Um, and that said, kind of as you, I assume you guys continue up towards the camp, or does anybody do anything differently? I would no. say head into the camp. Okay. Well, walking up to the camp, uh, it looks more or less like this. Uh, as you make your approach. Uh, so you see a number of uh, affixed tents as well as wagon carts uh, built up around a fire. At this point, it's more like midday. It's not dark or night necessarily, uh, but they do seem to, to have kind of a more permanent uh, camp established here, judging by the quality of some kind of uh, wood, wooden board benches uh, and, and everything else. It seems like they've been here for quite a while. And anything, is the weather kind of like cold? Is it overcast? Uh... It's about 60. Okay. Uh, it is overcast. Cool. Um, that said, walking up, you do all quite easily recognize uh, two of the wagon carts uh, as having belonged to Stanomir's caravan. Oh. Stanomir. Uh, okay. Harmony will kind of uh, nod gladly at that, and uh, will uh, look, you know, look to the rest of the group and uh, say, "Well," uh, and uh, before we approach the rest, uh, we'll kind of like mutter, "Like, do we tell Stanomir or Rotka that?" Uh, Strahd might be uh, interested in their... I'm going to be completely honest with him. Yes. Okay. Uh, fair enough. And uh, Harmony will, unless the rest of the group, anybody in the group doesn't want to, will approach uh, the wagon we know to be Stanimir's. Yeah. Okay, give me one moment. I'm actually going to be putting you guys on the map of the encampment. But I've just got to get you all on the map of the encampment. He's not going to get a fight at this camp. Oh, Nobody's going to get a fight. At least we're well rested now. <laughs> True. Got, us, got our spell slots back and exactly. everything. <laughs> Alright, let me get y'all moved over. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Oh god, they have tokens. Why do they have tokens? <laughs> no it, it really just is. is yeah, no, know, nobody seems to make much of a fuss uh, upon your approach. Uh, nobody shouts at you or anything to, to that effect. 
Um, and that said, you are all able to uh, again kind of uh, make your make your way here. Uh, and as you approach the tents, there uh, you do actually see uh, Stanimir standing between two of the nearest tents. Uh, he doesn't seem to kind of notice you on your approach until you get within about as close as you are. Uh, but he, he turns and, and kind of cracks into a wide smile and stretches his arms and goes, "Ah, friends, friends, you made it here. It's so good to see you. We were so worried." Uh, Harmony will call out. Took a bit of a scenic detour, Stanimir, but. Uh... We, arri- we have arrived, nonetheless. Ah, yes. Well, it is known that the road can be perilous. Have you seen the Ratka? Ah, crap. <laughs> uh, Harmony kind of adopts a curious expression as she, she's going to kind of walk up to stand here and say, Well, he accompanied us into the village of Barovia, but then he uh, met a group of uh, Vistani that were staying at the tavern there, and they said he headed off. The next day, I think? Uh, yeah. Does Harmony recall that that's what they mm-hmm. said to her? Yeah. So we assumed he would have made it here uh, before us. Stanimir kind of frowns and shakes his head. No, I have not seen my boy. Perhaps he's taken a detour of some sort, but... Yeah. Well, he, he, I mean, that was like a full day ago, so that's... He opted uh, not to travel with us, so there was really nothing we could do. Sure. It only took you guys about two and a half hours to get here, as a note. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Harmony will kind of, like, adopt a pensive expression about that and say, Does, uh... Rocket didn't seem overly familiar with the territory surrounding the village. Uh, do we need to send out a search party of any kind? He he kind of shakes his head. No, I, I don't think it would be necessary yet, but I would ask you keep an eye out for him on the road. Perhaps he took the left bend instead of the right or some such. No, of course. I would like to ask you a question from what... Uh, from A follow-up question from one I asked before we started our travels. I asked you if we'd be welcome within the borders of Barovia, and you said as long as we were traveling with you, it'd be fine. But we have been told by Strahd himself that that's not the case. Uh, Stanimir, kind of at at the name, turns his head and kind of spits in the dirt. I did tell you, it's his law that none can leave without his permission. You said none can leave without his permission as long... Unless they were being accompanied by you, and I specifically asked if we'd be okay to come and go as we plead within the border. And I told you, no one would stop you. I think that you're holding back some information here that was kind of critical, and I'm also going to make an insight check. Okay. Uh, And Mina, you can find the source fairly quickly. They have a large hog roasting over the fire. (laughs) Uh, he is not. He he is certainly being withholding, but he doesn't. He is not lying or being outright deceitful to you. All right. Uh, Harmony will kind of comment. I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Uh, Doctor, what are you doing? Um, I don't know. There's not. There's nothing for my nerd brain to latch on to here. So probably just staying with the party. Okay. For now. What about Wendley? Uh, just kind of listening to the conversation. Okay. For the moment. And Mina, uh, what are you doing with, with that knowledge? Yeah, so um, I... Does it seem like a, like a slab of meat that I could use to revive Sunny? I mean, probably... I'm level three. I've known Sunny for a few years. Like, I've probably mm-hmm. done this before. Yep. Like, does... Uh, it's not a merchant, so it's kind of hard to quantify, but... Mm-hmm. And I'll talk to them. Like, hey, can I purchase some of your... Uh, some of your fine meat here. One of the uh, Vistani who seems to be kind of responsible for tending what's going on there uh, kind of turns and seems to regard Mina uh, not curiously, but with perhaps kind of a, a point of interest. Ah, well, uh, what would you be willing to part with for a share of our food? Um, <laughs> 25 gold on the dot. <laughs> uh, hold on. Just a moment. I, I, I have some bartering... Uh, goods, but uh, I don't carry them with me. One of my companions uh, has them. I have some things that I can uh, maybe tempt you with, uh, but I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. And Nina's going to go fish around in the bag of holding uh, if Winley is available. Okay. Yeah, sure. Winley uh, will accompany Mina. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to take out the three rings that are worth 25 GP each uh, okay. that I found way back when. Um and I'll go back to them and I'll offer them one of one of the rings. Okay. Uh, I take a, a, a hunk of meat for, for this in, in exchange for this nice ring here. 
the Vistani kind of examines it and, and kind of holds out a hand as it, you know, to, to kind of take the opportunity to, to examine it if you'll give it to him. Yeah. Uh, make an insight. I'm going to make an insight check on this guy okay. before I just start handing him Treasure. Sure. Um, you know, just like, is he looking shifty? Like, you know. Winley to... will um, offer some help with that if you want to take that with okay. advantage. All right, cool. Gladly. Um, so a 13 on an insight. Okay. Um, he does not seem to be, uh, you know, being deceitful or trying to steal it from you if you hand it over. All right. I push the push the ring into his palm. Okay. He, he gives it a long look and then uh, kind of shrugs. This is a very uh, nice ring, but there are so many of us who are here to eat, and only one ring. How could we share such a such a generous offering? Well, I have eighteen dexterity, so I can do a cool thing where I roll a second ring across my fingers and then flip it in the air and then hold the second ring out of it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say make a sleight of hand check for that. Okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, either way, I'm just going to offer him more, more money, but sure, 16. All right. Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check with advantage since you uh, make a kind of sufficiently uh, well-done performance of, of showing the second ring off. Sure. He nods. I think we could part with at least half for these two. Done deal. I'll take whatever. Yes, that's great. You chop it uh, or... or... Uh, you can even pick the uh, first half. He, he kind of gives a smile. Oh, you're too generous, friend. Uh, it should be ready in 30 minutes or so. Back to Harmony's conversation. Uh, yes, Harmony will uh, kind of, like, as the group sort of disperses uh, around the camp, will uh, seem to remember and be like, Oh, where are my manners? Uh, Stanimir, may I introduce Irina Kolyar, uh, Kolyanovic, Kolyanovic, Kolyanovic uh, of the village of Barovia. Um, she kind of steps up and seems to be kind of eyeing, eyeing Stanimir warily. Uh, you can kind of tell that she's perhaps not as trusting or uh, or friendly towards Vistani as you are. That's fair. Well, I mean, I, I'm not a local to Barovia, but uh, Harmony likes the Vistani more than she likes uh, pretty much anybody else in Barovia at the moment. Though, okay. the, 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 the siblings... Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, so do they not speak to each other? Harmony will kind of, like, look back she at She gives her kind of a curt hello. <laughs> and Stan, Stan Amir seems completely not ignorant to her lack of, of friendliness, uh, but just got a cracked smile. Ah, it's a great pleasure to meet you, Ms. Irina. Now, tell me, have you come to meet with Madame Eva, as we had asked? That was our intention, if she is here. Ah, terrific. She is in the tent over there, and he gestures towards kind of the large rectangular tent there on the northeast side of the camp by the river. Excellent. And uh, Harmony will kind of like look over by, uh, or look out towards uh, what, just kind of taking stock of what her companions are doing. And uh, uh, we'll turn back to Stanimir and say, does she, she, do you think she'd be willing to meet with all of us at once? I think that would be her desire or her intention. Uh, Excellent. Well, uh, a pleasure to see you again. Uh, Hopefully we will have time after our meeting with Madame Eva, to swap stories and drink once more. We do have a couple new ones to share. Most um, excellent. I we, look forward to your tales. I say, like, do you want to bring up with him that Strahd asked who brought us here? Like, uh, you know, does, yeah, do we want to yeah, yeah they'll, um, Harmony will kind of, like, a, a, a pall a bit of, will cross her face, and uh, we'll kind of look over to stand here regretfully uh, and say, Mina mentioned that we have met, um, your prince, Strahd. He spits yes. at the name. Uh, and Harmony will replicate the gesture. Your ticket is red that he does that every time. Um, it it uh, he did ask who... Um, he asked who specifically invited us to Barovia. Um, the Vistani may have been mentioned, so I regret if anything... If we have given him enough information to bring any harm to you or yours uh he was at the end of a particularly stressful night and we were not at our most uh aware in terms of discretion his smile kind of breaks uh, and and his face kind of turns uh, a little bit colorless as you are explaining what happened there i see you have perhaps done us a few favors in your absence uh, Harmony nods regretfully and says, um, I can only excuse it in that we found ourselves 
suddenly in dire peril, and again, if there's anything we can do, uh, I know that you brought us here to break whatever curse lies upon Strahd, uh, or that was your stated goal. If there's anything we can do in the meantime to amend for this, I at least am willing to attempt it. Uh, Stanimer kind of, kind of seems to be a little bit lost in perhaps what concerns or thoughts he has uh, about the news you've given him. Find my son. That is all I can ask. That is all I need. That is all I want. Uh, Harmony nods gravely and uh, um, uh, kind of uh, ruefully says, I only hope that someday Stanimir uh, will be able to br- bring you good news instead of bad. Indeed. Uh, and uh, she will then move off to uh, the rest of the companions just to tell them like, where Madam Eva's tent is and we should probably just uh, get to meeting with her. Okay, well let's say everyone else to that news. Yep, tent sounds good. Yeah. Tent mm-hmm. sounds good. Can okay. we also get some fog of war, please? Mm-hmm. Momento. I just kind of assumed that it was broad daylight. Well, as broad daylight as Barovia gets. I like the fog of yeah. war because then I can easily see where I've already seen. Oh. Yeah. It is daylight, so there's that. Uh, so you're all going to go see Madame Eva? Yep. Okay. Uh, approaching the tent, uh, you realize the tent is a bit more of kind of a, a cart with uh, tent stuff kind of draped off the sides, more built around the structure. Uh, the timing is not quite right in this picture, but this is more or less what it looks like as you approach. Uh, the door is open and, and those veils are kind of drawn across the entrance, uh, but you can hear the, kind of the sounds of the cart squeaking a little bit as somebody's clearly kind of bustling about inside or doing something inside. If that cart's a rocket. <laughs> uh, uh, Harmony will, as the most familiar with the Vistani, seems, feels comfortable taking the initiative and will kind of, assuming there's not a lion or a guard or anything posted, will kind of step up and uh, lightly knock on the door. Okay. Um, you, you hear a voice from inside, come in, come in. Uh, and Harmony will open the door uh, and kind of hold it open for, uh, and kind of step inside. She holds it open for us to group and say, uh, Madam Eva, um, Stanami recommended we meet with you. How large is this uh, cart tent? Could we all fit in? You're kind of going to kind of be elbowing <laughs> in a little bit if you all uh, crowd in, particularly Winley. But yes. uh, that said, you all could fit inside. Is uh, it like stairs in? Yep. It Winley will uh, stand on the stairs <laughs> outside of the. Dog finds. Dog finds. It's one here. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm gonna move my token over there. Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Um, kind of as as you all pile in, uh, the mm-hmm. woman inside is. I'm going to say uh, older looking, despite what the, the kind of art there looks like. Uh, she appears to be maybe in her 60s or 70s. Uh, she's wearing kind of colorful Vistani uh, robes and perhaps a dress, dress beneath the, the various layers and a shawl over her head. She is the consummate fortune teller uh, you know, appearance here. Uh, and she, she sort of smiles as you walk in. Ah, I have been waiting for you. I think perhaps you have something of mine. And she, she holds out a hand. Doc will... Just take the card out and offer, she takes it yeah, from Doc. Fingers out. I will give her my card, I guess. Okay, she takes ashes. Winley waits to see what happens. She's looking at all at, at the three of you who have not handed it over quite pointedly. Uh, Harmony remembers that she lied about this at the, <laughs> <laughs> the first time, and uh, uh. No, uh, we'll kind of uh, look at Madame Eva with maybe a small smile playing across her face and say, Now, how on earth would cards of yours have gotten into the possession of my companions, Madame Eva? Ah, destiny has a funny way of bringing those who have a purpose together. Don't be so withholding, my dear. The cards, please, for they have a story to tell you. When they will hand her over. <laughs> Fair uh, uh, Harmony will kind of feel, make a dramatic show of like feeling about her person and will reluctantly pull out her card and pass it over and say, oh, would you look at that? Uh, <laughs> I seem to remember you rolling really poorly on that deception uh, check. My minimum was a 16, so I think Winley was the only one I was like, Winley at least knows yes. that she has a card. Doesn't know what it is. Uh, uh, would you look at that? Uh, quite the gifted show. <laughs> Okay. When like kind of chuckles under her breath. And did I hear Mina say she was handing hers over? Yeah. 
Okay. She takes the cards and uh, reaches into a, a wooden box on a small stand next to her and, and pulls out a, a deck of what appears to be the same types of cards, uh, takes your cards, shuffles them in, uh, make, makes a bit of a show of, of doing it in a number of different ways, uh, and then kind of sit, sit, uh, walks to the very back uh, where she's kind of got some cushions laid out and, and a small uh, kind of ankle height table uh, that she kind of sits cross-legged on the far side of, come, come, I shall tell you of your destiny. Uh, and she she begins to deal out the cards, and one by one, as she lays them out uh, in kind of a, a plus shaped pattern, uh, you can see that they are the five cards, despite all the shuffling she did. The same cards that you were dealt. Uh, first, she looks to Winley. I see a lonely mill on the precipice. The wealth of knowledge lies within. For you, I think this would be important. Um, she brings her hand down to the druid card, which Ash had. An evil tree grows atop a hill of graves where the ancient dead sleep. The ravens can help you find it. Look for their sign there. Her hand then kind of drifts over from the left side to the center, uh, and her eyes kind of move over to Dokrum. And what you seek lies in the pile of treasure behind amber doors, but no gold can match its worth. Her hand kind of moves over to the furthest right one, uh, and she looks at Mina. For you, I see a dark figure on the balcony, looking down upon this tortured land with a twisted smile. And last, her hand goes over the uh, heretofore hidden card, uh, which has the word tempter scrolled across, uh, uh, scrolled across the top of it. Ah, for you, perhaps the most curious of all, I see a child, a young Vistana. You must hurry, for her fate hangs in the balance, precariously over deep waters. All of this I see for you. All of this shall be known. When Leia's markedly creeped out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Harmony, as uh, usual, kind of wry smile definitely fades away as uh, her t- fate, as her particular fate is read, and uh, she kind of like ha- gains a note of like. Not panic, but like insistence to her voice and says, Deep waters, where? Ah, my sight did not give me such clarity. There are only so many places in Barovia, though, where one could dive so deep. Harmony kind of falls quiet, seeming kind of to withdraw within herself for a moment, if anyone else uh, has any questions for Madame Eva. Is Arena with us? She is not. Okay. She she's like, outside, but she's not in the in the cart with you. Do these readings mean anything more to you, Madame Eva, than they might mean to us? Uh, for example, just thinking of my own, a dark figure on a balcony, does that have any additional significance to you than, uh, you know, as someone who is more familiar with Barova, Barovia, as someone who lives here? She smiles and shakes her head. I'm afraid this is all I have seen. This figure, though, of great danger and peril it brings to you, I think. Have we what seen... About... Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Oh. I'm just going to say, what about the others? Do you have any knowledge of any of the others? Of your, your reading of the Druid card or any, any of my companion's readings? Ah, the cards have told me all I know and that I have shared with you. I will say, I will point out that we have the deed for a windmill. I don't know how many mills there are in Barovia, but we... We are the proud owners of a mill somewhere in Barovia. <laughs> and, and as long as we can... The, the normally polite, deferential, kind of friendly, amicable tone that Harmony usually adopts, especially with strangers, seems to have kind of fallen away from her. And she kind of, like, looks up after having kind of been within herself for a moment and looks at Madame Eva and says, Your fortune-telling is all well and good, Madame Eva, but we were told to come... We were asked to come here to break a curse. Ah, Yes. The curse of the Dreadlord Strahd. She does not spit. I was gonna ask. <laughs> Probably like wads up and then like <laughs> swallows it. <laughs> A dark curse indeed has befallen this lord. For many years he has ruled over this land with a cruel and cold touch. You are not the first who has been back and called by destiny to help to cleanse him of this curse, but you for that matter may not be the last. And Harmony will kind of lean forward a little bit and say, Why us? Ah, this is for destiny, for fortune to speak. I only interpret its calling and its message. 
did you s- did you send Stanimir to find us specifically, or were we just the first marked by destiny to happen across his path? I can only assume the latter, for Stanimir knew not who he was seeking, only that it must be capable people who could perhaps save this land from its darkness. And to break this curse, do you know what we must do? That I cannot say. It is on you to fulfill the calling of destiny, to see if you have what it takes to free this land. We met Strahd. Um, he aided us in dire st- circumstances last night. I when... think he aided the town more than he really aided us, to be fair. Nevertheless, we may not stand before you if not for his timely assistance. Um, we've heard rumors, of course, of his taking people. Um, does he do the same to the Vistani? No, we seem to be blessed in his eyes. Uh, not to say immune from his predations, but favored children of this land. Do you know what lake the uh, Tempter reading could be referring to? That one seems particularly urgent. Harmony nods. Mm, in deep waters again. There is the river beside us. There is a great lake near Falaki. There are pools in Kresk and in other places. But to say that I know of which to the cards speak, I could not. Um, I mean, there's also the lake that we dropped in here at. Mm, yeah, that was more like a river. Uh, so, and her, it was a late harmony will oh, at the mention of her own reading will kind of um the Vistana child, did you see a specific face? Is it She shakes her head. I have not. Only that she is young and in great need of your help. And do you know of any child matching that description? I personally do not. But the Vistani do have many camps around the region. Harmony nods. Um Harmony will take a moment to attempt to recall the nightmare that she had on our first night in Barovia, the child in the tavern that was reaching out to her. When she Is it still vivid in her mind, or has it faded as she's not had nightmares the past couple of nights? Make a intelligence check. Okay. Just mainly going to try to remember if that vis, that child occurred to Harmony to be Vistana. Oh, I see. Because it's, uh, yeah. Okay, 11. Or 6. Not 11 is my intelligence score. Harmony does not recall. Okay. Uh, then she will um, look around to the rest of the group and say, and then uh, kind of <coughs> back to Maddie and say, does Destiny tell you that if we pursue these specific events you have foretold for us, would that potentially bring us closer to breaking the curse? All I know is that destiny beckons you to these places, to these people. Whether or not your destiny is to be successful or defeated is uncertain. And Rotka's destiny? Can you see anything of that? I see nothing of that stupid boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Carmony kind of involuntarily lets out a snort. Uh, <laughs> at that. Um, and then we'll... Uh, kind of lean back a bit from the table and regard the rest of the group as she's done most of the talking here and wants to see if anyone else has anything to say. Oh, I, but, sorry, before she does, she will, uh, and look back there. And Irina, can you see anything of her destiny? Anatomy Eva kind of takes a deep breath. Mm. Bring her to me, and perhaps. Harmony nods. Uh, and then we'll lean back and allow anybody else to ask any questions. Do I see any ravens in the sky? Just kind of checking the details of some of these fortunes. Make a perception check. I will also be looking out for ravens just since that was directed mostly at me. So I'll make a quick perception. Good thing you did. No, neither of you see any birds in the sky. Darn, there's good eating on some uh, of those birds. 
I mean, my main thing is I'm, ma- I'm making a mental note to ask uh, Stanimir if they have, like, maps or yep, anything yep. of the area. But for sure, for sure. Besides that, I mean, it is. B- Doc can sense a pa- the pattern of any detailed questions you ask are going to be met with something, something, destiny. destiny something, something, yeah. <laughs> so, something, uh, something complete. Yeah, Harmony will just kind of look around at the rest of the uh, group just to allow them before she plows ahead with any more questions she might have if anyone else wants to ask anything about their readings or freaking divination people are always so vague yes. can't, be, can't, be, can't be bothered to give a proper scientific answer to anything mother yeah. mother Winley, Winley <laughs> is of the opinion we're not going to get any concrete <laughs> anything out of her um, so if it doesn't appear that there's anything else she wants to say to us Winley is going to go talk to I'm gonna say Doc actually does mutter something to that What's effect. Probably looks down his nose at Diviner types. <laughs> <laughs> so unscientific. Stanley, yeah. <laughs> um, so if the conversation is kind of dwindling down here, Winley will go talk to Stanimir and see if he has any more concrete knowledge about where any of these places might be or referring to. Okay. Uh, when you go to speak to him, he doesn't seem to be his usual friendly self. Uh, he seems to perhaps be still off put by uh, what Harmony told him. No, I'm afraid I don't know of any of these places you speak. There is the lake outside Vilaki, the one south of the village of Rovia, but those are the only I know of in this place. The others are mysteries to me. Uh, ah, Har- wait. Oh, go ahead. Perhaps the mill. There is a mill along the road north, past the falls. Harmony will uh, linger if the rest of the group leaves. She's kind of hoping to get a private word with Madame Eva after everyone else leaves. Okay. Well, Ash, what are you doing? I'll leave the tent. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll allow with, uh, Mina. Harmony that. Okay. Uh, Mina, what are you up to? Yeah, I'll go. I mean, I assume it hasn't been a half hour yet, so she'll walk over, walk back over to where the meat is resting and, and hang out there for a bit, kind of see what else is happening. Okay. Docker? Uh, like I said, I also bow out and probably just stay with the group in general. Okay. Well, Harmony, you are alone with Madame Eva. Okay. Harmony will uh, kind of turn to Madame Eva and say, um, I didn't want to mention this um, around my group for my own reasons. Can you tell me anything of a group known as the Keepers? She uh, kind of frowns at Harmony for a moment. Mm. Not that I could say, but a name with meaning, significance perhaps. Harmony seems to debate a moment and... Uh, then decides this is probably the best source she's met so far, so we'll uh, kind of cards on the table a little bit. We'll kind of like, you know, assuming they're still at the table, we'll kind of like lean forward a little bit. My mentor was a Vistani man named Danior. Oh, I know of Danior, yes. He, the last night I ever saw him, the night, the last night I saw him alive, he told me that he had been... He never told me anything of Barovia. He told me very little beyond broad strokes of, about the Vistani. He told me that he had been cursed for cavorting with the Keepers. Does this mean anything to you? Mm, a curse. No. I cannot say, say so specifically that I would know what this curse is, but perhaps if the Keepers are friends of yours or foes of Strahd, this may explain such punishment. Uh, Harmi will kind of nod and say, the next morning I didn't find a body, but as far as I know, he died in the night as his tent burned. Um, is that something... I don't... Again, I haven't seen him since. Um, I'm afraid the mind's eye only tells me of the future, not of the past. She nods. Um, well, if there's anyone you know of or any direction uh, you could point me in as far as finding out more about these keepers. Um, otherwise, at some point, if we have time, I would love to hear more of what you know of the man. Hmm. Perhaps another time. These readings do leave me somewhat tired. She nods, says, Should I bring Arena to you another time, then? Or... She shrugs. I could speak with her, perhaps, by the time you're ready to go. For now, I think I must rest. And Harmony nods, and will uh, leave her to rest. And, well, seem to, like, as she, like, uh, she turns to, like, walk out the door, seeming lost in her own thoughts, and will kind of uh, turn back and uh, say, I suppose I should thank you, though, I suppose, though, though that may 
depend on what destiny has in store for us. Ah, uh, isn't that a great question? What indeed does fate have for us all? Uh, Harmony will um, kind of... A bitter tinge will uh, uh, affect her chuckle as she says, uh, it has never been kind to me. And uh, she'll close the door behind her. Okay. Uh, your reading seems to have taken a greater amount of time than you would expect. It is uh, perhaps a little bit closer to the evening, even though you arrive from the camp closer to noon, um, as you're all kind of making about the camp. Uh, the Vasani do come to you, Mina, and, and offer you the half of uh, the hog. Awesome. Love it. She accepts it gratefully and uh, is going to wrap it up uh, just because she probably can't really begin that eight hour ritual right now. Um, but that's definitely going to be on her mind as whatever, you know, whatever we're doing over these next, the next little bit here at this camp, uh, she's like kind of looking for an opportunity to, to take eight hours to, to bring Sunny back. But I do assume we're probably not going to travel overnight. So uh, is that something you could do during a long rest, Jake? I, the way I'm reading it is, well, it says it takes eight hours of work. So I feel... I mean, would love to do during a long rest. My reading was that it happens kind of as a separate thing, but... Well, so uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put to you as the DM, you could certainly do that ritual and then sleep the rest of the night. You wouldn't be exhausted. You also wouldn't gain the benefits of a long rest, but I don't know that you've really exhausted anything that, that would make you care about that. Yeah, that was my other thinking, is whatever our next long rest is, depending on how beat up we are, I could just do that instead, and then be the person keeping watch, uh, too. But yes, um, I'm fine with waiting to do that as well. That's not a not a necessarily a number one priority. Okay. Um, while, while Winley is having the conversation, she will ask if it's okay if we stay the night here to avoid uh, traveling on the road. They seem more than happy to have you stay in the camp. Cool. And Harmony will ask Stanimir, um, is... How about you hold that thought? Docker, what are you doing? Um, I'd maybe take another look at the, the deed for the mill, see if it's the one, like, if there's any indication as to where it is, like, if it's the one that they were talking about that's nearby the falls. Surely it has or... an address on well, it. Well, <laughs> address, no, but, like, I would think it would have some kind of, you know, the mill by the falls or something like that. Yeah, like, something it like... should. I mean, if right. a deed to a property should have some sort of location on it. Is that the one that is being referred to here? Uh, so the description of the mill in the deed is actually somewhat vague. It simply states <laughs> the mill. Um, it does state that it is uh, west of town, but doesn't get any more specific than that. Okay. And it, ma- it makes reference to owning a couple acres around the lot and whatnot. Sure, sure. Uh, Harmony will ask Stanimir. Um, <laughs> Madame Eva's readings, I'm sure the rest of the group has mentioned them to you, mentioned a Vistana child in danger. Um, you're more well-traveled than she is. Do you... I know this is a vague description. Do you know of any specific Vistana child that might be in more peril or deep in deep lakes. water? Yes, I, I, the one by Velaki, Madame Eva mentioned, but... I know not of any children, at least in our camp. Perhaps in the Vistani camp south of Velaki, they may know of, of who you're speaking. There are some children and families in that group. As for our group, well, my son was the youngest. Harmony nods, and then... And he was, like, in his 20s, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll kind of mention, like, uh, it does appear we will be taking advantage of your hospitality for this evening. Have you found that this, your neck of the woods here, is relatively safe? Or would you recommend that a watch be kept? Uh, we keep our own watch here. The oh. woods are certainly not safe at night, but we have never had much trouble here by the pool. Harmony nods, um... And then we'll kind of make a comment like, how long were we in Madame Eva's tent? Mm, a good few hours, I think. Like, cause that was like, at most, a solid 20 minute conversation for all of us, yeah? Like, yeah, as far as, oh. Uh, as Har- far as by our reckoning, anyway. Uh, Harmony will kind of um, mention when, when you lost us along the path, um, when our, when our wagon fell, Raka's wagon, I apologize, fell. Um, where was that in relation to where we are now? We were east of the village, perhaps another day's travel or so. Then how... 
we ended up outside of a in a lake after when our wagon came to rest it, we ended up in a lake outside of a manor uh durst manor if that name means anything to you he does not respond to the name okay uh which was south of the village of barovia by mere mile or so how could we have that doesn't by all rights it doesn't make yes. sense yes <laughs> right, come... it's clearly there must be more to barovia than what meets the eye i think that is the understatement of the century my friend <laughs> i suppose this i mainly bring this up in terms of can we trust that we won't be whisked away to various corners of this land at a moment's notice? Is there anything we could do to prevent such occurrences? I've never personally been transported as such. I know those who have occasionally attempted to wander from the border who are not given permission to leave have found themselves elsewhere in the lands, but it's not for me to say how this land works. And this permission, um, does that only last as long as we are in the company of a Vistani? I could not say. I've never taken someone from these lands. Just two. Ooh, that doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I said the same. And Harmony will, at that, uh, get a bit of more of a serious tone to her voice and say, how many before us, Stanimir, or that you've brought to Madame Eva? None. I've never been asked. Do you know of others that were brought? How often has it happened in your memory? Hmm... Perhaps. There have been travelers who've come through our camp before, but I couldn't say whether they were beckoned or came of their own accord. There isn't a particular aura of destiny about them to your people? I think that is perhaps Madam Eva's domain. Oh shit, that is something we could have asked her. Oh well. Harmony nods and uh, says, um, well, as you indicated, she has certainly given us much to think about. Indeed. Uh, and we appreciate the gift of your hospitality once again. Okay. Is anybody else doing anything before the night falls? If we're planning on resting here, if we're planning on being here for a while, then I will start the ritual as soon as possible. I'm not going to, like, wait on that, but if, if as soon as the, the discussion is like, well, let's spend the night here, yeah. then I'm going to find a spot. And, I mean, I, yeah, I kind of took it as read that we don't have the the space we'll, to work with to travel out of here so yeah i assumed we were going to be setting up camp here assuming that the vistani are okay with it okay i will yeah. offer mina any help i was gonna say yes i would also offer to help mina as i assume i'm familiar with the ritual if it's happened before uh yeah. go ahead jake sorry no uh just gonna say she welcomes the help but it's a very passive ritual if you want to read about the details in the forum you're welcome to but sure. it pretty much consists of smoking cigarettes and watching meat slowly turn into ash so. Wow, two clerics. <laughs> and Ash? Yeah, I was, I'd just be helping uh, Mina as and much as I can. Okay. Did you and just Winley? hear it being turned into Sunny? Yeah. yeah. And Winley? <laughs> uh, Winley will just kind of post up, not like in the forest, but kind of over here on the path where it's like kind of tree, tree-ish and a little happier of a place for a verbal okay. druid to chill. All right. Well, the ritual is completed without a hitch, and as the, the last bits of embers uh, kind of fall fall uh, into the sacrifice or offering you've made, uh, Sunny trots out of the, the woods towards you, uh, quite pleased to be in your company. Welcome uh, back, Bobby. Welcome back, indeed. And with that, uh, night falls over you, and that is where we'll pause for today. Cool.